only pass through this life once. When you get old, all you're gonna have left is your memories. So make them good. No fault. I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bankroll, bankroll. Euro, peso, peso. Add it up. I'm just doing me, everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up. Told it if it's all me. everybody welcome to hustler casino live and it's a friday it's the big game and it is a 50 100 no limit we are going to see a ton of action here at the table you can already see some of the stars right here we can see garrett we can see andy my name is bard hansen i'm going to be joined here by a special guest and co-creator of this show nick vertucci gonna be in the color role here Tonight, Nick, really looking forward to uh, doing it with you. Let's get into the players. Let's introduce Sure. Them. Let's talk about it. In seat one, we have Jeremy Levin, and he is known as Jay Boogs, and uh, he uh, manages writers and producers, and Jeremy's becoming uh, kind of a regular here on the Friday show, and he's worked his way up the ranks, and uh, he's, uh, he's looking like he's ready to go. <clears throat> seat two. Everybody knows this guy. This is Gall. He won a WSOP bracelet in 2018. And one thing I can tell you about this guy, there's going to be a lot of action. He loves action. So let's get ready to see what he's ready to do today. Seat three. For those of you who recognize this guy, his name is RB, and he owns a various uh, petting zoos around the nation. He's become famous for it. Well, I'll tell you this, RB and I have become close in the last couple years. For those of you, uh, he's the salt of the earth. This handsome gentleman, this is Krish, collects rare casino chips and uh, does a lot of other things. And I'll tell you what, this guy likes to bang it up, and we're going to see a lot of action from Krish tonight. We can always count on him. Do I need to even introduce Garrett Adelstein? He's getting married this year, and Garrett, of course, is a fan favorite. Uh, he runs like God, and uh, he's one of the top players in L.A., and he is going to put on a show for you tonight. I guarantee that. <clears throat> All right. Here we have the silent assassin. This is Andy. Andy Stacks. He has his own YouTube channel, and I'll tell you, Andy, over the course of the last year or so, has come out of his shell. He talks. He laughs. Uh, I didn't even know he could talk until, like, probably a couple months ago, and Andy's going to... Andy's going to do what Andy does. This guy is becoming a, a, a favorite here at Hustler Casino Live. This is George. He's a real estate investor and developer. He loves action. And I'll tell you what, he's been crushing the game lately. So let's see what George has tonight. <clears throat> we all know this guy. This is Armenian Mike. He's a high-stake poker pro. Uh, he is in full camo today because he's ready to go to war. And if uh, any vampires show up tonight, he's got it covered with the cross. So we're ready to go, and we're ready to see these guys uh, uh, bang it up. Hey, great job on the intro there, Thanks, Nick. man. Absolutely great job. There are some people saying in the live chat my uh, mix might have been a little bit low, so you can interact with me. We'll work on that. But I literally just walked in here, and I'm not joking, right? Literally. You, the clock said 12 seconds. You threw your bag down, you threw your headset down, and you literally fell into the chair. Well, it's going to be great. We're, of course, we go an extra hour here tonight, for six hours total. You can see here... Looks like Garrett's got 60,000. He's gonna bring it in for the first raise of the night to 300 here. Always really fun to see Garrett and Andy at the same table. It's awesome. It's awesome. Doesn't get any better than that. And Chris just asked. So he's really added so much action to the game the last couple weeks here too. Yeah, got to know Chris over the last six months or a year, and he's a big action player, and he's ready to roll. 
So Galflop's a flush draw here in the small blind, and it gets checked through. Garrett with the Ace of Clubs didn't see a bet here. 500. And Gal's going to come out and, and shoot a bet out here oh. on the turn. Now, maybe Garrett gets curious here with Ace High, double pair, um, paired board, two flush draws out there. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. And with Gal, you never know. Well, now the board's double paired. And now you do get curious a lot with Ace High. So it looks like Gal's just going to give yeah, up. Yeah, he gave up. Yeah. Board. Always nice to hear the opponent say board. <laughs> yeah. When you have Ace yeah. High. Yeah. It's very comforting. <laughs> very comforting. So Garrett's off to his normal start. And uh, yeah, I am absolutely looking forward here to doing a ton of action Could be here. it, man. Could be the last one for Tonight you. Here for success. Last 500 in a fucking row for you, but now, next 500 are mine. Looks <laughs> <laughs> like Andy's got his new sponsor get up yeah, going on he's there, all too. Yeah, he's all tatted mm -hmm. up with his sponsors. Yep. Cool. He deserves it. Well, right off the bat here, right off the bat, we're going to see multi, multi-way action, looks like. That's right. Even from the hijack, Armenia Mike is known to flap. It's hard to tell what he has with big hands. Yeah, he'll he'll flat like big hands. He'll flat so good. Yeah. It starts off really. Right? It starts so off really good. good. It yet, the ending sucks really. though. Oh, it's, don't tell oh, yeah. No, I just said so, sucks. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. No go way. Actually, I actually. I actually. Okay. And our media yeah, mic flops top pair. Don't say anything. I want to bet five hundred. Garrett, who's the pre-flop raiser, you can see he's got the Broadway gut shot, backdoor flush draw. George with a frontdoor flush draw. So bet Nicole Kidman, five hundred. Doctor, who's the killer? No. It's a limited series. It's on. And now uh, Garrett HBO. picks wow. up the club. Okay. Yes. But um, so we got two flush draws here and an ace. Nice. It's basically it's like um, this the other. Garrett does uh, show not double called, barrel. Um, I think he thinks maybe the one sinner. of these guys is oh, decent. Right it's like the sinner. Would be uncommon for Garrett here to put in a put in a raise one with one a raise with flush draw yeah. and a straight draw. But you know, with Garrett, he's gonna flat. He's just gonna call you. But I yeah maybe he doesn't think that Mike's gonna come off an ace. So couple calls here. Everybody's in here. Sixty-eight fifty. When the five in the morning is a seven. And that means our media Mike eight episodes. is gonna win it. Wow, he's gonna put a value wow. in too. I love how he had so much value, but he's gonna take it. Of a different person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Start show like different for like the reporter. Yeah. The, the first was the sister. What's George yeah. Then it was the uh, well, George was the was detective. Seven. Right. Then it was the wife. And then the reporter. The reporter. Yeah. Yeah. For you or me? Oh, I'm glad. I, I'm glad that you have uh, left out. The, the ending's pretty amazing. Nice yeah. hand, Mike. Fucking great. All right, well, Armenian Mike takes it down with his ace. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. And he's off to his hot start. Or I had two hearts. I wanted a club. The entire time I wanted a heart, I wanted a club. Or season starts with a family dinner, a mom's birthday, a brother and sister hanging out with his family. A white guy married to a black woman, two kids. Sister's a little bit of a kind of a hot pants. And the brother, the brother, yeah, um, yeah he uh, had about 100 pounds coming his way. Well, the next morning, sisters at work. Um, she's a, um, a technician for chemotherapy, uh -huh. and the kid that she's treating, she they clearly have this thing of it watching videos he's like a tech geek and he shows her funny videos okay and he says oh there's this video that everyone's talking about you should see it and it's a video of a guy as like a holding a sign that says uh, i abuse women Check. And look at this, Gal is flopping. Right. Says I abuse women. Bottom and says, here with three Once this full. video watch it, uh, reaches I don't five think he's gonna views, really get much action. I will die. Um, Amazing. And but she looks, and it's her brother, who she just saw last night. Crazy. And okay. so now the search is on to find him and see what happens. Do you have any suicidal thoughts? Hmm? Do you have any suicidal thoughts? Kinda, yeah. <laughs> Gal would oh, show bottom full. Had a king. Take it down. 
Another sick read. You knew I was thinking about doing something stupid. That's incredible. That sounds really good. <laughs> what channel is that on again? It's on Netflix. 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 Yeah. I watched it very. I told you it's all turning There's around cool for me, bro. Just holding the you flop boats okay. and shit. It's fun to have you in here, Nick. You, you, you gave like me a text while I was still on the plane there. Like, yeah. I don't know if you've done it before. Like, no, no. Like, no. This so, is uh, breaking my hymen here at the uh, yeah, commentating table. Yeah, thought it would be fun to sit with you. It's uh, high school football. I couldn't get a seat in my own game today. <laughs> That's really the truth. They, this morning I was hoping someone would cancel and they didn't. And high demand for this game. So as an owner, I. Tried to do the right thing, but it killed me. Sounds like a good business move. So, that's right. Really <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Plus, this will be fun. Yeah. High school recruits. Got to always look for the, the best interest of the that's players. Right. That's right. That's right. We got some good ones today, man. I didn't grow up with football. So we got a three bet here. I am George Friday Mac like like George opens. Uh, that's just a good shot. We yeah. saw George and Garrett's yeah. in there yeah. who flat yeah. calls yeah. in the small yeah. line. Yeah. Somehow yeah. picks oh my god. Look at this. And look at this Garrett Peter, Peter flops yeah. it. And look so at this Peter flop here for Gall. So Garrett has a hidden oh, top oh, set and Gall has a pair of flush draw. Yeah. There's going to be some fireworks. Yep. Yeah. That's unbelievable. Cuz usually you'd see Garrett four bet on stars. Oh, wait, about the, the two brothers? I wouldn't be yeah, shocked to see one? George, yeah, he, depending really on what Garrett does here, getting here with that ace of spades. He's, he plays like really that. Friend of mine who's the main he's got a lot of heart. Which one? Which brother? He's the older brother. But not going to happen here. Brown short hair. I think that show's amazing. And here yeah, comes the check raise. Uh, I have, I've only watched the pilot, and I like really it. I love it. So 1500 from Gal as the pre-flop three better. Yeah. See that, and a check raise here to 8000 That's part of his back. It was crazy. He went all out for that roll. You couldn't blow Gal out of this hand with a with a cannon, right now. He's coming. I'm gonna guess that's his, but I don't. Yeah, I want to kill him. Yeah, he's in a big hand. And you can see that they're almost as deep. I mean, obviously Garrett covers him by a lot, but I mean, we have a hundred thousand in play here. A pot approaching twenty thousand. Turn here is a nine. So that does not help Gal. Doesn't really pick up any straight draws either. Now, 7 8 comes in, but you wouldn't think that Gaul would have 7 8 because he threw that. Once in a while, you might yeah. throw that in, but. The tricky thing about Gaul is he could have anything. $16,000. 16000 here from Garrett. Seconds. The other thing Gal could be ahead of is a higher flush draw that doesn't have a pair. So he could yeah. have the best hand if he's thinking that. Yeah. Rivers of five. Yeah. And Garrett, what a life. Top full house. Jack's full. Not even around the first orbit and yep. Garrett with set. Makes the full house. You think Garrett will get tricky here? Or he's got to bet this. I think he's definitely going to bet. Yeah. I, I, I'm wondering on Gal's point, because we've seen him like in history make some big, big call downs. I mean, he, he has a six here. Well, there's the all in. The all in, it's about 30,500 into 51. So about maybe a 40%, no, 60% bet. And you can see that Gal's going to get almost three to one here. Yeah, and they have, these two have a ton of history. I would not be shocked if Gall didn't look this up. I mean, it's not good for Gall that he actually has spades, because it's less of a chance that yeah. Garrett has a flush draw, but Garrett could very well. Now, you lose to 7-8, though, too. Yeah. Garrett had that combo draw, that 7-8. But right off the bat here, Nick, 82,000. Could be over 100,000 if Gal makes this call. Again, this was a three bet pot by Gal. Garrett just flatted. He did not four bet. 
Gala had the betting lead, bet got check raised, and here we are at the end. Ten seconds. After Garrett bet, almost pot on turn, and now he's all in on the river. Adding one minute. There's a time extension, Nick. Of course, you get six of those, right, per show? One per hour, correct. Yeah. Six hour show. And then uh, if there's overtime, they get to reload a little bit. I want to ask you about the pressure sometimes. Yeah. With those time shifts after this hand. You bet. And Gall is not Hollywood, and he, he, he's very capable putting okay. that 30,000 here with the six. I also saw a, a comment in the live chat, too, as he's going to look like he's going to use another yeah. time extension. Once in a while, you could actually lose to a bluff here, Nick, like if Garrett had like nine seven spades, and he's yeah. like, I got a bluff. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Abs there's a, yeah, no doubt. <clears throat> What a great feeling it has to be to be sitting there being Garrett. He knows he's, he's got it locked up, and he knows he's got a guy here that is not afraid to put all his chips in. Yeah, he probably thinks that Gall has like an overpair or something yeah. like that. This just reminds me of years ago when Gall made that big call down with a 3-4 off against Art, if yeah, you remember from like three years ago. Yeah. Gall's a sick individual in a good way. Of course, the other thing, too, for Gall is that he blocks some of those flop full houses, and he, he also blocks five six. Six is full because he has a six in his hand, yeah. so there's a lot going on in this hand, right? Yeah. yeah. What do you think he's going to do, Bart? I think he's going to fold because it's early, Nick. Yeah. Ten seconds. I think you're right. And there it is. Yeah. yeah. Let's it go. Yeah. The eighth wonder takes down an $82,000 pot, and uh, nobody's shocked about that. Garrett Adelstein doing what he does. It's also one of those things, too, that maybe the viewers don't necessarily take into account, but... Who knows how many buy-ins Gall just, I'm talking about mechanically, like physically brought to the game today. Like you could buy in for 500 big blinds and be like, oh, yeah. if I lose the entire thing, how much am I left for for the rest of the session? Right. You know? Yeah. Yeah. And Gall, uh, I'm sh that seems yeah, yeah. correct. Gal's yeah, got yeah, a lot of heart. Put it Gal's, over there. Gal, yeah, yeah, whatever like, Gal has, yeah, yeah, or yeah, anybody yeah, does yeah, it, he'll yeah, find yeah, it and he'll put it back into no this game. And uh, he doesn't have a he okay, doesn't have a give up. Yeah, yeah. That's right. Okay. That's right. I gave you that. Yeah. You know, Gal, Gal's second, very capable like, of being up 100k or down 100k really quick, and that's the kind of guy game he plays. It's hard hard to play against Gal. It's a good thing about a number like that. We're never going to get that confused. Yeah. If it's 500, it's a soul number. Yeah. What a great hand right off the bat. That might be one of the first times I've ever seen Garrett actually flat a three bet, to be honest with you. I mean, I'm not, I know it's happened before, but. Yeah. 400. Yeah, that is not his nature, but uh, that almost maybe got him paid, too. Raise it up here by uh, Andy after Three the, players. I like to call it the power limp by Armenian Mike. <laughs> the power tank limp. <laughs> so Andy out of the small blind here. It looks like uh, George has the best of it with a 10. a bottle too, please? Okay. 1,300. Let's do it. George going to take it down. So you get 30 seconds for each decision. You can put in a time chip, and it gives you another two minutes. And you get six throughout the six hours. You get one minute. Oh, one minute. You get one minute. One minute. I'm sorry. One minute. Okay. Yeah. I'll tell you. 
I like the time clock, man. I, I, I push for the time clock in every game if we can because uh, there's a factor. The game moves faster because of it. People want to preserve their time chips. And there's some players that will take the time if they're not under any uh, time uh, restrictions, you know? And, I, you know, I like playing fast. How about 10,000 behind? 10,000 behind? He, uh, he's just coloring the chips. He's not adding them. They're just coloring the chips. I'm just letting the table know. But as you know, you got to be very careful with those time chips. We have some new players, if you remember. Uh, when they get tossed in, if they're not paying attention, sometimes it could look like a call and a lot of things can happen. So you have to be very aware of what's being thrown into the pot when those time chips are on the table. Yeah, you wouldn't want to just reveal your hand when someone puts a time yeah. chip in, right? Yeah, we had a new player. It happened recently. So. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Looks like Gal straddled this hand, so. Gal's I... middle name is Straddle. Oh, and Mike's going to call here. He's going he's gonna to piece off here with sixes. Yeah. Got the best of it. Wow. Well, now Mike oh has a my pull gosh! House. Here he goes. This is gonna. This should do it. <laughs> there you go. Good job, Mike. He shows the six. He likes that. He Don't likes to do Mike. that. Don't mess with Mike. No um, I didn't see it. It's great to see Gall. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Mike. Three guys, at least three guys at the table that are, that are that are not afraid to put in all their chips in the Andy Garrett Gall. And, and Chris, too, for that hey, matter. Hey, and let me tell you something. George is a baller, man. This guy's ready to put his chips in. He's, uh, he's been doing some crazy things, and he's, and he's run good. So there might be a little extra confidence there in his, in his game, too. Six. Bart, we're going to see some blood today. That's just what you're basically what you're saying. We're going to see it. And, and we're, we're here for six hours because we stream, yeah. of course, every weekday, Monday through Thursday from your full trip five here. local yeah, time to till, uh, 1 a.m., but we go an extra hour, or 5 yeah, to, uh, excuse me, probably 5 to 10, we go an extra yeah, hour tonight to 11. I yeah. Six hours. Yeah. 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 Take a look here at a chip count. Yeah. Yeah. Garrett's up a quick off 35,000 right away. Yeah. yeah. Bought it for 60. He was with some gamer. Some gamer, like a... Like, I knew who the kid was, but he's an Asian kid with long This game will not play like a 51-1. We know that. Yeah, it's just a matter of time before this thing starts good. Yeah. 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 Well, we already saw the straddle, yeah. and here we go again. Maybe they, yeah. they might have already agreed for a round two. Yeah, yeah. Right off the bat. yeah there we go. Yeah. Round of straddles. Yeah. Andy, going to bring it in here Garrett, for... I went to an amazing restaurant. I got food. 600? Oh. Found oyster. You ever been there? Mm -mm. Yes. Do you like seafood? Of course, yeah. What part of town? It's like called a lot Found of Oyster? Are. Found Oyster. Yeah, Where is it at? Both have to try it. Uh, it's in uh, East LA. Like uh, Silver Lake -y or? No, like, like Little Armenia. Oh, wow. Uh, but it is like so good. There's probably only 20 seats total in the restaurant. It's like, like five, seats. two tops, and then a bar. Yeah, yeah. You have to get there probably like 11.30. Really it East East opens LA, at 12. Yeah. Huh? It's not really East LA, Little Armenia. What is that? Thai town. I, little Armenia is Thai town. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, super familiar. I used little, to live over there, Nick, for. Yeah. Lived here for 17 years. How long did you wait? Are you, wait, are you happy where you're at, or would you wish yeah. you were back? Yeah, I like, you're good? I like Austin, yeah, yeah. Texas. I'm also married to a Thai woman, so I know Thai woman. You went on a weekday for, well. for lunch? Or? East weekend, Hollywood. Weekend, nice. weekend for lunch. Yeah. Little Armenia. Kind of have like 2000. lobster rolls and fresh, but no oyster bars. So mm -hmm. Tons of oysters. Uh, Gallop stuff. This is really good. Yeah. Well, Andy here brings it in for a race. Golf three sick. bets jacks, and Andy's going to defend with King Jack off. Oh, look at this. Oh, the case this Jack. Thank God for the ace. Yeah, yeah the case Jack Andy. comes out. <laughs> Crazy, but, there, but there is an ace, but that's definitely going to be enough for Andy to oh, continue. Yeah. Quick 2,000 and a call. Yeah. Third heart here on the turn. Check. And Andy with the king of hearts here, oh, yeah. and Gal now checks. So Andy picks up. A lot of equity here, because he picks up the king high flush draw. He also has a gutter to a queen here. He bets 2,500. Gal here, as you can see with middle set, probably just going to play this as a call, and he does. Yeah. 
and the river's oh clean. Oh my gosh. There's the one liner. <clears throat> I mean, at least it's on the obvious end, Nick. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's not going to cost him too much, but that's a sick run out. Sick run out. Okay. And it looks like it was a small bet oh, by Andy. Yeah, yeah. just a little value. That's right. That's right. Yeah. yeah. 3,400 in the call. 3,400? Wow. Yeah. Boy, Gal is, uh, yeah. It's not running out well for him early. Yeah, the first 20 minutes. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, he looks, he looks, a, he looks mini frustrated. <laughs> he's not there yet, but he's definitely mini frustrated for sure. Andy, you're going to be the straddle. Somehow I, I felt like it wasn't gonna go. Today. No, you were right, Gal. <laughs> you feel relaxed. Okay. Sorry, you didn't check that out. You'll be here. Yeah, you're wearing a nice shirt. I like your shirt. Yeah. Oh, I, I just wanted to. Uh, yeah, the triple V-neck to the hanging to the right. Well, not going so good. Still fighting the. <laughs> yeah, we got the live chat up here too, so I'm always seeing that. Any oh, not a What's the host's pertinent name comments I will highlight. But thank you guys for joining us. I just want to order some food. That's all. Like I said, we'll be here for six hours. I'm not gonna read them, Bart. They're they're historically mean to me. So if, you see, <laughs> so if you see anything in there, just uh, don't don't tell me. <laughs> it's all. <laughs> you turn it around, why don't you? Oh, that's okay. Thank you. Um, uh, those of you, that's Tita. She works our games right there. Um, can I get the Galdi? Thank you. Well, check, thank you guys. Gal opens button against Andy Straddle. Andy defends. Check, check. And uh, Andy here with the best of him in the 10. But unfortunately for Gal, he turns a pair turns now. Nine, yeah. yeah. Here now. River's a king. Let's see if Andy oh, he's gonna... maybe he puts a value <laughs> bet out here. Front door diamonds. Check, check on flops. I don't know why the fuck I'm playing. I think it's going to go check, check. <laughs> I'd be it's shocked. a trap, bro. <laughs> Careful, bro. It's a trap. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen him do that. I got. I literally got confused. I think Gal checked. Check, 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 check. He's gonna go check. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Gal checked yeah, back out of turn by accident. Yeah. Exactly. Nice. Yeah. It confused. Gal grinded it, that check. check. Andy didn't yeah. know what the hell to do. Grinded after that, that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Andy um, takes it down. Obviously, just a mistake. Yeah, yeah. Yes. I could never be more sure of something in my life than that he accidentally. I think it's Gal. I was bet it all. That's what happened. But it was so quick. Like turning away, he just like instantly tells like what. Cool. Look at his hand. His hand's a check. <laughs> yeah, this may not mean anything to anyone, but to see Andy talking and no, laughing and smiling so and quickly, like, doing all that like, on, a like, on a regular like, now is so yeah. different. You when I first met Andy, like, the first two years I played with him, I don't think I heard him talk. Well, I was just going to say, I was just going to bring up the first week with the, that hand against Mickey with the Jax yeah. and Ace 10. And yeah, he talked more that episode than I'd seen him talk in the previous yeah. three years. Five hundred. Gal here to five hundred. Gonna get called by Andy. And it looks like here by uh, by George and Gal. Okay, keep up top two. So here we go. Well, let's let's hope it holds up for him. Andy just gonna get out of there though with George behind wow. him. Wow. Yeah. Gal wins the small one. Oh, that one thousand. There's our floor guy, Lewis, too. Yeah, there he is. I was giving him updates as to my ETA. Nick, you know, because of the bad weather in the Northeast, yeah. my flight, JetBlue from Austin here, was delayed three hours, so I had to switch wow. flights. Yeah. And uh, wheels down here for me at LAX at 425. Mm -hmm. That's hard. Knock uh, on wood. Like I said at the beginning, it was, it was <laughs> not a joke when I said there was 12 seconds left. And yep. You jumped into the seat and threw your bag down. So. Hopped in a cab, traditional cab, no Uber, no Lyft, nothing yeah. like that out of LAX. Straight here. Okay. There you go. Uh, seat two is adding 26,000. So we got Gall adding 26K, so he is not going to get caught short in case he comes up with something. Raise. 1,000. Garrett's going to ISO the limp here from Krish with the uh, Jack Three of Clubs and Armenian Mike in the straddle with two ladies. You think he flats? It looks like he did flat. Oh, there you go. Yeah, it looks that's like what he, he does. You got, he never know. You never know. You were, you were exactly right. You were point on. What happened? You went back to the petting zoo? 
Yeah, man. <laughs> so Garrett with the raising lead, but everybody's missed here, so I'm not sure. I don't see this going any further. I mean, Mike Hall, the only way that Garrett loses here is if he continues to barrel off. You didn't know there was actual real life animals. Turns 10. That's the other pet. That's the adult pet. He might think that he could bluff Mike off of an eight here, Nick. Yeah, I agree. He's going to continue to bet. And Mike just snaps. That's. Yeah, so River's a three, and now Garrett actually picks up some showdown value with the pair, so he might feel like he might not need to bluff. Maybe he's good once in a while against like six, seven of speed. He might snap that last bet pretty fast. Yeah. I, I do know Garrett probably thinks he could make a move on Mike if, if he's running thin in a hand, but I don't know. Garrett usually is going to make the right decision. I think it's going to go check, check. And it does, and Armenia Mike wins another one. How much? 50? All right, thank you. I actually think, you know, a lot of people don't necessarily realize that. Garrett is lucky that a three came there. Because That's right. I think if like a nine came or a jack, he takes another uh, shot at it. Uh, yeah. Well, not a jack, but some other. Yeah. I, I think he might have bluffed off. Yeah, the rest he, of his he has just a small enough to squeak yeah. through. Nice if Mike checks back and he's high or something. Yeah. Maybe we could get some other change on the TV channels here. Yeah. There's Jeremy looking to control the TVs. Feather is not in. No feather. Just to put on the music channel. Sorry. I'm focused. Of course, I remember Jeremy playing like mid stakes. Now he's sort of stepping it up. Likes to play this Friday game. I missed my blind. Do I have well, to I'm going to give no, Jeremy know, props here. I'm going to tell you, I remember Jeremy so about two so years ago, maybe more. And like you said, he worked his way up. And I remember when he came up, and I, I can't remember if it was the Friday game or the ante game, but he was stepping up in class. And uh, his range was so small. And, and there was a couple hands where, you know, even with uh, mid sets, he was considering folding a lot of hands because he was just playing above him. Now, he's banging it up with everyone, and uh, he's become a great player. We've got two ace highs here. Armenia Mike has a wheel draw, but this one might get checked out. Yeah. Yeah. And East 10's gonna win it. He did kind of take a long time with that hand against Antonio with aces, if you remember. Well, there you go. Yeah. 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 Well, again, respectfully, that's a that's a big pot for him. Yeah. And uh, that's exactly to the point. So. Fairly certain that Hustler Casino Live has that hand cut up as a highlight. If you obviously have not already subscribed to the channel, and if you like what you see, hit that like button. Yeah. Everything yeah, goes up in my yeah, man this stream, yeah, highlight yeah, videos. Yeah, You'll personal. always see you know, all the content for free <laughs> on the channel. That yeah, really smash right? that like yeah, button yeah, for us, guys. Yeah, it's Spread the word. It's it's up, right? there, we're Number like, one we're live streaming poker right? show <laughs> in the industry. We're setting the new standard, really, as I said the first week, right off the bat. Yeah. Yeah, we're very proud and very excited about the future. George, you're, oh. you're Armenian or Seems Lebanese? like another Lebanese. ripe... Oh, oh, I, was just, Arabic, I, I, yeah. I could have sworn Armenian call was... Arabic. Armenian Mike was going to call there between yeah. Queen Jack and Clubs, but English. maybe he doesn't want to get it mixed up between these two big Bart, guys. he's very unorthodox. Yeah, French, yeah. It's, it's yeah. really yeah. hard yeah. to know, yeah. and that's yeah. fun, yeah. fun being on this end of it, actually seeing yeah. it, because... You get a glimpses of it when you're playing in a game with him, but Have it's very confusing. After that? Oh, yeah. It's a three-bet pot here between Garrett and Andy. Andy, three-bet Garrett. Oh, yeah, it's, I heard it's really bad. Players here with ace high, check checked into the river, and if no one bluffs at it, ace jack will win. Now maybe Garrett thinks he needs to bluff off of like an ace king or an ace queen here. It wouldn't surprise me. No, just to check check. 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 Yeah, friendly check check. Ace jack gonna win. Garrett thinking to himself, I had a shot at that. <laughs> Too many aces out. Are we still Thank straddling you. or no? Ace, ace, ace. No, no, I thought we were doing that one around. We did around. We just need volunteers. There's one extra seat open. We may have a uh, surprise new guest playing, hence the reason why I couldn't sit in it. But uh, 
hopefully we'll we'll see if we'll be eight handed soon. That's what I hear. We'll see. Again, we're playing 5100 with a 100 big blind ante. Sometimes we'll see straddles here as well as Jeremy picks up two cowboys here. This is definitely in his range. Three bet out of the small blind with kings. Gal falls in between with ace jack. And, we're in, and George going to come in here with queen eight. So shocked I don't see an ace, man. You see it so often when you have kings. The one we were just talking about. I'll tell you this. I think. Well, I was going to say I think Gaul's going to float this. Yeah. yeah and yeah, one of the reasons one. is because of course oh, you can't fold every you? hand uh, on the, on the flop, but. So he's an aggressive good. player, so good. and he might think he can make some moves against French Jeremy. That's just my opinion on the metagame. Okay. Course, too, but we'll see what happens. Jeremy's going nowhere, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't see how sound, right? that doesn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. But you've got to watch the original French with English subtitles. That also I've been to watch. And I can't wait well, for that season. makes sense oh, with like what we just talked about, right? Maybe Gaul thinks he can move Jeremy off and get something. Yeah, season two coming out soon, but it's... I mean, it's a factor, you know. Jeremy's a great player. But, you know, there's make a, a move against, uh, you know, of books like, say, Garrett's um, a whole different, ago, whole different ball of wax. It's, it's, it's not even the same animal. So there's a lot of that going on with different players in this game. All great players, all great guys. <laughs> but this is actually really a different twist. It's about a kid who grew up reading the books. Oh, and he can be by the And by the way, let me give you a Lupa, shout out. Lupa, yeah. And this is the truth. This is just came to me. It wasn't a plan yeah, thing. Really but I will tell I thought, you, no, I uh, you, you're, you're the, one really of the top good. commentators yeah, in this game, well, and, yeah. and the knowledge like you have for this game is is uncanny. And one of my favorite hands, and some other place to flip phone place, and you commentating, you get so passionate about the game as well as the knowledge. So we are absolutely blessed to have you, man. So I hope you keep. Yeah. Well, I appreciate yeah, that. About how, like, Here's the hundred. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, no, yeah it's going to take a little more than a hundred if you want me to do that again. But. <laughs> no, I really do appreciate that. There's a couple that. people I, that I recently talked about I White Lotus. That oh, show is yeah. fucking yeah, incredible. Yeah, yeah. Check that out. Jeremy here has the preflop. Razor, they're, like, they're they running out of shows. Live, like, next fall this year again, which he did last year. Sure, right? Yeah, because well. everything's back yeah. on. I think by next year, we'll get a lot of... So there's sure, definitely yeah. a limp game here from So many great Kirsch shows takes to off here yeah. and Jeremy yeah. turns... Oh, yeah. Succession is the one I'm waiting for. Succession? You watch that one? No. no. Oh, it's just great. So you can Who's see he has a bunch of equity because he's got two over cards. Like, no huge actors. To three like, and a flush draw. The show's done so well that they're all, like, critically acclaimed. Is it on Netflix or...? HBO. HBO, okay. And 900 here from Jeremy. All the good shows are moving to HBO. Huh? Yeah. I always think HBO makes the Chris best shit. Chris is pretty like sticky. Pound for pound. Yeah. Like Netflix obviously and, probably makes. And creative. 20x the content. Yeah, creative, so. But yeah, per wow, show, like HBO is so yeah. good. Yeah, I'd be worried to have like all the so, so, scriptures. So, 900, like, 3,000. Dude, just do it. Just surfing all day. That's me, bro. Like, yeah, I waste so much of my life. I have a subscription to every fucking everything. Yeah. <laughs> It's such a waste of time. Ten seconds. It's so hard for me to just like chill. Yeah. That, like I found that like that's oh, one of the things. It's gonna work, yeah. Chill, it's gonna my brain off for a bit. Yeah. yeah. I have not had the opportunity to play on a table. A lot of with people can't do that. They can't even watch a show. These time chips. They like have such anxiety. They can't even they like. Can't sit down. And they can't yeah, even watch. Way. They're just sit thinking there. about something else. Right. Or, yeah. I but hope I one day I will play on a Friday show yeah, if I can ever get the opportunity. But but I can like some show, you sort of feel watch the pressure. The whole like, thing. Jeremy just had like, like 10 yeah. seconds. That's yeah. right. That's, like that was maybe that's right. Door to get your if he's, if yeah, he's yeah, 70 yeah. 30 on a fold, he's going to fold instead of taking more time because those chips are precious later on when you have a real harder decision. Yeah. So I love it. Like I said, I'm an advocate for it in the Tuesday game, the Thursday game. It really speeds up the game. It's a good thing. For sure. We're so used to watching them all now. Binge watching that, like the yeah. ones that come once a week, are so frustrating. Yeah, yeah. that's HBO, right? My buddy Ryan Feldman's listening. I'd love to have that thing charged that, up for like, the uh, kind of like for the other games. You have games. to wait till next week, and you're yeah. gonna watch yeah. it. But. Yeah, yeah. 
I just love what the enjoy. We used to call that a point Let's give Ryan a yeah, shout yeah. out for putting putting together these Whenever great possible, lineups, man. I tried out, like, He's if got a, show a looks gift. Good and it's like this, on is, this is an insane lineup. I wait, lineup. I wait, wait for until the season ends. For sure. Yeah, yeah. then you can binge it. Yeah. It's not it's like too painful. Right? Yeah. 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 Like White Lotus is painful. Yeah. And we, we've talked one. about it, right? We talked about it like a week or two ago. My Lotus? Like, after I finished it as well. We talked about it or not? I don't know if we talked about it after oh, yeah. you finished it. I loved it just as much as you, though. Yeah, it I was thought it so was good. one of the best shows I've seen. Before. Yeah. And I'm wondering, like, what they can do for season two. Yeah. If there is one, I don't know. The creator of the show, he did this other show called Enlightened. Another great show, old school show on HBO. I've heard of it. Before I haven't seen it. It's good. Yeah, he was on Survivor, coincidentally. Oh, the, really? Like the director, producer, whatever. Oh, nice. I think his name's Mike White. Yeah. Yeah. RB on the button with King Jack suited. Have you ever seen the show High Beans? Brings it in for 300. Yeah, I watched Krish some of that. with 6 uh, 3 apart. He guy, will right? call this. Yeah. Brothers oh, doing a show. Not see a fold from him. The nice. Wee Delivery guy. <laughs> And we need Garrett. We need to see Garrett's cards. We're gonna get to play a hand. He makes it 1700. We're gonna get to see the fan. Oh, there it is. The pair of tens. Chris is gonna get out of the way. We got Jer uh, Arby with two overs on the button, and we're gonna see a flop. Those are quarter chips behind yeah, 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 yeah. I think over there. Yeah, yeah, you're good. You're fine, yeah. thank you. So Garrett here with the over pair. Pretty ambitious call here. It is. From the King Jack. Ten seconds. This is going to get it done. Yeah, he's not really scared of the seven, it looks like, at all. Yeah. You know, Arby, I think, is making his first Friday debut and debut, and, uh, you know, he may have called that flop because he's just trying to get his sea legs here. And, uh, and you know, playing against Garrett, he's been wanting to do that for a while now, and but it's going to get it done. He's got a full done hand. There it goes. Coffee. Louis. You know, it's really different when you're playing on camera and on stream, and especially if you're playing, if you're a horse and you're going up in class and and uh, you're playing against guys that you've been watching and admiring, and it's 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 a whole different ball game when all eyes are upon you. So sometimes you do some things that you normally wouldn't do. Lewis. Lewis. You want, that is the US Open, right? Again, the white chips no, are hundreds. Like old replay. Like the greens are oh, yeah, a quick one case. <laughs> Purples are 25s. We can see big 5Ks too, as well. It's on ESPN. And they are brown chocolate. Chris is going to raise it up here to 300 with 88. Garrett here with pocket fours is going to make the call. So Chris here with the best of it. And he's going to bet 500 and he's going to take it down. Nick, I found a, a button to flip. On my uh, my audio interface, oh, is that like what made it better? It looks like it's made it better. Yeah. All right, good for you. <laughs> we got to hear you, buddy. Hey, a shout out to Ron Labet in the chat. I'm not going to interact with the chat much, but uh, he said to make sure you let me know that they're going to be extra nice to me tonight and handle me with kick gloves. So, thanks, buddy. <laughs> What you don't need to do, but that was very nice.
Gall bringing it in for 300 with a pocket pair of fours. Arby looks like he's going to come along for 300 with ace 10. And George never seen a 10 7 off he didn't love. Oh, that's a set. Okay. Second set here for Gall sure right is. away. Doesn't look like he's going to get much from it unless someone goes crazy. George likes to do this. If there's been checks, he, he likes to come out. Doesn't matter what he has, he's aggressive. And a lot of times this will work and take it down, but unfortunately the timing is wrong. Well, he actually has a hidden open-ended straight draw here. Yeah. Like he's got a double gutter here. It's a weird one with 10-7. Sometimes somebody might not see it, but he can catch a nine or a five. That's Sometimes right. players don't see it. Yeah. So it wouldn't be surprised me if he doesn't see yeah, it. Yeah, I was going to say, hopefully he sees it. Yeah. And of course, Gal's going to raise with a set. And look at that. See, yeah. he just snapped Moxie. It wouldn't be surprising if he didn't see it there. Exactly. Yeah. I was looking for it. I was like, this could be a double gutter here. Yep. With the 10-7. Yeah, that is a hand that could get by you if you're not if you're not paying attention. Well, go another little mini pot. Second set of the night. Didn't quite get the the boom Garrett got from his set of jacks, but it's nice to nice to see sets early. As Gal's going to open here for uh, with uh, pocket tens, I want to ask you about the doors that are coming in here yeah. after this hand. You bet. When we'll see this sort of yeah. outside shot. Yeah, I'll, I'll, that's tell you, coming. I'll tell you what we got happening. Yeah. All right. So here we go again. Three ways. Check. Not a great flop, and it looks like George has the best of it with a queen here. I wouldn't, yeah, I was gonna say, I wouldn't be shocked to see golf call this. <laughs> well, River's an ace, and see if George can throw a value bet in here after everything gets. Oh, I love it. Perfect. Love it. Love Great it. Bet. Love it. Yep. And maybe Gal gets curious here because backdoor clubs bust out. And obviously it's less of a chance that someone has an ace when a second ace comes. Yeah, but, right. you, but you get really burned when you call <laughs> and, like one of those days. and he rolls over yeah. a queen. I think he's going to put it in. Gal's very curious. Okay. and Well, yeah, if I had to guess, I think he's putting it in. <laughs> well, he's going to cost him a time chip, so now he's going to think about it more. You know, if Gal gets stuck early, he's extra curious. It's his nature. But that's what helps him get even a lot of times, too. So, if I was a betting man... Uh, those two little greenies, I think, are coming in. Well, from his perspective, he's even getting better odds than you're giving because he's getting two to one. That's 2, right. 2,000 for four. That's right. If you're giving even money. So yep. he only needs to be good here one out of three times. Yeah. Come on, man. Only 2,000. Oh, uh, no, I don't know. The show Just, has to go on. Come on. Come on, George. <laughs> stop talking. You're going to get, you're gonna get like calls if you will stop talking. Sorry, Doing it yep. all in. <laughs> God, there it is. Oh, there it is. I have a queen. Great value bet. Right. I convinced him. Give, give George the props <laughs> there. Yeah. Good I guess I was wrong. He convinced him. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, he's bullshit. Oh, no. No way. I can You pissed him off, man. Yeah, Good yeah. thing he didn't raise you. That's the salesman. The salesman. <laughs> it was. Can I make a prediction, Bart? Go for it. Marketer, I predict that we're going to see golf. I mean, if you had an ace, you would have called. Really right? turn up, I turn up a notch doing. or two <laughs> here. Probably <laughs> worth it. This, After this is his nature, man. <laughs> he gets very I know, I know. aggressive when so he has long. that look in his eye, too. Many, many no frustration. Well, it's going to make for a great show, then. That's right. That's just my guess. Yep. You had the third pair, huh? 
You watch any baseball? And guys like Andy and Garrett, and George and Chris, and all these guys are going to be happy to accommodate the action. It's too long in the season. Oh, would you like me to tell you about the doors? You want me to? Good sport to Yeah, so we have these doors coming in. Is that right? Up outside the front there? Yeah, we're going to have big glass doors right out front behind Garrett there. They're going to swing out. And uh, we have the best audio and video in the industry but with that I mean, said I it's going to even be a lot better when some of that background noise there. goes away so and the gm here has committed to put some really silent cooling around. systems Which in game? there too to keep us cool when the doors get shut and uh that should happen no within the next two weeks oh. i believe so this will be enclosed right here that's right this shot will be yep that's going to be enclosed and that noise will significantly go down we're able to hear through it because like I said, we have you know top of the line yeah, everything here. This is TV yeah. production type right. of audio. There's, there's, a, there's a night club, right? There's yeah. a night. There's a club. I mean, I mean literally, if we wanted to, we could be around which we don't have phones because of what we're doing. But you could zoom in and probably read your text if we wanted to. The first Monday night game at the stadium. Oh wow! Because it's brand new stadium. Is it the gun? Uh, like full capacity or like king queen? Every other season. No, I don't think Vegas cares. Okay, good time. I'm sure you gotta show proof of vaccination. Yeah, I think you do. You do Chris here flops series, top yeah. pair. Yeah, going to get a bet. Yeah, he'll, that's he'll take it down. All right. No bet. Put no. a bet for 100. Whatever. There's Garrett asking for another straddle, straddle round. No. No. And I think they're going to accommodate. Straddle round. Well, you know, as technology gets along, I think a lot of people watch this, like, on a smart TV. I know I do when I get home. Yeah. And they bring all the other right live away. streams, and you blow it up. It just looks terrible. Too. The cameras are just, they're, they're ancient, you know? Yeah, it's almost like they're running it on a flip phone in some of them. And, uh, yeah, and we just decided, man, we're going to be the best in the business. And we came out hot like that. We didn't want to grow into it. We wanted to come out and be the best, and I think we're doing that. Huh? White girl? Yeah. It's like a white girl's If you notice, we made our font. White girls it's a lot better for any people watching on phones. Girl. So you can see the hands a lot easier for old guys like me. It's very helpful. Look at that shot. Look at those pretty hands. He could do like uh, hand commercials. Yeah, I love, the, I love this close, close up shot here as Garrett's going to three bet out of the straddle. Jeremy opens here from the cutoff. Garrett going to three bet to 2400 with the ace jack offsuit. Take it down. Yeah, he's going to take it down. You know, and a lot of times, too, even though you have position, when you're playing against a player like Garrett, and I know this firsthand, you know, Queen 10 could be a calling hand, but with him, you're, you're going to take a lot of heat, and you got to be prepared for that heat, and your stack has to reflect being able to handle that heat. So Garrett's a power player and has a, a big effect on, so to, on like, what players are normally would do and what they like, wouldn't do. Like printing and like other stuff, right? You pick one and you go with it? So uh, oh, no, of course you do. You can okay. mix, okay. yeah. Can. A lot of people do. It can do. be dangerous. Though. It can be dangerous? Yeah. Really? What do you mean? Just taking ecstasy is dangerous. I mean, it's, not, it's just like not a great idea, like... No, uh, but using, like, doing two drugs like that can be... More yeah. Wow, Gal's gonna pick like up pieces here. Yeah. Okay, Mix what? Alcohol. If we're talking about like, for instance, uh, Molly specifically, uh -huh. like it's such an, a powerful drug uh -huh. that like if you're like half drunk, you wouldn't even feel the alcohol at all. Really? You know what I mean? We're getting so our drug like, education here on our sure, psychedelics. Yeah. There have been instances where people mix it and like it could be like deadly yeah. mixing. Yeah. So it's not the I mean, safest, it's, it's not and it's kind of wasteful. Uh -huh. So it's like. But a lot of people still do it anyway. It hasn't right? been done probably 10 million times. The frustration times mounts. Because yeah, a lot now of people, got a, like, uh, go they with just aces want to be partying. And yeah. So they get there right away, Some and change. they drink a bunch, right. and then later that on, has, they'll Sometimes that's how it goes, right. too. When you're when you're not running good, I don't, you get I don't big really hands. That, you know? In my younger years, you yeah, usually don't get any action. One drug a night is plenty for me. But it can change on a dime. A dollar's a player to get a change. One drug per night. One drug per night. Take a look here at a chip count. As long as you don't mix you, okay? I want to drink a lot of water. As we get a, a dealer change. Sure, yeah. you know, actually, and Jared sitting in for Lauren. Andy, as you can see here, first hour go. I learned how to do X. 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 I could tell you guys have all done it. Orange juice experience drugs.
It's time for the Action Clock. It's not a shot clock, it's the Action Clock by Protection Poker. And it's used for high stakes cash games right here at Hustler Casino Live. That's right, more plain and less weighty. The Action Clock is also used at prestigious events around the globe. And it's the official poker action clock of the World Poker Tour. It's time for the Action Clock by Protection Poker because every second counts. Follow the Action Clock on Twitter at Protection Poker. Hashtag Action Clock. Love that action clock. That's okay. Love it. No yeah, we're going to get right back into it here, and I think Garrett's going to win another one here. He bets here with King Queen, but wow, look at this. George is going to get curious here with Ace High. Garrett, of course, turns it. <laughs> turns the back of his shocker. Curious George against the eighth wonder. You try. He's going to give him some rope right now. The Korean short trips, really good. I love it. hard to get people to do shots. You can see that Garrett is in the small blind. George is in the straddle. So George defended the straddle, floated the flop. Now he's going to start a bluff. And, you know, I think Garrett is keenly aware that George could have a 10, but I fully expect him to just check call here. There's the call. Great shot there. I like the way you, your computer works. Oh, wow. Yeah. Wow. How about full house now? It is high. Yeah, and unfortunately for Garrett here, George actually had ace high where he wasn't going to bluff, but yeah. Garrett's good sport. Yeah, I know, man. Have you know, uh, once you started laughing at me, you go, I'm done with this one, huh? <laughs> good check, good check. I mean, my 10 is no good anymore. Yeah. I don't have a 10. Yeah. <laughs> I tried. Yeah. Um, that queen? I think it's queen, yeah, you saw it. I, I saw, yeah, yeah. King queen, yeah. All right, collection then is in. I see you, right? Collection pot here. Can you, can you here? bomb pots into a round of straddles? I'm in. That, 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 instead of like everybody putting oh, we're money, in a straddle round right now, money in the middle, we'll just do a round of straddle instead. Yeah, I, I don't think we were doing the bump ups anyway. <laughs> no, we're not doing bump ups. Oh, we're not doing bump ups? One of the things that I think that I, I read from the live chat the most, Nick, that people don't understand is they think that the players aren't tipping the dealers. And the tips are worked into the collection, right, each time. Yeah, that's correct. So for each dealer change, they uh, get 50 bucks. And a lot of the players, like myself, and a lot of the other players will tip also when they win. Got it. Because you just don't have a lot of small chips necessarily. That's correct. I don't care about anybody else. That's not part of what I signed up for. So George going to free bet here yeah. with Ace Queen yeah. out of the big blind and Gall, Gall the original Gall. opener calls as does RB man, man. so three ways three bets come on RB let's see a five baby let's see him win a hand here well, fives are good I don't know how it's going to stick around here it's going to be hard yep. George going to bet 2,000 Gall here with a gutter to a nine and backdoor hearts I don't think he's Gall going anywhere going nowhere yep. he makes the call Oh, there's a queen for George. Yeah. Puts him in. Check. Obviously, Check. had the best hand anyways. Front door diamonds now. Check. Call's going to take the card. Check. Check. Instead of George, we saw him make a thin value bet here. He's going to check to induce. Yeah. And Gall's just left with 10 high here, so. Yeah, he's, he's going to take a shot at it versus give up. He's not a give up. Uh, and I can't see George folding this. I just don't see it. Could be wrong. Yeah, on any of those TVs? That's not it. I don't know. It's on ESPN. Yeah, I know. Everyone hates tennis, but I kind of want to No, tennis is great. He's cool. Uh, yep, yeah, there it is. Queen high. I mean, what is <laughs> Queen high, good. Queen high with the ace. Nice, good. Queen high with the ace. <laughs> Queen got some champagne. Yeah, that's my, my only hope to, to bluff it. Chopping him up. <laughs> no, but I'm giving it Value to you. bet, make him call, pick off the bluff next hand. Just a couple different bitch slaps. Wow, a media back. mic with a bling on here tonight. Right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like I said, any vampires or werewolves in the table is covered. <laughs> 
Poker is a very disrespectful game, George. I know, I know. Your call right there, it's like disrespectful. It's like, I know exactly what the fuck you're doing. <laughs> and then I like the Queen High call. Yeah. I think Queen High was good. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a little Armenian flag on Mike's baseball cap there, too, on the side. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, no, no. That's, uh, I'm, I'm straddling. Oh, oh you're straddling. Oh, yeah. Sorry. We're off freehand, Arby. Go ahead. It was because he. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's out. It's my fault for listening to Chris here. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's all good, dude. Mike said something about not legs. I something got confused. Yeah, yeah. Interesting. Call in Jeremy. Yeah, it's just a fold it around to him in the big line. He completes against the straddle, but Gal's going to raise it up, and he's going to just limp call with King Nine yeah. here. Gall's got the uh, best of it here with 9-8, yeah, sure even though he was dominated. So both players with a gut shot here to a 6. Maybe if Jeremy had, like, a king of spades, he would continue. But he's going to oh. continue anyways with yeah. king 9. Looks like he's looking for... Wow. Oh, he's caught a 9 here. Yeah. But that's going to give Gall two pairs, so top two. Okay, uh, Obviously, it's a very wet board here. Very wet, thank you. And the river here is a seven. It's going to go check, check. And that nine eight is going to beat king nine because of its two pair. Yeah, yeah, just over there. Thank you so much. You know, I'll tell you, you know, in that small blind, probably with the king nine, probably a raise is appropriate. What am I saying? See, Jeremy thought it was, I was going to say that's another spot. Where, like, so surely. So yeah, exactly. Like, he didn't see it. It's a, it's a chop, yeah, but oh, nine eight wins. Sorry. You got, you got me confused. I didn't do anything. <laughs> no, you opened it with such confidence. But what I was saying is, you know, Jeremy there might might not be a bad idea with the king to, to raise in that in that position. But truth is, I probably do the same thing because with Gall, it doesn't matter what hand he's had, and especially in the position he is right now with how he's running, he's calling that, and uh, and there it is. He, and he got the best of Jeremy on that one. I was going to say, we've seen a lot of sort of limps from Chris. I was wondering what he was going to do here, but he, he raises it. Yeah. I'm sorry. And no, uh, Garrett's going to three bet. And Andy here from behind. We could see a cold four bet here, Nick. He would be shocked. So open three bet. You can see the wheels turning. And here come the yeah, green here chips. Comes. <laughs> 6,000 6, here. And I think that Garrett might have a hand where he might defend here with the direct suited connection. Chris is going to get out of the way. Yep. And I think we're, I think I'd put Garrett at 50-50 here, but I think I think he's going to I think he's going to put it in. Taking a look at the stacks. The stacks are almost equal. It's a perfect hand to go up against a big hand. Oh, he lets uh, it go. Is that a position I was going to say the yeah. only the only trouble some things specifically about nine eight is you can make a straight when someone eight, someone else makes a straight with oh, ace king right. on the on the on the oh, queen no, no, yeah, ten board. Oh, yeah, so. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Little tight side to Garrett here yeah. <laughs> tonight. Garrett's. I think I think he calls that all day in position. But yes. Yeah. What about me, man? Yeah. I got hand. <laughs> yeah, but his hand was better. Uh, one more hundred, Arby. That seems pretty likely. Either way. Great, 600. What a life wow. here for Garrett. Pocket King, the eighth so wonder. Cool. Yep. George gonna sure. call. I'm telling you, yeah, Gall, he, Gall is gonna be. You know, what position, what hand doesn't matter. He's in. You're 100 percent right. You yeah, can see him just he's, and goosing. He's just gonna keep getting more aggressive. Did Chris just fold the Ace Five of Hearts? There? Yeah, I wow, think that's, so. that's amazing. That's pretty snug. Yeah. Okay. Look at that. Case five. Yeah, and how about George open ended here? So we're going to see some action here. Garrett with the over pair. Going to bet a thousand. How good does Garrett run? George calls with the straight draw. Turn here is the 
Jack of clubs. Okay. Garrett's going to play a little trap game here. And we've seen George start to bluff with his draws, so this will be interesting. Oh, George 3, is Jeremy playing very aggressive. And Garrett knows it. So 3,000 here from George. And there's the call. River here, offsuit queen. And I got a feeling that if George bluffs, I think Garrett's gonna snap off here because no doubt. The hand wouldn't make a lot of sense unless George flops something just super big on the flop, like a set with this run out. Or maybe he like rivered like Queen Eight suited, you know. George really wants to put in a bet here. He knows it's the only way he can win. What you were talking about earlier there, Nick, it looked like he bet, but he actually put in the time yep. chip. So Good. very careful. You know. Four thousand. That is not going to get it then. Four thousand here. I think Garrett was thinking about is there ever a way I could actually get value and, and raise here, yeah. but I think this is going to be a lot of busted draws or two pair plus. So yeah. if you had one pair, you'd just want to call against that, but we'll see. Yeah. Either way, Garrett's going to take down an eighteen thousand dollar pot. Yep. Raise. Wow. He is going to check raise. 12,000. He All is right. going to check raise. Maybe, you know, with what we have been seeing, George. Sure, all in. Well, with, with, that, Nick, it's possible <laughs> George hard for me to call, out, yeah, called for sure. the flop with like ace jack, ace queen, and then ran into something, and maybe yeah, that's, that's what Garrett right. was thinking about there. Maybe it looked like a uh, value bet. So this guy maybe had something. Yeah. That's what makes him such a great player because, Bart, a lot of players do not put in the raise there for safety reasons because two pair, no easy to have there, no and coaching. they don't want yeah, 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 to yeah. face it. And, uh, but that's why Garrett I can gets only as much value as first. he gets and builds the pots he does. He puts himself in those There's positions. A chance. Right, to get the US he has no fear. Did they say I'm going to change the channel? Just give up. Just give up. Who's give, playing I anyway? Up. I don't up. know. Whatever match it was, it's a new match. Was it a straight? It's a new one. Second but pick. Nadal is not in either, right? I have nothing great. Uh, Djokovic is oh. Fucking Djokovic is going to win another one? Yeah, he'll probably win. Hey, he's gonna, There's he's another one where Mini and Mike with Ace-9 of hearts just tied. flats from the he's hijack. Three of them are yep. tied. Just oh, a he'll break. Yeah, he'll break it. As we're in a round of straddles, so we're playing 200 here. And he hits his hand. Nadal's just not playing this But who's like number two, like the best player out there? This guy named Medvedev. Yeah, I feel like if, but he's like, yeah. there's a big fall off between one. And yeah, I feel like if Roger and Nadal retired, this tennis yeah. would be. He's, he's gonna have. He's then gonna it's have some a more like pretty easy name. path. To what is good? But I'm to Murray, Andy Murray. He actually played really well this tournament. He lost in the first round to the number three seed, but he. Armenian five, Mike with quite the why is he playing been, number three seed? Quite the yeah. hot oh, hot weed off a mistaken guy. for a push. That guy's yeah. pretty legit. <laughs> He's good, but people are getting on him because they think he he like kind of game Murray. He like. So you're allowed to go to the bathroom, but he's going for like 10, 12 minutes after the fourth set, mm. and people think it's kind of like a loophole in the rules. What's his name? Sitsi Pass. He's yeah, like what is he's he? Greek. Greek. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. You know what I mean? Like he's kind of taking advantage of it. Murray like is older, so he got tight, and then he lost the first set. So George gonna play a limp he's game here from up front. Yeah, they need some big names. And uh, Jeremy gonna after raise it up. Americans. After it's Federer, Federer, I mean, yeah. Seven eight of hearts. Cool. Andy coming in too. I can see Sampras in the straddle. The so we're gonna yes. see yeah. multi-way once again here. You got Michael Chang. Man, I tell you, Bart, I was wow. gonna say we're gonna see an, an action flop here. An <laughs> unbelievable flop. So yeah. Andy with top pair and a flush draw. Jeremy, the pre-flop raiser, has wow. a combo draw. Wow. With seven, eight of hearts, and Andy will lead Wait, out. You, 
Andy's going to lead a straight right. flush draw. Yeah, Andy's going to lead right into Jeremy, who is the pre-flop raiser. Wow, what a flop. And we will see Andy do this way more than some of the other pros, where he'll lead right in. That's right. That's right. And Jeremy's going to race that straight flush draw. So 1,100 to 3,500. Oh, look how clear that camera is. Yeah, that's awesome. Like another 15 or so. Another 15. Jeremy says he has another 15 in the graphic. We have him another 91.50 because. So, he he I'm getting confirmation from Feldman. He's got 5k more. And the reason why I think Andy asked that was because I think Andy was just ready to get it in if he only had 91.50 right. left. But now that he actually has 5k more, he's thinking about the different decisions here. If what do you think he's going to do? Well, if he calls, there'll be about a pot size bet left. Mm -hmm. It's one of these things where if you think Jeremy overfolds, maybe that he ever might race fold and over pair, I could see jamming. Oh. But he's just going to call yeah. here. He's just going to call. This is going to slow. Turn here is a 7, which wow. improves Jeremy's hand, but he still doesn't know that he's quite actually far behind. But now he could actually win with a seven or an eight. So he picks up extra outs. Right. And of course, the ten of hearts and the five of hearts too, right? Because he does have that straight flush draw. I think there's any way possible Jerry, Jeremy jams here. He's got a pot size bet left. I, I, I really wouldn't mind the play. Play it like you got aces. Yeah. I think he's thinking about it. I think that would probably be the play. He's definitely thinking about it. It's either jam or, or, or check. I mean, I, just, I think he's thinking about it. I mean, I guess he could go like 3,000, something like that, but maybe set up a river shove if he thinks he needs to bluff. There's yeah, the all-in. Yeah. There's the all-in. And this is really interesting here for Andy. He's uh, getting 2 to 1. So here's the thing with Andy. Let's do some math here. Yeah. Andy with pair and a flush draw. If if Jeremy actually had an over pair here, Andy would have maybe 14 or 15 well, outs. Oh, exactly. Yeah. And he would need about two to like one. 15? So it's really close. It's really close. And and I gotta tell you, my my instincts and knowing Andy and all the history, I don't see him folding this hand. I do not. I'd be shocked. I mean, he'd be getting right around the right price here against Aces. And he's yeah. going to make the call. Yeah, he's not going to take a lot of time with this. Uh, whatever you want. Nice they're going to go twice. Yeah, they're going to run it twice here, so. And the five is wow. a straight for Jeremy on yeah. the first one. And they'll chop Have it chop. up. They will chop it up. Andy wins the second one. Yeah, yeah chop it up. Okay. Jeremy can start wow. breathing again. <laughs> yep. I love the first two. <laughs> Usually Andy doesn't run it twice. I was actually a little oh, bit. First one's a five, huh? first well, <laughs> that's the new Andy. Yeah. Yeah, you got. It. You know, he's uh, lighter, happier, chattier, and more accommodating. Maybe he. Maybe he met a girl up there in Taiwan. I know. I don't know. He seems a lot looser. He seems more happy, right? You said. Yeah. Yeah. That all in by me. You know, I know Andy <laughs> off the fell too. Not like like we're best buds, but I know him well. And uh, he's a great guy. He's really, a, even even when he was a yeah. mute, he's just, a, he's really a great guy. That was a Joker River. Nice guy. Only Honest. Enough. Five of diamonds could have. I'm not going to go too far down this route because we've talked about it so much. But on my YouTube channel tomorrow, I have a video. I think that does a really good job explaining, really good job explaining why people decide to run it once or twice. Yeah, you can check that out. I think I was going to ask you about the hand with Armenian Mike because I defended you. I think people last week thought that you were upset with Mike because he sort of played this I'm getting up and leaving no, with the back cat. And I knew not. that was not the case. Yeah, I would tell you. Yeah, 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 yeah. I yeah. knew that was not the no, case. No, not at all. Not at all. Yeah. I matter of fact, I, I think it's great when he does that. It it, it's inf it gives information. It gives info off, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah of course. Yeah. I, I have no bad blood with Armenian Mike. I was frustrated that day with a few other things. Sure. A few things behind the scenes. Heart, heart, I didn't like a couple things five, that happened that I'm not going to mention, five. but Armenian heart Mike and, and I are great. And you weren't having the best day either, right? No, I was, I was, I was having a rough time. Yeah. Multi-way action here. Andy going to 
lead out here with three and three. I think he actually has the best hand, <laughs> funny enough. <laughs> yeah. You gotta take it down. Yeah, it's gonna work. There was an interesting situation years ago, and I don't know if you were privy to it, where there were a couple players that had agreed to run it more than once, and then before they started running it, another player saw the other player's hands and yes. then changed, changed his it. mind. Now, I actually had said, now I explained in that video, you, that might not be a kosher move, but what I keep trying to tell people is it actually doesn't change anything about the hand. Like some people thought that that player, oh, that's like a cheating move. And I was like, no, that's not a cheating move. It doesn't change anything. You can't anything. cheat because right. nothing's going to change. Nothing's but, change, right. But etiquette could be could be bad etiquette for okay, sure. I, you know, yeah. that's that's yeah. going to tweak some some people. Right, right. You know? And and I will tell you, thinking if I know what, what hands you're talking about, uh, the so casino much. actually um, took away running it twice for a for for time. Time. Yeah, after that. because of that, yep. Yep. because of the controversy. So George here with diamonds, 10-8 of diamonds, has a flush draw. 500. Gal just gonna come out and bet here with uh, yeah, with Gal Queen High. Gonna do what he does. This is where Chris gets creative, I believe, and he's this kind of player. Wait, 1300. Yeah, how about that? Yeah, just oh. with no equity, but that's I've seen him do it before, and it's worked, and it's probably going to work here. Well, well not not with George. Yeah, yeah, George is called in between. Yeah, yeah. I would assume. Wow, Gal, look at this. I was going to say I would assume Gal <laughs> was going to fold, but he yeah. calls too. <laughs> oh, and now oh. The heart comes. Oh on the my turn. God. Oh, this is unbelievable. What a, what a turn card. Yeah. So George picks up top here with diamonds. Gal picks up a combo draw. Combo straight flush draw with queen and a hearts. And Krish, who raised with air, now picks up top what here. What a too. turn for that move. These three, All these three players are vested now. <laughs> We're going to see something. And now George looks like Four he's going to lead. <laughs> yeah. After just yeah. check calling, so yeah. he leads now. Gal is going nowhere. <laughs> wow. seen some amazing turn cards on the show, like I said last week with that, that Ten of Diamonds, too, with the Armenian yeah. Mike art. Yeah, and I, I saw that coming with a flush draw, straight draw. Yeah, there's the race. to push pots. There's no way Krish has got to get out of the way here. Well, now Krish, yeah, even though he hit a 10, yeah, uh, he's yeah, got to get out I of the way. I think he's done. It will be interesting to see the equities when Chris folds. I mean, obviously, Gall is going to be a. I would say Gall is going to be maybe 30, 35 percent. Yeah, 69, 31. Yeah, yeah, 69, 31. But I don't think George is going anywhere either. No. He's got top pair in no, diamonds. No. So. Here's the call. Well, this is going to determine how it goes for Gall here. And uh, the rivers of brick. Yeah. God, when you're running like that, jeez. Thank you for trying. That could, have, that could have been a pivot hand for him. All in. Whoa, yeah. I was going to say, I was going to say, well, George only had 9,000 left. I was going to say, I wonder <laughs> if Gall was going to bluff because, <laughs> yeah. and there was a possibility George might actually get fold, but didn't get a chance. that's a little bit of a strange move, I think, by George, because I think George is turning his hand into a bluff. Thing. Yeah, he's got a little too much equity there, yeah, yeah. in my opinion, to do that. But, you know, I think he was, he was it's been he working for him. As of late, yeah, probably. Seen a lot of it. So draw, I guess. Until yeah. it stops yeah, working draw. for a player, they're gonna keep doing it. I think he was trying to rep like he had a nine or something. But yeah, I don't, I don't know why he would yeah, do that. But he won the pot and he's got the chips. Again, if you like what you see, Thank do us a favor, hit that like button, smash that like button. It really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe to the channel. Turn notifications on so you'll always know when we come on, and you can always watch every bit of content on this channel after the fact for free, on demand, at any time. The other cool thing too, Nick, is is that if you're watching live, you can actually rewind it live too. It's kind of like the YouTube oh, yeah. DVR feature, yeah. so you can yeah. go back. Garrett's gonna raise it up here. We are bringing so much Check. poker to the industry. All these, all these, like you said, everything's there to watch, live. 
in perpetuity. This one's get Check again. checked around here. Jeremy with the queen of spades and a gutter to a 10. Garrett is the razor with 3-4. Garrett actually turns a straight draw here. Wouldn't be shocked. Oh, well, he didn't make it. But now if he gets checked to Garrett, he might bluff at it, though. I mean, no one really has much here, so. Yeah. I mean, Jeremy ends up with nothing. So let's see if Garrett yeah. here. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that makes sense. Gonna bet a thousand. <sighs> Looks like he's gonna fold, but. Yep, I think this is gonna get through. Yeah. But they call Four that. high takes it down. Yeah, they call that the triple delay. <laughs> check back, check back, bluff river. You're adding tips, how much? 40,000 40, for golf. Nice bluff with only 1,000. <laughs> I just one, huh? heard, yeah. heard in the background, yeah. Nick, that golf just added 40,000 on, so there you go. Uh, yeah, yeah. He's putting no, no, some no, more no, missiles no, he's, uh, he's, in front he's, of him. He's, 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 I'm, I'm telling, telling you, golf so does not have a give up <laughs> in him. Small pair of mine. And, I have and a small he very fold. well could be. How's he, was he down 61,000? He very well could get down 100K in this game pretty early, but I'm telling you, golf is the type of player to. Leave leave up. When it's I know, I'm, so I'm he's a fan okay, favorite I because I he gives a ton of action, and when he's stuck, it's kamikaze time, time, man. That's fine. Yeah. Don't worry about I just, it. Sorry, I, just, I don't do it intentionally. I swear, we, we man. So, so I can double straddle, right? No, no, to make up for it. It's really hard to navigate around him when he's stuck. You can do whatever you want. It's hard to navigate around him, anyways. George, do you want a glass? I don't want to be that asshole that keeps. Yes, please. I just go. The, the, no, you're not doing no the, the button moves so fast, man. Yeah. I think RB is, uh, no, uh, he accidentally missed his straddle. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the discussion yeah. that's going on here. No, I swear I'm not doing anything. Yeah. Like I said at the intros, Arby's the, the salt of the earth. He's one of the nicest guys, guys I know in poker. <laughs> one of my favorites. <laughs> just no a sweetheart. No like Matt Damon. Have a good Did you watch that movie? No. We yeah. bought a zoo. We bought a zoo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That sounds Cheers, good. Cheers, Cheers, guys. Cheers, Cheers guys. guys. Thank you for that. Cheers, everyone. I see now why you requested the fan. Yeah. Wow. Sorry, Told you. <laughs> Can I move it a little? Yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. 10 seconds. Sorry, what's the action? It's a double straddle. Call, call. Okay, so, so RB came back in with a double straddle. That's what's going on here. So yeah. we actually have a double straddle and a call. So an open limb from George on the button. A hand I would raise on the button, but he opened yeah, once, yeah. yeah. and uh, we'll see it four ways in a double straddle where, pot here. Girl who always and it okay. looks like golf is flopped top pair. Well, RB double straddled because he missed it and right. doesn't want to be that guy, as yep. you put it, so. Yep. Check, check, check. Check. <laughs> well... Mike, this isn't gonna work. You got Gal here with a jack. <laughs> cool. Yeah, Mike's bet a flush draw. Unfortunately for him, there's three of a kind on board. I'm just gonna tell you this. Mike will probably check, but these are positions where Mike fires, and it's unorthodox, but he checks. He's gonna face a bet, and then it's gonna be a fold, I think. Mike showed uh, George the flush draw, but again, I, I'm not sure if you realize that there's three fives on board, yeah. though. You know, on the, on yeah. the board. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know. This one is extra sweet, right? Very sweet. There's yeah. three fives. I don't know if full like house you made. I know you... What's it called? Chilling some champagne behind him over there? Yeah, it looks like a... It's like a rosé away. You put it in his mouth. It was extra oh, wow. sweet. Oh, no, Golf I'm stuck yeah, yeah. and add I'm alcohol. Pretty crazy yeah. timing. Crazy. You do the math. It's a great match. <clears throat> this guy's like a journey. I've never even heard of this guy. Yeah, I mean, you're not going to know everyone in the third round, right? I think it's second. Even. Second or third. 800. Raise 800. So 800 here from George, which is 4x, ace-jack of hearts, which 
just going to get it through. Yep. Easy peasy. Wow, and since he passed one, the fourth, 6 0, and he came back, and looks like it's going to be a tiebreaker on the, the fifth. So There's Lewis and oh, Tita yeah. in the background. I don't know if you guys don't watch and don't know. Yeah. Louis yeah. is our floor man, and Tita works our game specifically, and uh, they do, both do a great job, and the boys love Tita. Yeah, and of course, because we don't have phones in the commentary booth, obviously we want to protect the integrity of the game. My wife is almost seven months pregnant, so I need to have a line into her, so Louis, That's right. Jess has got yeah. Louis' phone number, yep. uh, any emergency. You can call a friend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You put two the last hand. Hands go by so fast. Four last hand. That's the cigarette cost me six hundred bucks. <laughs> six hundred dollar cigarette now. No what? Yeah. You know, that cigarette break cost me six hundred bucks. Electric all the way? Stop smoking. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I have good hands. Yeah. You know every cigarette all right, uh, removes eleven minutes of your life. Four hundred. So it costs you eleven minutes and six hundred. Mike's got top here. Huh? Get a bet? Yeah. I just love the no, but he probably has five cigarettes. There's one of those ambitious no, calls no, here I don't, from I George. I smoke like two or three max a day. Oh, so basically, yeah, you're yeah. basically you're killing 33 minutes a day. Now it picks up what a gutter. You don't want to live too long. You don't want to live too long. You want to live your money and your age to You want to live a quality life. I don't want to live until 100. Kick it down. Do you want to live? Okay. I think mean, sure. I think 90. If I, can I told you to trade it all the way. 90. I don't want to. I don't want to. 90. I'm happy. 15 hours a month. You know, you said. Uh, 15 hours a month. No, 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 no problem, no problem. No. But I, mean, I have a, I have a, I have a two draws. Usually I raise on that. He barks at the table. There's Jared. He's the president no of the Hair Club for Men. These are like no, no, our no, premier it's dealers. A, it's, it's a small hand. I don't want to make it war. How many uh, dealers do you have for this game regularly? We, we have three. We have Jared, Jared Lauren, yeah. and the infamous Magic. Has, has it ever been I captured? I need to win a hand yeah. from Garrett, so I have my like confidence two or three back. Times on the show. Yeah? Like, Small pot so far. Yeah. Well, I have have anything, have. anything. No, I hear you. It will help me. Maybe you pull for me and I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Garrett's gonna open here, 300, King 10 of hearts. And these dealers only deal this game, right? Well, is right? One that is correct. Yeah. They technically, hand yeah. air quotes, yeah. are supposed yeah. to be available yeah. if needed, but uh, we keep them pretty close. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We'll stream in five days a week, right? Yeah. It's enough, yeah. enough work to yeah. We threw in a an extra Saturday there, too, and yeah. the eighth wonder hits top pair. All right. Now he's gonna fold for me, and I Yeah, George is getting and really, happy. really frisky tonight. Picks up another one of those gutters. Yeah, one of those hands. Yep. Well, like I said, Bart, the last two or three, four times he's played, it's worked for him. And so, you know, he's going with it. There might be a couple of sessions where it doesn't, and you got to recalculate your uh, your plan. Garrett had checked a few times to George, but not this time. He's going to continue to yeah. bet, and he's going to get called by that yeah. ace high in the gutter. 91% favored. It's a good place to be. It's a blank. I think if Garrett, he's not, I don't think he will, but if he were to check here, well, yeah, he does, and uh, very well could. Might induce a block. I have no, to I laugh think when so. I look at you. <laughs> well, he's talking, so I don't know. Maybe he's going to give up. How many times? 16. I'll take a drink with that. 15 seconds. 16, 14. <laughs> Maybe he's Hollywood for a nice uh, $33,000 bet Check. here. Ah, I gave up. King 10. Okay, I knew I knew you had to. Good job, George. <laughs> Another good check. <laughs> we got 3,300 people watching right now. No, no, I'm going to get no, that number up maybe to 5,000 tonight. As the, I as can't the see how we're going. Yeah. It's going to be I great. Want good for this the, game is... Uh, TV. This oh, game man. is insane, and it's only going to get better. I'm the only so. player that they pay me. Wow. Layman's terms, like, our, like uh, Bart yeah, tells you to hit that him? like button, smash the shit out of that <laughs> like button, guys. Hit it for us, subscribe, spread the word. Premier Poker Show in LA and through the industry, right here, Casino, Hustler Casino Live. You have to turn up on mic.
What's that? Can you have to turn off one way? Yeah, Chris is going to step away from the table. Oh shit, so they were hearing all my combo. The phone. Yeah. I forget to turn it Chris? Holding the A6 of diamonds? I don't know if he had gotten up. Yeah, it was Did he of, see it? Same thing. Maybe he was yeah, up. Yeah, I think maybe he had gotten up. Oh, there you go. That has to be. Yeah. That's. There's no way he's. Yeah, that's yeah. right. He yeah. turned around. No way he's holding that. Yeah. Or he saw yeah. it and rather talk to Tita. That's a possibility. I think that might have happened to you in that big can between Andy and uh, they don't Mickey have any US players, huh? with the Jack Jack and the East Tang. Because I, I think I remember saying the commentary. So Nick full King Ten of Diamonds, but I think you were away from the table too. It? If it gets pitched, yeah, you know, you're away oh, from the table. Yeah. It's gonna show yeah. up. Yeah. Three hundred. Good thing. <laughs> Good thing. <laughs> So 300 to 800 here. Chris yeah. kind of threw that the button. Mm -hmm. Jeremy's coming along. He loves these kind of pseudo connector hands here. Heads up. Okay. Jeremy's flop bottom pair. He actually has the best hand now. Yeah. 900. 900. See if he continues. He's got backdoor diamonds, backdoor straight yeah. draw. I think he's got to go one more straight for sure. No doubt. Wow, wow. Now he turns a straight, he wow. turns a diamond draw, but Chris makes his uh, gutter here with ace 10, so. Wow. Again, we see another action turn card. 1,600. 1,600. Chris now gonna bet 1,600 here. And if I'm in Jeremy's spot, you always kind of start to get curious because this guy's the three better, and you'd be like, what is he betting here? Like, only yeah. a 10 in bets, right? But yeah. he actually has a 10. Yeah, it's hard. So. Not. 10 seconds. Yeah, he's going to put it in, and let's see what happens. Yeah, a really bad card for Jeremy would be like an 8 here. Yeah. Well, Rivers is 72, he so he makes two pair, but it's still a one-liner there. Wow. And uh, so he's still losing yeah, to a 10. Check. Wow. Chris checked behind there with a 10? I yes. I, no flush out there, right? I don't know. Um, did he see it? That's a very conservative what's, what's check, he, Nick. What's he losing to? Chris, you didn't value but hey, this one. you know? Unless you're, you're sitting like in his much, seat, I guess. Uh, you don't do that to me. I've seen Jeremy yeah. check raise in that spot too oh, many times. Oh, okay. well, there you go. You Chris, have Chris was bigger, afraid of the check raise. Yeah. Ten kings. Yeah. I got you, man. Nice hand. Nice hand, anyway. Wow. Got ace king over here. Yeah, oh, yeah. Wow, Jeremy, who just lost that hand. I don't know if this is like a little mini tilt, but he opens for Jack Four of Diamonds and defends to the three bet. Pretty loose for Jeremy. Chris gonna come in here as well. Hmm. But we'll see it three ways. There's top pair for George. Chris has a gutter to a 10. We've seen Chris play. I don't think he's going to fold for one 2, bet 500? I do not think Chris is going to fold this. Maybe he'll get that uh, 10 that he had. There's 2,500. Jeremy, of course, going to fold. Yeah. And crazy enough, I don't think he'll raise here because... George raised three flop and the king's there, but uh, these are the kind of oh he wow, folds. He folds. Wow. wow. So we've okay. seen we've seen him do a, a lot of different options sometimes. Yeah. Sort of bluff raise. We got the box of chocolates yeah. going on. I love very, it. Very I love it. Very unpredictable. <laughs> What's 
still struggling or not? And again, we are going until 11 p.m. local time, so all the way Fucking to 2 a.m. Eastern, ships have so Eastern loose. as it's 9.30 Eastern right now, yeah. 6.30 local. We need to tell him about this. I hate Double. this fucking Super strong. Super. Super strong. Okay. I think we got a double straddle here again, so it's going to be 400. And George picks up Queens, and Armenian Mike has Ace King. Wow. So back to back good hands for George. And Andy raised the button. George did not three bet. And Armenian and Mike did not three bet. That's what. Wow. So you so get two hard. You get two guys yeah. with three betting hands that have just flatted. What Andy. happens if Andy and Garrett have those two hands? <laughs> it's going to war. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to see this four ways. Oh wow. Well, there's the check, king. Check. And Gall has king deuce. <laughs> so he check. could stack Armenian Mike Oh, and he Mike checks. Check. Well, Andy's the pre-flop raiser gets checked around. The turn here is a ten. So it's going to be interesting. Let's see if Gal gets some back here. We got queens, top pair, a gutter for Andy, and two pair for Gal. Yep. And this is all because George and Armenian Mike flatted the original wow. race. Wow. That's well enough said. Mike bets pot. Mike bets pot here. Gal never oh. sees this flop if there's some raising. Yeah. He bets pot for five thousand. Gal just calls, and Andy here has turned a. Is that a double? He's got a double gutter. Yeah. He turned a double, double gutter, gutter here, too. Okay, I said straight draw. You're right. Double gutter. I missed it. Like he's it got in right? It's straight yeah. to an eight and yeah. a queen. Now, and he just folds. Maybe he's concerned. He well, he like, might be concerned about the two spades out there. Casino, mm -hmm. like Someone's got a spade draw. draw. Yeah. The colors are all new to me. And it you think he saw it? Andy's a pro, man. Yeah. I mean, we've seen a couple of those hidden double gutters. George calls with queens, and now Gall makes a full house. Oh, my God. Gall makes the full house. Once I get used to it, like, it's interesting. Each I mean, state, it's, for example, has designated It's going to go check, in check, their, um, I believe. Uh, nope. In the, uh, yeah, this is where he goes crazy sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Mike's going to bet 5,000, and, and he so only example, has seven Jersey, left. Right? So. Um, you yeah. have to have, for example, a gray 5,000. Oh, I was going to put them all in here, obviously. Okay. And Super nice. you, you said you were part of a collection. Yeah, I, I belong to a, a group uh, community that collects poker chips. 15,000. Yep, 15,000. People who, cause before really? I started collecting, uh -huh. I never looked at chips. I never, I didn't give a shit. Wow, yeah. he snaps. Now yep. I look at all of them. Yep. All is going to get some back he here. Told you, he told you. Open up. Well, folks, this is an indication when you are flatting what could happen to you. And at the same time, it can make you a lot of money too, but not this time for Armenia. Damn, man. Here's a full house. King Deuce. King Deuce. Mike doesn't see the deuce. He didn't see it. He Mike. didn't see the spade either. Yeah, I was going to say, Mike also okay, loses to a backdoor flush pit. too. Yeah. So it was the pandemic, um, and I was. It was locked down in LA, right? He had ahead of you. He had two players I to begin with. He uh, was ahead. I had this game that I've run for years uh, since You're not in good college. position. You yeah. should have checked. Same guys. And, um, now George has uh, been using the same trips for a long time. <laughs> <laughs> You're and not said, in oh, good position. You should have I went on this uh, forum George, to ask about... Armenia, Mike, no I know you have top there. Right? Hey, how does one go about getting custom trips made? Right, sure. yeah, and good. then one left thing left to another, and I just, it just became a thing that you collect. Yeah. <laughs> Eventually you get, like, you get so 2018, enough. I won a World Series of Poker bracelet. A lot of people that play poker have a dream of winning a World Series of Poker bracelet. You know, I was fortunate enough to win one. It was in a six max, which kind of plays like a cash game. Winning the bracelet was amazing. I couldn't believe that I made it. It was an amazing experience. Oh, well, I didn't actually even know that, Nick, that he had a six, yeah. six max. Oh, yeah. Six max. Oh, yeah. uh, so yeah. He said 28. Uh, should be picked uh, what the spot colors mean and how the progression yeah, of those go. Yeah, Gal gets around. Really he, he's in yeah. Vegas a lot. Really, really uh, they've really seen him yeah. playing tournaments but all over Oklahoma. He, uh, he's well, a cash me, game player, um, but he loves like to go play tournaments, too. So he chases those races. I like to see more of so you can actually see the colors a little bit more. These are worn down. They're really, really Jeremy here is going to raise it up to 
another thousand um, out of the big blind. Jack ten off. Happen. They're all gonna get in um, there with a pair. The weight is really light. Nice hand, RB John. here. Nice guy. Ace five of diamonds. But uh, I will say, also coming in, you can actually read the denominations mm. a lot better. Yeah. But I'm talking to Nick about maybe um, mm. getting the hustler to order. He said it's just well, for this game. Jeremy cool. flop. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, as the pre-flop raiser, flops open-ended here. RB has an ace, so we we'll see some money get put in here. Did you go to a bunch of casinos recently to acquire like more chips? So the thing is, um, that's called harvesting, and that's where you go to a casino and you try and basically take the chips away. But because they're live, you can only get them at the value of the call. It was sixty thousand. I'll give you. So you want to get a proper five thousand dollars chip, but you don't want to go spend five thousand. Turn. Yeah, it was $60,000. So there's old defunct casinos yeah, what do you want? that have chip sets okay. that you can buy. I think okay. Jeremy well, up against by, Darby I mean, will, so like, he's obviously seen him picking up his chips will continue. Yeah, uh, old Vegas chips. That may be a and check then, uh, against a different action player. Can you start collecting those? Well, and you go because the, if that chip stack is accurate, it's, he, uh, Arby doesn't uh, have much. No. I mean, he just bet half of Arby's yeah, stack. I have Yeah, so it's interesting because I think Arby, if he wants to continue, this is either a fold or a jam. Yeah, it's one of the two. You made the raise. Four to five. But I mean, this might look so strong for Jeremy. Or he might get rid of it. I guess he gives it away. You know, like I said, that... Really? I had queens. Yeah, I, there's a lot. I was hoping I can, going on besides just the cards behind, and the chips. The I mean, they know each other. They have played a lot of poker together, you know, like the, and yeah, that's I, a different dynamic if Jeremy's in that position. Yeah, he's been a plus dog. Uh, you know, maybe against I, I know I was behind. I was or, hoping for the here. river to have a queen. And I'm by no means saying Jeremy can't I play with the best ones. He can, but like any player, if you're a good poker player, you're going to adjust to your player, and that was the right move there. Oh, that's right. You would have raped him with no loop. Yeah, yeah. George was just saying in the background, Comfort. if he had day, three bets, he yeah. would have yeah. lost the hand to Army and Mike. That's really yeah, what should have happened. Yeah. 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 Should have won three bets, Army and Mike shit. That's what should have that yeah. yeah. happened. That's what should have happened in that hand. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you got lucky, very lucky with the hand. Six Gal nine. would not have been in there. With of course not. Yeah. I mean, well, with Gal, you never know because it was suited. But generally speaking, you should not be. What do you think? You think he got unlucky? Yeah. <laughs> Here's Garrett stirring the pot. Thank you, Garrett. Enjoy. All right, guys, this is my card, as you know. It's going to be seat two. All right, so Gal running good. He gets to pay the time and the collection. <laughs> That two there. If they're not playing bomb pots and they play less card, it is your seat number who pays the collection and the time. And Dahl wins. Yeah, Andy here has uh, turned aces up here. Probably just gonna bet and win. You only have a king high. I know. I mean, a king. Uh, and I talked a little bit about that, Nick, last week. Whatever the card that comes out on the flop, as it corresponds to the seat number, and if it's a card that's not. The, uh, anyone in a seat, it goes to the middle That's part, right. right? Like right now we have seat five open. Right. So if five comes, then it's the next card over. Uh, right. I actually haven't seen any bomb pots on these Friday games, so I don't know if the guys aren't a fan of them or what. Well, you know, Bart, they uh, tried the bomb pots early, but they made it too big. They started off with $500 bomb pots, and they, there's a two or three players yeah, that you just the, said never you know, called bullshit on it. No, you I think you're still left for it. He made the raise. Yeah, no, I didn't. You just called. I just called. Yeah, no, of course. Anyway. And yeah, you yeah. raised. It was a double straddle, I think. Yeah, and you raised. Two hundred straddle. Man, you know, of course I'm going to defend your king this. George here, ace king of clubs. It's a premium for them. <laughs> I've seen you folding king four and shit lately, man. 1,200. I don't know. 1,200. King Big open to 1,200, sure, yeah. 6x. Just just a single straddle here in this hand, the 200, so. Sometimes it's a box of chocolates out there. Somebody's yelling for you. You know, like, just remember those when I... It's Jerry or Gary. When you bluff me with whatever. Those are all you too, right? Gary, Jerry. Jerry, Jerry. <laughs> Jerry. Jerry. Garrett eating one of his pre-planned, perfectly calculated meals for his Adonis body. Well, it looks like he's eating out of Tupperware, so I'm assuming he brought that right to the casino. Yeah. It's probably calculated, weighed, and everything else you can do to make it perfect. Oh, yeah, of course. 
My fiance was watching this show called uh, Buff Boy Island. Oh my god! Those. I've heard about. I've How heard many that islands it's funny. Can it's like Buff Boy Island, Island, but Island. it's yeah. about yeah. these. Um, Wow, it, it's it's a British show, right? Did he say uh, Buff Boy I think it was Island? American, did, but I don't know. Did. Anyway, the douchiest guy by far on the show was named Garrett. Like by far, it's <laughs> great. How did that make you feel? I felt pretty bad about myself, actually. <laughs> well, I mean, Garrett, maybe he could go from Survivor to Buff Boy Island. I mean, let's put in the old resume. This one gets limped around again. Looks like George has the. Uh, has the best hand. George checks the jack from up front. So Bell's anyway, gonna bet a three. I tune in during the finale, right? Mm -hmm. 2000. Basically, the Check concept is like half the guys are nice guys, two thousand, half the guys 2000. are fuckboys. Okay, oh, and you have to figure out who's who? And it's like three girls. And Put they're like trying color. to find like love or whatever, but try to avoid the fuckboys. This is exactly <laughs> what you're talking about, Nick, <laughs> okay, right? So they all look the same. He's gonna piece yeah, off they here. Yeah, they all look the same. Like, it's like, you know, just a bunch of good looking people all the way around, right? Uh, and so you get to the finale, and there's six guys left, three girls the whole time, right? Check, check. And three are check, nice check, guys, George and three check. are fuck I wouldn't be oh check. And you're one of the oh, fuck yeah. uh, Garrett's like the king fuck boy, oh. for sure, like the king. Uh, and, uh... What do you think happens there So if, they tell uh, the girls, they go, all right, if you pick a nice guy, like each girl has like two people George she's considering, one I mean, nice I know guy, one fuck boy, all right? Shouldn't, but they go, if you pick the nice guy, hard, you guys hard for split to do it, 100K right. to like start your relationship off, whatever. Wait, wait, do they know sure who's the fuck boy and who's no, the nice guy? Like um, the girls, by now? By now they know. They know, oh, yeah. They Important part, oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. So they reveal that like halfway through the show, which was interesting. So the very important question. Yeah, because the point then is, what yeah. do the girl, is the money more important with the fuckboy as opposed right. to love exactly. with the, yeah. So this is why I thought the show was actually brilliant at the end. Yeah. So they all the, chose the fuckboy. So boy. the girls know the fuckboys, right? Uh, and if you choose the nice guy, you split it. Uh, if you choose the fuckboy, you get it all. Right? Either he has all the power. Ah. He decides yes. to either date you and, and then you split it, or he just keeps the money and dumps you. What? Eight, 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 eight oh, no. Sorry, I pulled it. Uh, no, but 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 and then why would in, well, why would anyone, why would anyone choose, choose the fuckboy? Because like they've been on the show for like months right. and they've like heard oh, so a lot the, about so the fuckboy uh, uh, and they think the guy wouldn't dick him over and they have like a real so did the guy. Choose a girl and not just take the money. If no, no, he's no. really into her and wants to date her Jeremy. more than he wants 50 Ooh, grand. 50 grand. So, does, uh, does, does uh, do any of them pick the fuck boys? All right. 500. Well, see, I feel like I shouldn't say because people might watch the show. <laughs> this is where you're yeah. right, So, I don't want to give away the ending, but I will say at least here. one of the three so choices. It's really tough to play against George. Like, was it's super hard dramatic. to bat him oh. off a and, hand. Okay, and then all three of the choices the and were at least somewhat oh. predictable. Jeremy gets a great double barrel. It was the show was kind of long and not great, but the final episode was really, really Did interesting. Do it. It's like Prisoner's Dilemma, but like with love, you know? That's so cool. Yeah. That's actually, uh, it's the classic for love or money construct, you know? Yeah, sure. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's like in Decent Proposal, remember when it was a million dollars to like sleep with yeah, his wife? Me more, yeah. I, I don't think that's the same thing. It's not a little different like, if it's your wife, that's Jeremy. That's an interesting proposal. Oh, you were, you were just making a, 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 a side call. Okay, that makes sense. That was Robert Redford, uh, Woody Harrelson, and Demi Moore. Yeah. Started with that's a great movie. Oh, okay. I mean, is there a number to what's like? No. I forget now what happened. Do they accept it or no? No, so what happens yeah, is they, yeah, they accept it. And then they end up being That's going to be like. like then she she ends up getting years super jealous. Yeah. Super yeah. Super yeah. Super yeah. I was going to say 92. How was it? What happened? How was it? Oh, yeah. so, how time flies. Maybe, maybe they can look it up in the chair. Now a million dollars get you to like a garage in California. You can have this garage. Or you can have your wife. That's like every show. Like Survivor, when it first started like 25 years ago, a million dollars is worth something. Yeah. It's still just a fucking million dollars. <laughs> oh, it's still the same. They haven't raised. They them. had one. It was two million for their 40th inflation. anniversary oh, one. It went back down, which was all former winners. And then I think Jeremy that was the last one they aired. Here. I think. Oh. I bet you they go back down to a million. Because yeah. <laughs> people still play, right? One thousand. CBS one is like, there's a million. race, yeah, a mini yeah. race by middle pair from And only Krish. One, one guy gets paid, right? Only the winner gets paid. So 502,000 in a call. Second place gets 100,000. Oh, okay. And then it drops aggressively from yeah. there. So basically nothing okay. after that, yeah. Check through here. Check, check on turn. Still probably gonna go check, four. check. Yep. Jeremy on fire. Jay Books. 
Scooping another one. Okay, and Dylan will see eight out. We'll step away from the table. Last week when I came to do the commentary in that guy, the night before I only had about three hours of sleep and played overnight at Hustler. What ended up happening as I put on my free podcast, uh, if you just Google free Crush Life Poker podcast, you listen to the first 15 minutes. I almost slept through the stop in Austin. I was on Southwest. You know how they stop? Yeah. And I almost ended up in Destin, Fort Walton, which I didn't even know where that was. Yeah, yeah. Someplace in northern Florida. It's like the, the last place I want to end up. Yeah, so, that's a bad beat. Yeah, yeah. But luckily for me, the flight attendant woke me up. Yeah. Well, you've made it every year. You're barely making it, but you're getting here. Yeah, RV. But that was on the way back. Oh, okay. On the way back home. That's even worse. Yeah, yeah. Because I, oh, I was just so, just so dead tired. That's my dream job. Oh, another, like the petting zoo. another one for the petting zoo owner. <laughs> yeah, another one. It's my first spot. <laughs> uh, yeah, RV started out with yeah. a llama fetish and uh, yeah, had this thing about petting llamas, and then it just Can't believe I it evolved that, yeah. and just I mean, spiraled yeah. into so this cool. petting zoo yeah. thing, and then you know he's been doing really well. But uh, llamas still llamas are still his uh, focus. Personally, very corporately. So, so Garrett, where is the Spuckboy Island take place? Um, it's uh, actually they they take him to the Cayman Islands. I know because I've been there and they started talking about like Stingray City and Rum Point. Uh, um, so they put him in a nice place and shit. It was on HBO actually. Is it an HBO show? First, like. Well, HBO Max, you mean? Yeah, first okay. dating show ever on. Yeah. 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 Because HBO Max is slightly yeah. different standards than the traditional HBO. It's like every yeah. hand yeah. now is going for the yeah. 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 That's, That's what we're saying. It's going to be pushing really every really hand. How long does it go for? Like the whole show? How long does it go for? Did they tell you in advance you have to be here like for like two months, three months? It's going to work. Yeah, but you know how they fuck with time. So they said it was like. um like 10 weeks but maybe it was less maybe it was like five weeks you know what i mean they always give you like the worst case scenario 10 weeks yeah 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 um so it's like two and a, yeah two and a half months quite a commitment as we were saying earlier you're gonna put the doors in are there any other features that might be coming on down the line that you guys have ideas for mostly people that are like trying to make money no the only other thing that we got coming like i said we're gonna we're gonna cool it down in there too so we have some of that happening and uh I think we're pretty much set. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, it's, it's just, now it's just been all go time. That's the last piece of the puzzle. Um, Mrs. Flint, who, who still is very active and runs this casino uh, since the late Larry Flint passed, uh, is very active in everything that has, well, the whole casino, but especially decor. So even through this process and even going forward, she is very particular of what goes up, what goes up where. Those vases next to uh, the stage. Those are about $30,000 each right there. And uh, hand-picked by her, as you can see one right there. Wow. And uh, yeah, all the pictures have gold uh, flaking on them and it's, uh, she's very active in it, so. $1,600. Well, this is really interesting here because Armenian Mike limped in here on the button. And I don't know if Andy posted here or if he's pulling a limp re-race because he's in the hijack. There were a bunch of limpers, and Andy makes it 1,600. I, he might have limp re raised or he may have posted from behind. It's just a weird position. Yeah, I didn't see him leave, so I'm not sure myself. But I know that Mike limped the button, and Andy has raised to 1,600 out of the hijack. Yeah. So. Well, I mean, this is a hand from the button. Probably you should be raised. I but can, yeah. I punch your session. Like yeah. I said, either it makes you or breaks you. We'll see what happens. Clearly but he's going to get called by Gall, and he's seven. also going to get called, play obviously, play by next, Mike. Next yeah. <laughs> he's too relaxed. He's kept his yeah, and Andy's the, flopped the best much, of it. Yeah. 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 You need some coffee now. You're gonna bet 1800. Mike will take fold. There it is. What? Heads up. Call is wants not to go nowhere. And Andy now turns top two. It is a third club though. Wouldn't be sh yeah. Also, Queen 10 comes in as well. Look like it's gonna stop him though. Yeah, this kind of board he has to bet, right? 
holding my flush though. And Golf's Golf. gonna yeah. get rid of the four clubs and Andy takes it down. That's the one thing I mean <laughs> we can we can sort we can sort of hypothesize and try to get in our media Mike's head about how he plays, but the, the one little thing I'm surprised about is because he usually plays short, like he could just be jamming a lot of these hands pre. Like he could have probably just jammed over the top of Andy there and would have just taken it down with his queen, you know? Yeah, and <laughs> very carefully I say, but you know, well, well, I'm gonna leave it there. No, no, yeah. it's not his style. Yeah, it's not his style. Yeah. You know, but uh, that would be a much better place for your money than uh, putting it in after a race with just the king there on that, on that other hand. But again, sometimes it works out for me, sometimes it doesn't. But I will tell you, Bart. No, all bullshit aside. I mean, it's. It's hard to navigate because yeah, there's a lot of this going on oh, wow. in these games. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, wow. So, so Chris has kings, raises, and Armenian Mike has ace king. Just like we were talking about, but he just called. Yeah, it's just called. Yeah. 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 Playing enough hours, that's why I said it earlier. It's, he's going to flat here. He's going to flat here. It's his style. Shout out to all the Karens. And there's times he goes berserk, you know? Poor women named Karen. I know. What the hell did they ever do to us? Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, fuck. My friend made a t-shirt that says cancel everyone and I think I, I need, I what asked him for one. George going to do here with the heart shirt. and uh, possible canceled. straight draw. I don't think no. he's going anywhere. No, they, How about yeah. both? I think they both just snap called. Wow, yep. Mike called too. Yep, ace king, ace five. Yep. Yeah. Turn here is the I don't really know what that queen means. of diamonds. So our media Mike picks up, you know, a Broadway gutter. Just cancel them out. George has the... Like you said, the wheel draw with the ace of hearts. I mean, there's levels the of the cancel base five. Yeah. Harvey Weinstein is like canceled. Oh, yeah, that's like, like he's the godfather like, of uh, Chris Pence 2300. Like, so other people are like, George finally gets out of there. Yeah, you go on a bad date. Mike's going to call me. So Mike needs to get, like, get an ace or a jack here. Louis <laughs> CK is like three quarters. And the river's an ace. Oh, my God. And the river's an ace. Oh, sick. It's like. You go see him in Vegas, now I though, hope if like, he gets checked to him though, he puts the rest of the stack in for value. Well, yeah, it looks like Chris is going to He's not going to give him any choice. Mike's going to call here, yep. and that's it. Chris he's, thinks kings he, are good. Yeah, but they're not. Wow, that's a sick river. Yep. Bad news is delivered. Wow, Mike chucked and jived his way to that pot. Yep. God, as a player on the reg, that's just painful. Like you said, it's hard, it's hard to navigate. Nice time, Mike. Yeah. Hard to navigate. <laughs> you can see the frustration in Christian's face. I was going to give a shout out to my friend Gene Bullock in the live chat. What's up, Gene? Hey, Gene. You know yeah, her from the other. That's my money is going no matter what. The other casino. I think I'm going to get a little by here, too. Sometimes they have quite the much money in there at that uh, yeah. collection, the selection of limit games here at Hustler too. The, the old twenty-five. I don't know if you ever play limit. Not, I, not I used to years ago. Years. Yeah, yeah. It's in the twenty-five fifty. Yeah. Game. Matter of fact, if they <laughs> if they show down uh, through the through the doors right to the left, that game is usually the twenty-five fifty yeah. limit right on the left. Yeah. The yellow chips, five yeah. tens, chip structure. So you have to tell them every time you step away. Right. Oh, not unless right. you want us to listen to you go potty, Arby. Uh, I usually just take it off. Oh, I'm not supposed to disconnect it? No. <laughs> Andy, this is the uh, other one. That's a good one. Yeah. Take it, Andy, please. It looks like a little cookie pants walking by there. So George is going to raise it up here with deuces. It's called by uh, oh. Chris with fives and yeah, Chris swaps a set. I don't know how much action he's going to get though. Yeah, we'll get a little bit. George going to bet 400 here. Still refreshing. Yeah, slow play. Yeah. That's going to hurt Chris. Well, Mike and George to uh, continue, like George to bluff at it more. So it actually might win Chris more money, this ace. Yeah, look at that. 1400. So Chris slow plays the flop, and George gets a good sort of double, good double barrel card and double barrels. 
Uh, Chris is getting a little back back taxes 30, back from the last 3, hand. Thirty-seven hundred. That ought to do it. Yep, thirty-seven hundred in the full. Thank you. I appreciate it. Now I will say that is the right play, of course. Uh, but a player like George, if you flat there and check, you you could face another bet. By the way, we had just seen in the last graphic, Gall was 61. There it is. He's creeped back to 38, so Garrett is uh, quickly up 38. <laughs> That's how it goes. Quickly up 38. Quickly, 000. quickly. Yep. Garrett Adelstein, the eighth wonder. Gather around the stanchions and the red ropes and take a look, folks, and move on to the next wonder. Okay. Right after Niagara Falls is Garrett Adelstein. Okay. There he is. We got a raise here by Gaw with five deuce of spades, and we're gonna see one, two, three flat calls, sevens, ace nine of clubs, and Armenian Mike, ten nine of diamonds. Wow. It looks like RB has the best hand here with ace nine, but Armenian Mike also has a nine. Gaw just totally whips here. One thousand. And RB's gonna bet a thousand here with the best hand, it looks like. Cool. I think we're going to get the tank call from Mike. No. Wow. Gonna let it go. Wow. Is it sometimes Mike, yeah. like, if he wins a big pot, he'll kind of go on lock? Yeah, you know, it's like a yes. lockdown type yes. of thing for a little bit. It's callable hand. He will. Yeah. He will go on to lockdown, then he'll get, so he'll get a little frustrated at times, and uh, that's when he'll fire off some missiles uh, right. sometimes that are, you know, Trying to figure out what's going on. So, so it's important to pay attention with a lot of these guys in the short term. What has happened? Don't oh, just don't don't absolutely. just like be in la la land, right? Yeah, absolutely. It's, yeah. You you have to watch what's going on to specifically in in the short term. And uh, one of the good things about besides integrity and of the game of not having phones is it allows you not to look out the window as much. Yeah, yeah. It it, it focuses you. Because okay, you're not you're not screwing around. Yeah, because phone, we're right? so yeah. tuned into looking at that damn thing, you know. Raise fifteen hundred. Gall gonna open here to 300. Garrett raises, and Andy's got a, he, we could see another cold four bet here. Yeah, yep. For sure. And cold. these two guys are going nowhere. Cold four bet here. Uh oh, I, that shocks me. Regardless of the amount. So Gall folds here. Yeah, you know. Garrett might let this go. Yeah, I mean, Garrett's just got King Jack yeah, off, right? He's gonna yeah. let that go yeah. out of position. That's the second time that Andy's cold four bet him, and, you know, Garrett's folded, but. Not gonna get involved. No, Garrett's a very, very smart player. Yep. Thank you, thank you. Hey, hey. did you eat already? Hey. Eat? Hungry? Yeah, yeah, I can eat. Yeah. Alright, thank you. Maybe get something soon. Hopefully, obviously, it's up to you know Ryan. It's the one that puts the game down. But it was it was really fun to see Antonio Esfandiari play. I hope he had a good time that first week, and hopefully we can Simon. see him play on the. Yeah, he's gonna he's gonna play again. And Antonio and I are very close friends, oh, okay. and so he, uh, in his words, "I'm doing this for you, you nit job." <laughs> That's what he told me. And I said, all right, well, I'll take it. And then he berated me and harassed me the whole say, he session. Was, he was giving you a lot of ribbing, I oh, remember. Yeah, yeah. 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 We're, we're good friends, and but he gives me a lot of shit. Well, Jeremy's got top set of kings here. Now, George has a five. That might be certainly enough for him to stick around. We've seen him. <laughs> yes, you're right. Cool. Hey, and it will be a disaster for him if he catches a five. Oh, my gosh. Here. It'll be. Yep. So Jeremy here with top set. Oh, shh. I yep. thought you called Almost. this. Take it again. <laughs> Turns a four. Check it, Jeremy. Check it. Nine hundred. He's gonna bet nine hundred here. 
I don't think he'll do it, but I've seen George Ray's in situations called, like this. Oh, he calls again? Oh, call. yeah. Wow, he yeah. is a non-believer. I'm telling you, he's sticky. Well, back oh, that's, back, Jeremy's not going to love that. Backdoor spades come in here. Check. Jeremy is not going to love that, but he's got a bet here. I would be checking the suits of my kings. I don't yeah. know if Jeremy did that because I want to know if George it's possible if he has king X of spades, which it would be, but... Jeremy's still gonna. Yeah, he's here. gotta put in a couple K here. Top set. 2000. Jeremy, you aggressive. Oh, it sounds like George is folding. A lot of times, if he's really quiet make a flush? and he's thinking, he will raise in a hand like this crazy enough. 10 seconds. He's gonna use the time chip. Wow. He's not convinced. Boy, I don't know if I can even invent a hand, though. I can beat with, well, with a five. Well, he's inventing a raise. He's going to check you. raise. Did I tell you? Yep. This is the kind of thing. Like, Jeremy's going to call here. He's going to use a time chip or two. Yeah. yeah. But this is the kind of thing where it's hard against this guy, man. I told you. This is a hand where this guy's going to put in a raise. He's, I've seen it the last three or four weeks, and it's worked. I mean, it's if not, he, he, he happens to have five deuce off here, but yeah. he could just as easily have That's five right. deuce of spades, and, and right? It's, it's not, a, it's not the worst thing ever, but Jeremy's going to put in the money. I, Jeremy yeah. will have to go jump out a window somewhere if he folds this and sees the hand, because he's going he's gonna to put the money in. But, man, it's, that's the kind of crazy. It's a, it's a good play. Wrong time, I think, but... Well, 6,000 for Jeremy to call. He's getting yeah. two to one with top set. And yeah. Obviously, George is trying to represent. Right, George, I can't fold my hand. Yeah, yeah he can't. It's too fold. strong. He's going to make good. What do you got? Yeah, Jeremy's going to get the good news. He wasn't thrilled. Look at him. He just swallowed like he just swallowed a hoagie sandwich. If you had one king, you folded. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, <laughs> that's what the thought process was. George, he's got the big stones. You got to be careful king. with him. You put in a value, oh, but against George, you better be ready to put I don't it on. It works only against you. What you have it against? And there's Gull wishing that uh, he was he in that said, position. He said, I don't have a flush. I thought you had a flush. It would have been a hero call, a uh, hero fold. <laughs> yeah, it falls, but. I actually saw Stanley. I don't know if you were privy to this because you were playing at the table. Stanley folded top set of tens to George, who was bluffing last week on a really bad run out for top set of tens. So that, that bluff got through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, that's, yeah. That's, like I said, that's, that's yeah. why I mentioned it before he did it. This is a spot George will put you to the test. Oh, two ace kings here. Garrett's going to three bet ace king. So Gal opens with pocket threes. Garrett three bets ace king. George with ace king flat calls. Yeah, he's gonna flat here. Gal is gonna come in here with threes. So here we go. And it's interesting because obviously Gal has the best hand, but he's gonna have to get to showdown somehow. But from what we've seen from George, I can't imagine George is gonna fold here. Uh, uh, got it over no, he's here. gonna float. Yeah, yeah. there's a call right away. I, 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 I can't imagine Gull's gonna, gonna fold here Gull either. Does to die. He <laughs> should. <laughs> really, might. really tough to overcall it's here. Tough. It's yeah, tough yeah, to, yeah. Yeah, 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 he's gonna fold. Yeah. Some people that had it have never been to 11. I know. Oh, turns eight, so both players here. Yeah. 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 I've never been to club 11 in Miami, and I know you've never been to the second day of the I think this hand is kind of setting up like Garrett is going to... Oh, he checks it back. I thought he was going to go to crazy value town, and maybe George was going to check raise and think he's got the stone knots, but it goes check, check. It's just going to be... Back call. Which one did they just split it up. say is like more effective than all well, the Well, George bets so 3,000 yeah, here. Stronger, like, uh, is it possible that Garrett actually might, already, might actually might actually raise? Yeah. Remember we saw him check yeah, raise not before. The Anything is possible with Garrett, but yeah. I do. Yeah. But I just. Think you're gonna get it with you I don't even want to comment because he probably will do it, but I don't think he will. Because it is a three-bet pot. So oh, here he goes. Not a lot of There he goes. That's why he's great. He's gonna put George to the test. But the good thing about it, we could like ask each other, hey, how you feel information? That day when I had to. He got it bad. I had to tell my fiance that I. Oh, I gave I gave it to my wife too, man. I literally. So I found out one person. I don't obviously ever see George. No, but he's gonna call. I know. And they're gonna chop it up. Yeah. 
gonna say actually Ace King loses to yeah. quite a few hands there at the end. Um, Ace Queen, absolutely. pocket Queens, pocket tens. And then uh, with my history with Garrett, he probably gets me to fold it. <laughs> <laughs> But man, that's so golf, many that times was so rough. he has the because seven there, or the king jack, got a really yep. bad runner, yeah, runner on me, you know. Yeah. I was so careful before that. Yeah. I re we didn't really expect that, up. huh? Either of us, neither yeah. expected a chop. Right, yeah. I was sure I was either going to win or lose. Yeah. Yeah. So it's interesting, like uh, after Black Friday happened, like I was very unsure if or what role poker would have in my life. A lot of uh, good players at the time moved overseas to play online poker still, and that just didn't interest me. Like, I would uh, rather just have given up poker than have to move out of the country. And so by coincidence, I lived in Scottsdale, Arizona, um, and I went down to the casino they have there, Talking Stick, uh, and they, the game was small, it was 5'10", but I would go and I would just have the time of my life. Uh, and it really invigorated, like, my love of poker. Just being able to play live with a bunch of cool, fun guys, a couple of which are still, like, great friends of mine today. And then it just kind of went from there. So after maybe six, 12 months of that, I was like, you know what? Like, I think it's time to, to move to Southern California where all the big live games are. And here I am. Well, well, glad to have you. Yep. The I see some kings time. here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Arby has kings. <laughs> Armenian Mike with a king high flush draw. And George like, with oh, trip okay. aces here. We're going to get right back into this hand here. So I think we're going to see some action. We got a flush draw from Armenian Mike. Yep. From both maybe Arby and also Armenian Mike, of course, with a flush draw. But George seems to love to play these raggedy aces. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes I give it too early before the so time 500 is time to make a decision. Probably better to just let her take it. Kings is going to overhaul. Yeah, I'm shocked that he didn't let it go here. And there's the Whoa, diamond. Oh, he makes it. So Armenian Mike with the nut flush. The board is obviously paired. Now George could improve. 2,000. 2,000? See how Armenian Mike plays it? Just 2,000 here. He's going to flat it. Paul. And now let's see if RB gets out of the way with Kings. What's going on here? Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's great when Mike and George play hands against each other. They're so. both just like, I don't know what the fuck you're doing. You're about to get fucked up. Uh, if you up. see a nine or a queen here or a seven, <laughs> yep. Those oh are, my god. Those are the outs that George needs. Oh. RB with no so diamond in his hand. Who's gonna win? Hold. Throw it away, RB. Good, good job. Yep. <laughs> Whatever you want. Look, look at Armenian Mike negotiating already. <laughs> well, they've decided, oh. they decided to check it down. Wow. I guess Mike was a little bit scared. Of he was. Yeah. So he Mike was. is going to take okay, it down. Right. Okay, Ryan's saying you guys can't turn. Yeah, no problem. You guys can't turn your hands over once. Uh, no, I can not check. No, I know. I'm Before Lord. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm you just, know, I know you called. Yeah, I was. Right. If you check, I check. I'm just saying, guys. You're right. You want to take it? Nice man. Right. 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 Shooting the messenger. Sometimes these guys agree to check down the last street. You know, I think it's just Ryan's asking them not to turn their hand over early on. But I wanted to talk more about that cutaway with Garrett because yeah, yeah, all these things I keep. I remember Garrett. When he was an online player, as the handle G man, I used to work for a company called Deuces Cracked. I was a trading site, and Garrett, Garrett was one of the coaches for Deuces Cracked. This is back in 2009, 2010. Yeah. You know, he was just one of those guys that after Black Friday came from online to drop it out of the country and came back. That's right. It's a lot. That was his story. And I don't think Garrett will mind me saying this. Uh, let me, let me, let's get through this hand and I'll, I'll add like something. Like finding yeah. out Santa Claus is real. Yeah. Raise it up here from Andy and George is going to call. Someone behind you? Yeah, there is. Okay, what's up? I'd love to, when we get these VPIP stats up here, I, I, George's got to be playing over 50%. It oh, yeah. seems like he's in every single thing. Quick check, check here. Do you have more arms in you? you ever play Guess Who? His arms are... Ace Jack going to win it. Yeah, it's going to be. So what I was going to say is, uh, you know, like you, like you mentioned, uh, you know, Garrett was one of their mentors, coaches, trainers. Yeah. Uh -huh. And uh, used to do a lot of training videos and... and Taught the, taught the game and right, kind of so when he went a different direction in his career and he has a different 
thought process now, and he is uh, respectfully. This is, you know, because this is profession. He makes a living here. Uh, he is adamantly against putting a ton of information out into the air because he figures you got to go get it yourself. Speaking of trading. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> I want to lead it. Hey, I love this. Okay guys, I just want you to know, I knew that was coming, and I'm knee slapping yeah, yeah, laughing looking at Bart's face when he, <laughs> he just played his crush live poker because he's teaching poker, so that was a setup by me, I wanted to see Bart's face, and it worked, so sorry about that buddy, it was good. Your site is amazing buddy, I think everyone should go there and sign up and get better at poker. Oh yeah, I fell for it. Yeah, or, you know, like a fake roll. So we're gonna see another multi way pot here. Fake, fake, right? Another in the parking lot. The guy came with his family, his kids were like, crying. Yeah. I saw his kids were crying on my two flush draws. He's like, I don't have money for gas. Armenian Mike with a royal flush draw and George with a smaller flush draw. I see the kids crying. I felt so bad. It's like anything. And his wife takes out all the jewelry, everything gold, this, and all the bracelets and watches. How much? George bet 600 in Armenian Mike. Harvey, <laughs> crazy. Harvey comes in, puts it on the table. He's like, "Is there any chance this gold <laughs> is real?" <laughs> like, yeah. <laughs> Why would you get your kid involved? You know, yeah. I didn't think Check. this guy Check. would be lying. Wait, you know, you know, you know, you know, yeah, the kids are getting paid. <laughs> 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 the family business. But the I come, I look at the Rolex. It's not even working. Armenian you know, Mike is gonna the funniest part of take it down here with the jam. Yeah. Hey, Chris hung in there. There's another guy at the table. How the fuck do you do? Whatever. And he's like, so he paid 500 for it. He like gave the guy some. It was really nice to Arby. Another guy at the table is like, you know what? I'll give you 200 for it. Take it off your hands. And they're like, why? And he's like, well, if I'm ever with a call girl, what I do is I leave one out, like when I shower, so that they potentially take that as payment and like, don't ask me for money. Right? So he uses the fake Rolex. That's <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm like, wow, they're like, really huh? thinking ahead. <laughs> thinking ahead <laughs> <sir>. <laughs> I, I know. You shout around? You know yeah, it is. Two, yeah. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, shout out from Garrett. He's my yeah, only hope. <laughs> I actually felt sorry for and the guy. George has like, right, in here with <laughs> pocket queens. <laughs> yeah, I, I go through like uh, a bunch of different like feelings with people yeah, like that, yeah. like because I do feel sorry for them, but also the feeling of getting cheated is yes, such a yes, shitty feeling. Yeah, I felt feeling, that in the right? beginning. I'm like, fuck this yeah, guy. I'm like, yeah. well, you know what I mean? Yeah. Definitely like. Finding empathy helps you just get over it. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah I try the thing to is, like, it's a whole family operation. Like, his wife was in oh. it, the kids were in it. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh shit, this guy's like actually rehearsed the whole thing. The whole oh, thing, God. for sure. Yeah. So Andy calls, and George okay, does not limp re race. Oh, you, you train your kids. To, so George yeah, has just. Uh, I don't know when did this happen. Called. About like two, three months and ago. And Andy oh, looks like he's gonna pull one of these leads. So Andy is gonna lead out here with a full house. And I told the security, he's like, yeah, this guy's known for that, so, I mean, yeah. Probably 99% of us expected George to win blue rays in this hand, but he just calls. So, Jeremy is the pre-flop raiser. So, obviously, he's going to fold after a lead and a call, and Andy's virtually drawing dead on this hand here. Turns a 10. Now Andy is drawn dead. Two thousand. Two thousand. George gonna bet two thousand. In other spots, this is sort of 
would be like an easy fold, but we've seen George float so much. Well, Andy makes the right decision. Once again, I was going to say, we've seen George just float over and over tonight. But what? What? The time. As Nick had said, these guys are unpredictable. I mean, the lines are just we're, we're, we're nine very, very unpredictable. Oh, okay, okay. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's just whatever the seed is. Yeah. So if it comes, no, no, is, yeah. if it comes to five, time, it just goes huh? to the next no, one. Please save us 20 minutes. <laughs> Any of this is travel? Yeah. yeah. Started a new one. Yeah, uh, Louis, can we get food service for Jeremy, please? Ray is 1,000. Armenian Mike limping in here with 80. And Gall gonna raise it up. Ace, seven of clubs. Can salmon, double vegetables, with lemon, some lemons and Tabasco sauces. Andy makes the call on the straddle. Perry. Thank you so much. I'd like to make some order. What do you have? Uh, and here comes our meeting mic. What's that? So 3250. A lot of spices? Three players. Okay. Well, Gall flops a piece of it uh, yeah. here, no, I don't want spice. but Armenian okay. Mike with the best that. hand, 10, 7, 5, rainbow. It's going to get checked through. Oh, we have a seat right here. It's your favorite seat. Turn here is a 10. Yeah, that's weird. What happened? Who's here? Um, Harvey. Harvey. Oh, yeah. No, we're keeping a seat open for someone. Come on. Oh. oh, yeah. Who's that? 17? 1700. Nice guy. Gall gonna bet 1700 now, so Mike checks eights no, I two to. times. But I don't think he's gonna go me. anywhere. Yeah, you were 50 50, so if you didn't play, I was gonna take And we seat. might see just like a That's check check on a blank river like 30, if Mike makes this call. And then Arby wanted to play. And I really didn't know this time. I wasn't feeling it. Yeah, so he said. So I texted him this morning. Like, wow. I really is he really gonna in fold in. here? He was like, well, let me see what Jay Boots is doing. You never know with Mike. Sorry. No, don't be. I'm glad you're here. How are you doing? You doing anything this weekend? Uh, I think Is that from here? There's one of those time shifts. Yeah, it's just a thing to get in. It's like uh, promoters. Like, but I'm going to go sit with Park tonight. Talk trash on you guys. Oh, that's yeah. fun. I was wondering what you're doing. Yeah, I'm, I'm like, ah, oh, maybe he's working the camera tonight. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you gotta do what it takes. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. Startup, you know? Yeah, it's <laughs> super hard to find good people <laughs> to do this stuff. Yeah, I get it. Make sure to right. say lots of nice things. You know? I will, I will. <laughs> just like they did for me for the first few years, I played against them. You're commentating, Nick? We just gotta keep you coming back, baby. You're exactly. commentating? Yeah, well, I wouldn't call it that. I'm gonna sit in there and have a few drinks. That's pretty fun. Yeah, yeah, that'd be fun. You gotta match Bart's enthusiasm. You gotta so, say, oh my god, it's a nine! It's a nine! Oh my god, it's a nine! Andy for it doesn't remember that. <laughs> oh, what's that here? Mike is. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't have much time here on this time chip, and he lets it go. I saw the, I saw the so we talk about shots, how some of these guys play in the short term. I'm going to take that hand and shove it in his ass. Oh, you saw the kill the Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Call it. I'm take that hand and shove it Call in his ass. I didn't mean to raise them with that hand. They just felt yeah. compelled now to... I do love that hand between you guys. It's yeah. pretty classic. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of the Raisin. opposite of what you're talking about, you like what Raisin. I wrote on the internet? Just the most Switzerland fucking comment of all time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, I love, I love everybody. Everybody, <laughs> Everybody's great. Everybody. Except you. Said. I forgot to no, show you some shit. lovers. I'm like, what the fuck was yeah, that? What is no, in, in my defense, it was in reference specifically to the building of the game. Not the, but you saw I wrote something after, right? There's yeah. a shot at Nick. By the way, I don't know if you heard that in the background. Andy said I would have taken that hand and been raised with it. It's just complimentary of both. Yeah, you can have a lot of Mike. That's funny. Are you ready? Yeah. 
I like you. What do you mean already? <laughs> Someone's characteristic. Like, we need you in the booth. Man. <laughs> All right, go away. <laughs> I didn't even talk to you. I'm in a bad mood. I know. I wasn't even talking to you until you talked to me. Um, hold on, actually. <laughs> hold on, come back. You want to replay that? See ya. Checked around here, and Andy makes the nuts. And George has the bottom end of the straight, but Andy has checked it. So Andy checks. The yeah, mega oh, nuts. One hundred and eighty's got nine eight. George bets the bottom end of a straight, and Krish calls with a four. And you got to believe that Andy's going to put some money in here. And there it is. He's going to check raise it up here to two thousand. Probably thinks someone has an eight, or you're begging that somebody has an eight here. I was like, no, I didn't. Because obviously, and Andy I, beats I any back other eight. He was right, and I was like, I was just kidding. He's like, no, you weren't. You were serious. And I was like, no, I was kidding. <laughs> and I was, I was totally serious. I was like, yeah. dude, put more money in. Yeah, and yeah. like, I felt like such a dude. I've done that many times. I just wait till they leave, and then just put some more money in, and then don't say anything. Dude, I literally had to do it. A, what a you, good oh, friend tip, of mine. Tip, yeah. No, this was the worst. The place you gotta I know who to go with. Oh, what place I go to, I went to all the time. Well, George's gonna, gonna get rid of the bottom end of it. He went, and he was like, no, no, and I Andy's got the take it down. And I was like, cool. And I watched what he tipped, and I was like, I had so the we both end left end together, end and end I circled end back. End I was like, huh? my God, probably yeah, yeah. all the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't, probably. You can't be that oh, guy. You have, you have the eight? <laughs> no, he's tipped. Huh? Yeah. Well, Andy had better <laughs> than the eight. Huh? I mean, 20%. Minimum. I mean, always. You know, yeah, the you wouldn't do that. On the slash draw, you would have done it before. I let them know. As we are up to 30, 700 uh, concurrent viewers. I want to get that up in, up by 5,000 by the end of the night. Again, we ran a little promo from my training site, Crush Live Poker. If you want to check it out, you can use the coupon code. Hustler Live for the first 30 days for free. And I went from Deuces Crack to Crush Live Poker, which is where... I knew Garrett from originally when he was talking about when he was a coach with Deuces Cracked back in 2009. I believe he played online heads up. I think he was a heads up specialist actually, if I remember correctly. Garrett's going to bet at 6 more here. George has a jack and check calls. Garrett turns open ended now. So good double barrel card here for Garrett. And he's going to overbet. He is going to overbet the turn. George is a non-believer. He makes the call. And the river is a deuce. And Garrett gets there. Now, it is a one liner to a four. But unbelievable. Raise it up with 6-4 and back into... The nut straight on a one-liner. And it might look polarizing if Garrett bets large. And George might get curious. And what I mean by that is, if Garrett bets, is George going to be like, what is Garrett betting here? Anyone can have a straight? And it sounds to me like you just went 2x. Yep, 10,000. Hmm. 1.5x overbet on turn, and now 2x at the end as he backs into the nuts. I used to be very fashionable when I was scared. I would buy a lot of nice stuff, but then I just went to the all black t shirt every day. Literally, my closet is this. Look at Garrett, he is just stoic. No, he's not going to get the call this time. Not going to get the call this time, but he absolutely has the amazing ability to make hands. <laughs> I don't know if that's a that's a gift or what, but I, I don't know if I've ever seen a guy make more hands. Obviously, he's a world-class player too, but uh, he he makes a lot of hands. 
we doing it? Okay. Yeah, we're doing it. Okay. Don't worry. I'm not taking As the button moves over here to Andy. Just wondering. Six. Three. Six hundred. Oh. Cool. Garrett's going to raise it up to six. Gonna get called here in a couple spots. Oh, yeah. Okay. And Set. George flopped a flush draw here. Check. Checked around again and this Set. gets to showdown. Garrett's gonna win it with ace high. Ace ten will win. Two clubs. Can't have the flush. Missed about all the bets there. Is that king of club? I had a flush draw. You had a flush draw? Small. So Ryan was actually just telling me that in a couple of hours here, we're going to have a new player, new player, but an hour and a half that we haven't seen before, super action, who's going to buy in, plan for 100,000. So, so that is going to obviously add some spice to the table here too, as uh, Gal is going to flop bottom too. Nick, we just saw you out. Obviously, at the table was kind of <laughs> it's kind of good timing because obviously we are we are on a we are on a delay, so that actually yeah. happened in the past. That happened in the past. Yeah, yeah. That's in the past. And and I just walked by now to again, not to the table though, because I just took a break. But uh, but I'll be interested to see who this guy is, this new player. Timing is very bad, you know, because you leave when we start the round of straddle, you miss all the action, and then and you then come, and then, you, and then you pay, <laughs> you pay your know, straddle. Yeah, it's okay. Oh, thank, okay. thank you. I don't know how you guys can sit here if not that, go pee not or... <laughs> because we're DJs. Three, two, six, I'm not at your level, man. They've been conditioned over I many years. I can still for like more than a half hour. Sometimes the game was like very good, and I needed to pee, and I hold myself for like, <laughs> for bladder like an hour. Bladder infection. Like an hour Even when the game pee. isn't good, I hold it all. Yeah, bladder I don't infection. know why. Yeah, another. This break is gonna cost me another six hundred. <laughs> Every cigarette costs me like six hundred. This is you. It's funny that You're you said due. you only smoke two to three a day and you've already smoked no, 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 by four. Yeah, no, no, no. Garrett <laughs> raises here with the King no, no, Jack no, no. and George calls with uh, well, six four nine. I was nine. actually at the restaurant. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, actually, it's not three back. <laughs> I have a question. That's what, what I do you think the over under is. I only George smoke two to three a day and then like every few minutes he's off. I'm at two to three hundred. Well, I used to smoke like a pack and a half. Oh, it's two to three. I would smoke, if I went out there to smoke, I'd smoke three at a time, like half of each other. So disgusting. Now I like can't stand the smell of RB here is gonna bet. I know and I he's can't. He's gonna run a bluff and take it down. You. Sorry, Nick. Well, no, 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 that's yeah. okay. Can you hear me better now? Yeah, yeah there you I was go. saying, addictive. what do you think uh, the over under is on uh, uh, honestly, George's beef pit when that finally gets ago. displayed? What? One of those side actions. Yeah. 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 Maybe the chat can late 30s. can throw guess it. It's such a reversal. I know. Like people are cutting that. He's like, I think it's got to be over 50. Wait, how did North of 50? Yeah. How did that happen? I think it's got to be over 50. Everyone's picking up. Why? I didn't have stress when I was younger, so, <laughs> you know. We're going to make Andy just go on a hit down and just start smoking. <laughs> start doing all the drugs when you're like, you're 50, 60. What are you doing, Jared? <laughs> uh, trying something new. <laughs> 
That's what I say. It's good to start doing drugs when you're retired, you know? What's the worst that can happen? <laughs> George gonna raise it up here. A6 o'clock. And here comes Gull. And here comes RB with pocket queens. Wow. So three bet. Let's go, RB. Yep. And and RB's short, so I mean, so we're probably raised, gonna right? see a jam yeah. here, I would imagine. Yeah, you got a jam here. Come on, RB. You just bluffed Come the last on. hand, and yeah, there's the all in. That a boy. There's the all in. And here you go, Nick, because you're gonna, you know, you say Gall like. This could be somewhat of a gambling call here for Gall. Gall's going to call, uh, and that's just my opinion because of, of his <laughs> mind over where he's at in the game. That's he's got the kind of hand I think he'll call. Well, he's getting he's getting over he's getting over two to one here yeah. too. I thought it was even more than that. So yeah. I need an exact count. Yeah, he wants an exact count. I have to see a flop. Yeah. The only thing I'll say is that RB has played really close to the best, and he's that's true. four bet jamming. So that's true. Yeah, that's that's great. Yeah. You could make a case that Queen Jack of Hearts right. might not have 30 percent, but he's going to call, and he's actually in really bad shape here against two queens. Good luck. Wow, well, they got a straight try. You can catch a jack and they're going to chop it up, right? What? Chop it up? Oh, wow. Chop what? it up? <laughs> oh my god, that's so sick. I thought I was yep. Wow. Chop it up. <laughs> what? Queen. Queens versus Queen Jacks, a fair fight. That's a good Queen Jack, I can't win. Wow. Nice hand, me. <laughs> you got lucky. I know. Wow. <laughs> I got lucky, I didn't lose like. Huh? What a sick river. Pocket kings, pocket queens, and win. Yep. I guess there is someone that runs worse than me today. <laughs> I raised pocket kings, pop is aces, but they both have aces. Bad raise, RB. One of the <laughs> other things, too, if people haven't been in the hustler, maybe, oh, yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> since kind of COVID's gone on, is obviously all the poker's the moved over here. Yeah, to the, the crystal stage. room. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Whereas before, it was yeah, right. on the other cool. side. Let me get some change. Oh. And George has got Three another hundred. big hand here. And he's going to flat again. He lip called with queens. You might have been out of the booth for that. Here he's got jacks. He just calls Garrett's open. King, king, king. King, 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 jack. Oh, wow. He played yep. ace game and he said, like, oh, no. I'm like, I knew there is the ace. 500. <laughs> Now, the ace was a good card for you, actually. Sure. The ace yeah, was a good card. He gave him out. George is going to call. Now, Chris has bottom pair. No, nope, he's not going to get involved. Turn here is an eight, which gives Garrett open-ended. It also gives George a gutter, but George's is set is no longer good if the jack comes. Just call 2,000 and a call. And he's not folding on the flop either. You call on the flop? Yeah, yeah if, you call flat, if you just flat, if you just flat. Nick, we've seen Garrett do a variety of things right? in this spot against George. He's checked, he's gone for those. Yeah, yeah. See what he's going to do yeah. here. This is a little value, what, 3,000 maybe? I don't know. Yeah, 3,000. Yeah. Yep. 3, I'm more pissed at that pocket kings than that. That was okay. I think with just one over there, he's gonna he's gonna call this in and he has an ace. Right he has that man. George calls three streets with ace ten. Yep, we're here. So frustrating sometimes. I've had the best hand against good you all day. What do we do? Yeah. Every time my hand's better than yours. You, you can't win when that happens yeah. against someone that day. There's Garrett consoling him. <laughs> You're winning enough. That. You want more? I feel your pain. Believe me, yeah. those are such frustrating days. I know, that's a good solution. Takes away the pain a little bit. <laughs> that's been me and Gall for three months. I haven't beat him in a hand. Oh, there's no straddle, right? No. Uh, no. Well, except for today. You think Michael flat? Oh. Pretty good prediction, Nick. Yeah. I'm crazy. 400. <laughs> <laughs> Just a limp. I mean, a limp, a flat. Is Plus, a limp. that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah limp. limp. Yeah, it's, it's, you know what I mean. I do. It's flatting the, bl the blind. I, mean, I don't know. <laughs> Whatever. 
<laughs> Jeremy raises to 400, oh, and there's a flat, though. There he's it is. Not, That's the flat. All right. Uh, technically gonna, speaking. He's not going to link re-raise with Jax. No, no. Why would you do that? Three players. Check. Garrett's in there, too. Check. And not a great board, really, for anybody. And 400. Could Jeremy get Armenian Mike off this hand here? I do think so. I do think so. Well, Mike's going to call, looks like, yeah. once. Ugh. Oh! Well, Mike's not going anywhere no, now. No, no, boys. Turns, set, and now he leads. Yeah. A very unorthodox yes. line. Should have given one more chance to bet here, but... That also would have been very interesting too because Jack Jeremy nine. doesn't always I don't, I don't think he always bets that flop. If Jeremy had taken a card, Garrett would have turned a flush draw and a straight draw. That's ten, right. seven ten seven diamonds, diamonds yeah. too. <laughs> it's interesting how those little things happen. That's yeah. right. So, what hands do you think that Armenian Mike is limp raising all the time? Is it aces and kings? I would say aces and kings. That's it? I mean, much. Yeah. we've seen ace king, ace queen, jacks. Right. Queens. I, and honestly, I think we've seen the same thing with ace queen already. Yeah. yeah. Right? So, the only thing I don't know is we haven't seen. Has he had queens? Is it a raise or a straddle? Maybe not. Maybe yeah, that's the only one that he hasn't yeah. shown us what he would yeah. do, but I think he's flat or limp or yeah. call it what you want. And a lot of times, Mike too, if he if he uh, limps and then there's a really un, a really dry board low, uh, he will fire with nothing. Yeah. Size. So it's very unorthodox. That's the Galbi beef. It's very good. Easy money. Easy money. Now, the graphic said that was a three bet and a four bet, but I'm pretty sure George was in the straddle there. Yeah. Just an open and a three bet, but good enough. Should probably consider having a hit next time. <laughs> <laughs> I, had one. I like that. I like his needles, bro. He takes your money and his. Oh, it's six hundred dollars. It's gonna be easier to play. He's like basically only raise when you have aces or kings, Jeremy. Don't get out of line. Don't get out of line. <laughs> Don't get out of line. <laughs> Don't get out of line. Get out of line. Ken Hutchinson in the live chat says, interesting to hear someone's comment that's usually in the game. I have found our conversation, yes, very interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Lose well, I appreciate that. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of table time with these, with these guys. Yeah. That's good. You're not collecting. That's a game that can get really heated. Talk about a game that'll break up a family gathering. Monopoly. I started playing Connect Four recently. Fun game okay, to get into. Pretty fun. I really wanted to be in this game. Huh? I'm getting I feel like it is, but neither me or my fiance uh, look at anything, so we just start yeah, playing. I don't play games. Like sometimes <laughs> someone play wins, you. and we there's another move after. I'm like, no, you you won. <laughs> like. So here we go, four it's ways. It's definitely solved. Like, I've given so many Thai oh, bartenders set? so yep. much money trying Andy's to get a set, and we have two really? top He's pairs. Super wow. drunk and competitive. <laughs> George and, like, play and perfect. Chris, who's though. the pre flop racer. I feel racer. like it's like tic tac toe when you know. Both have play. top yeah. pair, you and Andy really has a set of eights in the small ball. It's going to get interesting, guys. You, you can draw it. Oh, it draws all the time. Chris is going to bet 1,500. and See how Andy plays it. He's raising it up. He's with the right couple of guys here. Yeah, well, so I was wondering if Andy raised, would that ever get George out of the hand, though? Instead of just oh. flatting, yeah, George wow. folds. Jeremy, what's this is kind like of a small raise, but obviously Chris here with top pair. Yeah. No, I mean, uh, he three bets. Nicky, three bets. You think, uh, are they, are they good So Chris year? has 30,000 back. I mean, see for some, I mean, they're always, they're they're always the up there, here. yeah. As long as you have Russell Wilson, yeah, you always, now, I've seen him do this before where he'll, he'll kind of do this for pocket control and then just go check, 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 check. Like, if Andy just calls, he'll, he'll try yeah, to get the yeah. show down. Yeah, he's trying to slow it down. Yeah. He did that with Jeremy a few hands ago. With yeah, the there, there's the call. So 17-6. Wow, George would have turned top two if Andy oh, had slow played. That's crazy. Yep. Check. Chris picks up a gutter now to a 10. Thank you. Yep, right, there's, there the, it is. there's the check like the behind. Lesson, yeah. 
Well, remembers a seven, and let's see how much value here Andy is going to go for. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Ninety-four hundred. Ninety-four, about half the size of the pot here. I think he's going to get paid, Bart. The only thing that the nine really changes here is that, you know, Jack-10 as a gutter comes yeah. in, or if Andy had somehow check-raised five-six, that makes a straight edge. He's got the Jack blocker, but... Yep. He also blocks some queens up, too, yeah. right, because he has a queen here. Yeah. So you could actually make a case that, uh, you know, with a queen, it might actually be a, a better call than with an overpair with what Andy's representing. But like you said, he, he blocks that gutter raise with Jack-10. Yeah. He's getting about three to one. Yeah, he's getting the right price. He's got top pair, and uh, he's been a little frustrated today. I think, it's, I think Andy's getting paid here. Yep. Yeah, he's going to make a call. Bad news. Oh, wow. 94. Nice hand there for Andy. You know what I find so interesting about that hand deck, too, and I think it's actually one of my my weaknesses when I play is we were talking about paying attention like to short term and how the players are playing. I'm all for fast playing like Andy did, but maybe that time I'd call because George is behind me. That's right. Because he's been doing all kinds of crazy peels. And what would have happened? You know? I'm not trying to piggyback you yeah. in that spot with those two players. That's the right play. You do you to just I, call. I agree. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I would yeah. just call him that. Yeah. Depending on like you know, know like you said, the players in the short term, that's the right play. It's not always the right play. Probably yeah. Let me get out of the way home. <laughs> <laughs> I really have been eating really healthy for a long time. Sorry guys. Oops, been, sorry. Been sorry, sorry. Like a year, a year and a I half. think some of the action would have actually been slowed right. down by the fact that Jack 10 comes in. Like Andy wouldn't have gone balls to the wall. Yeah, yeah, it's impossible to eat all Raise the turn yeah. between nine yeah. because of Jack 10, but we would have seen a big pot for sure. Pretty big, yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, got it. Got it. Once in a while. You, you want to play, right, Jeremy? What? Got it? Yeah. No. You want to play, like, to be in, to be dealt? Yeah. Okay. Little salmon and vegetables isn't going to slow Jeremy down. He's going to see here. It's the beginning of a new round. Again, guys, we are streaming here for six hours. We're actually almost halfway through the show. It's just gone by so quickly. It really has. Like, it's so much fun. We go an extra hour on Fridays, stream live cash games every Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursdays for five hours, Fridays 400. for six hours. 400. Hit that like button if you like what you see. Subscribe to the channel. You know, so we're, we're not even a month old, right? Just about a month? Bart, barely a month old. Okay. This has been so surreal. Let's keep and it down, man. man, even I if this wasn't, guy. you know, my you stream, like I would just say, <laughs> just so proud of what's happening here. It's, it's, well, it's George has flopped a set here. Wow. And Gal might have the back doors where he might continue. Oh, yeah. 500. 500. He's got 7 8 of hearts. So he's got a backdoor flush draw. Uh, no, no, let it go. Okay. No? Just not in the mood that particular hand. You know, I keep saying this every time I commentate with the technology that's out there with smart TVs and stuff like that. Yeah. I just didn't understand why poker streams didn't look like TV. Like, why couldn't poker streams have the cameras where it looked like TV? Like, I have YouTube TV, like, when I watch broadcast TV. Like, why? No, There's a quarter million reasons why. I had a straight from Foster. <laughs> I, I assume most of them have to do with good cameras. Yeah, like, uh, well, well, these, can't, these Panasonics oh, that we have here yeah. are the top, top, and uh, they're not giving them away uh, yeah. very easily. Yeah. 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 Little, yeah. Yeah. It's like three episodes That's why, Netflix, and it's like, Netflix, yeah, that's where Netflix. you got to decide. What, what are you trying to do? We're trying expresses. to be the best. Yeah, I really want so. And then we got the yeah, best in the booth. I really respect you. Like, what she said. and What could be better? I think she's like a class act, For sure. Not everybody's meant to like the spotlight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just doesn't want to be in it. 
you can tell she's like genuine about it. In all of her interactions. It's like so refreshing to see people that you know like aren't like really calculated in anything that they're doing, you know? And also too with the graphic package that most live streamers sure. use, like anybody yeah, and their mother. Yeah, it's by coincidence she's like the best. That, anybody and like, their mother can stream. Yeah, of course. But you, you need good equipment and good resources well, to be able to do that. Well, that's why I bust balls when, I, when I'm on talking and playing and I call the flip, flip, flip uh, phone stream, you know, it's yes. because <laughs> literally <laughs> anyone can stream. Right. You know? Six oh, yeah, and some of them look like so they're being recorded oh, on a phone. Sorry. I'm being honest. She's actually Japanese, half Japanese, right? Chris, that's the raise, right? No, no, no. It's a straddle. I haven't looked at it. Six I just forgot when he reminded me. <laughs> Jeremy gonna make it 600 here on the button. Ace Jack of Spades, and here comes you guys. A three this bet. is your game where you do six and he goes. I know, it's unbelievable every time. And we're gonna see a pot here. I mean, yep. Jeremy should absolutely. King of Spades defend. was folded. Make note of that. Yep. Okay. So King Queen suited against East Jack of Spades here. Button versus small one. Gall has the betting lead here. Yeah. Jeremy's gonna have to take a lot of heat, I believe, to win this hand, because Gall's in that mood. Well, goes check, check. Oh, wow, here it is. And Jeremy hits the ace on the turn. It's gonna slow Gall down. No, it isn't. He does. Jeremy with the check mark. Just a check, check, and uh, Jeremy's going to win. Jeremy, the parole. 9,200. Just like that. Did you, did you play last night, by the way? I didn't get a chance to what see What is today? Friday. Yeah, yeah, I you played did. last night, yes. That Thursday game is like one of my, obviously yeah. this is the big game, but that Thursday night game is one of my favorite games that we stream. Just the, the, the size of the game and the, the players. Cat, it's 10K cap. Yeah, the, yeah. yeah it plays ten, nice though. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 10, 20, 40 or yeah. whatever it is. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Get guys like Barry Woods in there. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. yeah. There's, there's some fun players. Yeah. Last night was fun too. There's a lot of action. Go ahead. Check. Check. Well, multi-way action here again. Garrett Check. here Check. has Check. a double gutter here with queen 10. Another one of these ones that sometimes people miss. Turns a queen, it gets checked around. 400. And Krish with ace 10 here is going to bet. Oh. Garrett gonna call as he pairs up with his queen. Jeremy has king jack. He's going to call. So, three people here. And, uh... Oh, Chris is finally going to get a hand to hold up. Yep. Good for him. 900. Well, Garrett gets curious here. Sorry. One of the, I mean, if you could call it a misstep, he puts in nine hundred dollars bad. Uh, he gets, he calls with the worst hand. Which yeah, is not very rare. <laughs> that we see. <laughs> very rare. That much, and Chris makes a nice value bet. Ryan Feldman tell me in a couple hours this game is going to become fifty-one-two-four. Sometimes with an eight. So whatever you are doing here tonight on a Friday night. You can imagine how this one's going to go as we're almost three hours into the show here. How big it's played already just oh, since yeah. 51, it's, but we're going to go. This game's getting bigger, confirmed, and like mentioned, might have a player coming in that likes to buy in really deep and likes to create a lot of action. New blood. Let's see what happens. Hit that like button, smash the shit out of it, and uh, <laughs> subscribe, and uh, let's go.
Y'all gonna raise it up here with Queen Eight of Diamonds. RB gonna call. Oh. So is Krish. Raise 3,000. Oh, here we go. Oh, Andy here, a couple ladies in the straddle. Great place to be after a raise and two calls. Looks yeah. like it's a squeeze spot. Well, you're right, Nick. Gall wants to get involved. He wants to get involved. Yep. It's going to be hard to get him out of a hand, especially pre. And again, he's, he's in a bad spot. Yeah, he's badly dominated here. Queens against Queen Eight. That's it. This has to do it. There's no equity. Yeah, this is. By the way, Chris would have. Uh, yeah, flop the combo, Joe. Jack nine of clubs. That's the hand that got me in trouble uh, a few weeks, couple weeks back on the button when I lost my brains and I don't think you were commentating and shoved on the button against Jacks and lost the twenty-one thousand dollar pot. So. Mike with the power limp here once again. Let's see what he's got. No, yeah. Raise 400. Turn off my mic, please. So Queen 10 limps in here. RB in an ISO raise with Queen Jack. Can I get my Mike's going to come in. And RB's gonna flop top pair. I have it, Mike. I have it. Yeah, I don't wanna. I don't wanna just check it down every time, you know. So, so the dynamics here with what you just saw is Armenian. Mike is obviously Armenian. RB is Armenian, and Mike has a fondness for the Armenian bloodline, and so. He often checks back with RB, uh, even when he's got the best hand, but it's frustrating for RB because he feels obligated to do the same back, and he does. I think that some, sometimes happens with art. Here's the thing about LA poker, which is just a thing, and it never really bothers me. Sometimes it bothers the viewers. Specifically with Armenians, there's a lot of guys that don't like to bet against each yes. other. They're not colluding not against anyone. They just don't like to bet That's against each other. It is what it is. Yeah. And that's sometimes what you see. And Arby goes along with it, right, but it frustrates right. him because he wants to play. Right. He's told me that. But and, uh, and Art, too, although I think Art finally cut it. He finally, yeah, yeah Art he's just like, said, I'm, I'm, I'm playing it. <laughs> I'm playing it. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Arby has yet to as, cut it. As, Eric, as Garrett here with aces, three bets. Yeah, of course. On the button. <laughs> the eighth wonder. And Jeremy, the original opener, calls with ace four. Gall in there with threes. RB in there with nine eight suited. So four way. Wow. Three bet pot. Four way. Yep. Oh, look at this. That's a bottom set for Gall against aces. So this one's this one could get fun. Also, Jeremy here with a wheel draw with ace four. Yeah. And obviously, Gall has 75,000, and Garrett has him covered. So we've got aces against a set here. Jeremy's just going to get rid of the ace four of diamonds. Gall's going to flat here if he has to. Could allow Garrett to maybe play some pot control of some sort of card comes. Okay. Turns a nine. That's not really a connected card. By the way, Jeremy would have turned an up flush draw now if he was in there with the ace four diamonds. We're going to see six, seven, eight thousand dollar bet and it's got to be a raise pretty new. Fourteen thousand. Wow. Well, how about, over bet. Yeah, how about an over bet here? Fourteen thousand. Wow. How's Gall feeling right now? Well, I would be feeling pretty good about a set. The question is, how are you going to play it? Because if you just call, there's no guarantee. 
that Garrett is going to bet after he overbets turn on the river on a sticky card. So card, I think he's got a raise here, especially. He just called. He just called. Yeah. Wow. So approaching well, forty thousand. Better donk lead. River is a six, not. Check. Oh, he's getting checked. Come on. Yeah. So he's going to play it like he has a ten. So he did get a good run out here. Depending on how much Garrett bets, we could just see a call from, from Gall. No, I, no I and he you, checks it I back! Thought, I told you, oh I, he had the donk God. lead there. Wow. Garrett is too smart for that shit. Well, unbelievable. Wow. The overbet on the turn. He has to raise the turn. Sniffed it out, Nick. Yeah. Sniffed it out. Right, Garrett, I knew it. Wow. Wow. That is crazy. And that's what I said, like, if, if you're going to just call the turn, like, you, you know, maybe yeah. Garrett checks back, yeah. does something you crazy. You got to raise that or you got to donk lead the, the river, unfortunately. Garrett's just wow. too smart for that, man. I mean, not that it's not capable of putting in another bet, of course, but. As we get a dealer change here. Yeah. We get the lovely Lauren back in the saddle. Great overhead shot. And we take a chip count uh, look here. So Andy is covering the table here. That shocks me. Take a look at the cumulative that shocks me. Yeah, Andy up 45,000. Garrett now, he loses like what, 18,000 that hand. He had been up yeah. like 44. Yeah. So what could have been for Gal? Gal working his way back only stuck 22. It's funny that Garrett sort of looks upset on the river, but I mean, he just played it as good as you Perfect. possibly could play it. I mean, <laughs> I mean, over bet a little bit, but absolutely yeah. minimum. If I call you, That's it's part of run good right there, guys. And, and then he plays good. Ah. Run good, play good. Good, good strategy. Flush draw a pair here for Krish. With the three, four of hearts, and he also has the best cool. hand. 1,200. RB's going to bet out here with a gutter to a jack with his 9,10. Yeah. So Chris got a call. <laughs> Rivers and Ace. Let's see if RB bluffs at it here. And he only has three thousand. Yeah, that's a good bet. It's gonna, it's gonna get through. So it looks like they're gonna do a do what? a collection left pot, card. I believe, on this one. Yeah. It wasn't one last time. It Pick, was picking the card. I wasn't sure. Brian, you know what the first card was in the last hand? It was, last it was a queen, and then uh, I think a five okay, and an ace. I thought it was a five as well, but I don't know. Five and an ace. So one. See five, oh, so ace. No, no, no. Yeah. I gotta be honest with you, I think Gall would have got me that hand if he played okay. it that way. Now, maybe I don't take the over that sizing from no, five you the river? You value I, it? I, I, just the way that Gall's been, you know, I know the way his night has been yeah. going. I think I'm gonna get valued by a 10. But I think what changes that hand, though, is the over bet by Garrett on turn. No, I thought you said last hand, but then it was me. seemed to get what I thought was kind of a clean river, so yeah. I'm, not, I'm not surprised. Here's the only thing I'll say, you're right in theory, and, and that's for sure the yeah, You're right. Really on the but with Gaul, and he has five cards, he can have, they can match. He could have two pair with anything. He plays everything. Right. You know, so that's the only thing when you're playing against him. It's like, it's so hard to figure out. But with that being said, if he's playing that many hands that can make two pair, he's also playing that many offsuit broadways, which is going to be 10x. Yeah, absolutely. Which I want to get value yeah, same. From, so. Yeah, you're right. But, I mean, just Garrett made the right move. Um, Unbelievable, I guess you could say spidey senses for Garrett. Absolutely. Let's do it. 
Garrett usually he's making all the right like decisions. Against, against nice. better and judgment. getting hands. Do it. Do it. Tank fold is my prediction. Garrett has a three bet with pocket fours here. It looks like, or just straight raise, excuse me, because it's a straddle. So limp and a straight raise. With always fours. looks like it's butt uh, okay. <laughs> Me and Mike grabbing a whole bunch of chips, taking some time, throwing it in. He's bluffing himself. <laughs> I'd love to see Chris actually limp re raise here with Ace 5 suit. Yeah. I think he's going to limp it. I think he just gets a bunch of snap holds, and I, and I like that specific hand, but he just calls. Andy also in there with sixes. Looks like Andy's got the best of it. Chris is playing uh, he is. pretty tight post here tonight. And uh, Garrett gets, gets rid of it as well. You, you know, maybe it's just the, the, the drop of the cards, but Garrett and Andy yeah. seem to be kind of staying away from each other, just picking other spots. I mean, it's probably just the way the hands are going, but I uh, haven't seen a lot of big, big explosions over there. I mean, Garrett's just had some, you know, borderline hands that he could have defended to a four bet from out of position and chose not to. Yeah. So it might just, you know, be one of those things. Four hundred. Four hundred. George gonna raise it up here to four hundred. Was that a min raise to a two hundred straddle? It would be if there's a two hundred straddle there in there. Is. Yep. Golf three bets a two thousand and RB. Maybe he didn't know there was a straddle. RB's got jacks. I mean, he's got sixty five hundred, right? He's gonna go for it again here. I hope so. Yeah. This is one of the advantages of playing off a short stack. It makes yeah, it easy decisions. Owen. That's the right move. Yep. Oh. And it will be a math problem, most likely, Doesn't when it count? gets back to Gal. Yeah. I'm going to pause this. Start pause it and pause it. Uh, 45. Gal is ready to gamble. What do you think, Andy? <laughs> Uh, two for two that, then we'll call it. Four, 45, five, <laughs> six. So George Sorry, is not folded eight. yet. George is the one I think that yeah. actually asked for the count. 6,300. George may see a flop here. 6,300. And if he does, oh, did he oh, fold? Yeah, he folded. He folded. So now it's back over to Gall. He probably would do it. Again, man. And again, he's getting like straight two to one here. Yeah, yeah. Last time we just said that you know. RB, don't talk. Just let him call. He said. <laughs> don't be sad, bro. He was like... <laughs> he hate letting go of hands. He's in a lot yeah. better spot than last it's time when he had the... What was it? The Queen Jack. Yeah, yeah. Like he's like queen. It all in. I'm, I'm, He knows I'm running bad. That's what he's thinking. Or else he would... He's going to talk him out of it. Okay. 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 No? I had a big player. Can you show us a flop? Sure. So I can... Ooh, I don't like that queen. No. Oh, he would have got there. Yeah, God, God would have won it. Yeah, queen nine. Oh I, I, I didn't want. Honestly, I didn't want to <laughs> see the flop. Not me. Now God no, doesn't want to see the flop. You know why? Because I had a pocket of fours. I want to see. I hate seeing George is tilting yeah, yeah, God. I'm sorry about that. Queen Jack again? That would have been sick if he called Queen Jack again. How do you not call? Three ten Queen Jack. No, he's, sho he's shoving me. He can't do uh, two two Queen Jack. Jack. King Queen. King Queen, right? I don't want to like. I had pocket fours. You know, I don't no, can't call with that. Queen Jack. Crack me twice with Queen Jack. Oh, yeah, that would have been sick if you beat me again. Out for four more I would have been so pissed, man. <laughs> and I would have run it once. I know. I would have been sick. I can't win with big pairs. Kings, queens, jacks. 200 straddle. Fall, fall. See one is stepping away from the table? Just about to hit 4,000, Nick. There like we I go. Said. 
That's the way it should be. This is yeah. a great game and a great day and a great oh, casino. Sure. And again, we get uh, this game up to one, two, four, which is I'm getting word is coming in about an hour, an hour yeah. and a half. It's going to be off the game's rails. doubling, fellas. Okay. Get the word out. Yep. Well, Armenian Mike makes the nuts on the turn here. 500. Raise, 1500. About the most insta snap fold I think you could yeah. ever make. Yeah, that's <laughs> your number. If uh, Armenian Mike <laughs> had to do that well, again, he should have just. I haven't beat him in a hand. <laughs> Yeah. If it's me, it's easy. It seems like fake sometimes this game. Mm -hmm. This fucking guy showed me three threes again. I'm like, it's fake. Yeah. He's like <laughs> making the fucking cards like mid hand. He's, yeah, like, you know, he's like drawing he... the fucking threes. Like Imagine if you had hand. that power. That would have been awesome. <laughs> that's, that's called denial. <laughs> yeah. I'd rather have that power than be like Superman, <laughs> right? Making cards as you go. He has a three. All the trucks. <laughs> He's like, I am picturing aces. 200 straddle. Garrett had said in the beginning that he had been running bad against Gall. Not yes. just on a stream, just like no, in general uh, in LA. The, yeah, yeah, the other yeah. areas they play, yeah. yeah. And that's what they both say, that Gall's been getting the best of me. Not tonight. Can I buy some purple candy? Me? Yes, yeah, how much? 1,500, one Garrett eating another pre-planned perfect meal. Uh, heads up. Andy here flops top two against Gal, who's the pre-flop raiser, but Gal just checks behind, turns an ace. Fine. Thanks for taking time. Andy just leads out, to take it down. I don't want to pretend. Like, oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Get it over with. On to the next. Do <laughs> you want to be in on this one or what? So Andy's the big winner tonight, and oh, most of that came from that hand with the set of eights that we just yeah. saw. Yeah, man. <laughs> Thank you. And a straddle here for 200. No, Arby just uh, calls. Okay. All this double on your out. You made me straddle okay. for you. All right. I fucked up. Check. 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 RB with the overpair. 500. I have deuce five. Take too. it down. <laughs> oh. Sometimes I play those. Change, please. Pull it for 100 more. With that, pull it for 100 more. Just hold it, yeah. Pitched it right away. Guys, if you're watching, the word on the street is this game is going to be doubling soon, so keep watching. Smash that like button, and uh, we got a player coming. And uh, we heard a lot about him, new guy. Buys in deep, creates a lot of action. A lot more to come here at Casino, Hustler Casino Live. The night has just begun. I always think so many combinations of cards look like you got a pair. What was that? Like, you know, the ace four cool. looks like aces. Oh. There's so many I think that are now. like that. You mean like pre-flop? Pre-flop. Yeah, like I think two, ten sevens, two sevens. All the time. Yeah, yeah. There's like so many. Uh, with ace nine, so raising it up, and right George coming yeah. along. Yeah. Gal's got a missile lock on this hand with the ace. I can't see. Yeah, there we go. Immediate fold by George. That's 
crazy though. That, uh, after so many years of playing poker, like the feeling of getting a good hand never gets old, you know? Never gets you old. Still, just like feel like every time, yeah, <laughs> yeah, dude. And like now that I know a little about the brain, like how the brain works, like you get it more. It's like yeah. immediately that dopamine hits. Little, little dopamine yeah. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't even need to be like a great hit, you know? <laughs> just like pocket fives immediately. You're let's fucking go. <laughs> Garrett and Andy talking about the rush of the game. These are two guys that are absolute pros but no, love trying. to play and that's what they're talking about right there it doesn't get old for them push with a pair of threes looks like he's just going to flat limp if you will yeah we can we can keep going oh it's, there's no straddle there's no just straddle. a call Paul. i don't want to give him the wrong impression raise 300 see call Gall can't help himself, raises it to 300, yeah, yeah, kind of six suited. It does, it feels silly in the straddle. Look, it's miserable. I had to raise miserable. 200 with my garbage not, not so to play for like 100 He's, he's yeah. depressed for Check. Check around. Imagine how I feel, bro. When you're sad about the size of the game, I always feel that way times one million. I'm just Check. screaming Check. inside. 400. It's Cold. probably so Cold. hard for you to get that rush, you know, from poker. Sure. Because you're used to playing so big. For sure, like, yeah, yeah. It's not easy. But it's like a comparison thing. Yeah. So, like, when we partly just play with a $100 big blind, even 200 feels like Oh, it feels like, like it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, like, compared to 100, at least it's not It's like that. a heroin addict, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, that. exactly. You can't go back down. But, of course, like, in a different game, like, if the big blind became 200, it would be yeah, devastating, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> The brain always fucks with you yeah. like that, right? Yeah. Have a pair of threes. It's, it's good. good. Chris. That's good. It's good. That's good. I'm I always, <laughs> I always say, Nick, I, you know the game is going to be really good when people bluff a lot with the best hand. Can I actually haven't seen that not that much. Can I have a bite? Tonight, but we saw it last week and definitely see it on Thursdays. <laughs> no, people no, I'm bluff. fine. I'm just fucking with Like they take no, a hand that they think they one, need to bluff, but they actually no, have the best hand because no, no, people are playing such shit. And I know you give me a bite. That's right. Thursday game, you know, there's a lot of five, six, seven way pots. So. Am I the blind? <laughs> you are. You are not. So are these? Oh, oh, I'm busy. Okay. Sorry. Yeah, I'm if I raise us, if so, uh, I raise us, or if someone raises, I have to keep a straight face while you're bluffing. He checked him. It's like right. Five hundred. He's gonna have to go for this river. Oh. Cool. Gary gonna make it five hundred oh. here. Two red tens. All right, price in. Here we go. Oh, why not give Garrett <laughs> Fine. four way action? Yep. Five plays. And how Unbelievable. About, how about top set? Unbelievable. Okay. See if anybody okay. else has anybody okay. anything Jeez. big here. It doesn't look like it, though. No, but it's just crazy. Yep. 800? It's going to be a small one, but man, it's crazy. I mean, Gal could piece with a six here in backdoor clubs. Yeah, he is. So if he catches a six, it's a disaster. Or a queen. Obviously, he could catch backdoor clubs here, too. Did Chris just put money in? He's thinking about it. Yeah, he's he's going to get out of there. Yeah, when Gal's stuck, he'll be your huckleberry. Yeah. No, that's his. Oh, that's his. Yeah, that's like this. Heads up. Yeah, I need that one. He turns a four. Didn't Arby have fours in his hand? I think he did. I think he did. How many did Four? Yeah, you used two. I did use two. I thought you used one. Yeah, I used two. Eighteen hundred. Yeah, you used two at the same time. But now he's gonna bet eighteen hundred here. When you're right, you're right. With top set, that was in the small blind. I mean, the only thing, I mean, the four could obviously someone could have five three. We could have six four, right? 
Uh, Kyle yeah. feels pretty good with second oh, pair. He's, uh, he's, uh, he's, call, man. Yeah. he's not going anywhere. And again, a six would just be uh, an absolute a disaster. Oh, the river is a three. It puts a one-liner now to a five. So yeah. this one might get frustrated for Garrett again because if for some reason he doesn't value bet, although he now he beats a lot of two pair, and maybe he doesn't think Gall's going to check a straight, so yeah. he might be more likely to bet here now. He's, he's probably going to bet, and the reason I say that is because he's made the right decision all night. So why wouldn't he here? 10 seconds. I think he wants to try to get called here by two pair. Yes, yeah, right. 8,000. Yeah, pot size bet. Gall's just going to muck. Just gets rid of it. You think Gall even thinks about it with a, a smaller bet? I thought Gall was actually thinking about it for longer because a lot of people don't bet without a straight there. I and mean, that's yeah. the definition of, obviously, yeah, that's polarization. True. Yeah, I don't know. All right, you're out. A little bit of theory there that's interesting there on the, on the turn, obviously, because Garrett has top set there and also the turn connects with certain things. He uses a smaller size on the turn, whereas right. the ace's hand, the nine didn't connect with anything. He unlocks up here. That's when he bombed as the overbet, so. Five hundred. Gull pressing from the button with a six of hearts. Nothing unusual. And he's gonna take it. As we roll into hour three, we will be here for at least another two hours and oh, 40 maybe. minutes, maybe more. Yeah. Maybe even more Are than that. Are guys still coming? We have another player joining us. Ryan. They want to know if we definitely players. have another player yes. joining us. There's two guys right. helping him bring his money into the casino. He doesn't have his phone he's producing, so he's not sure. Uh, okay. He said, okay. What are you supposed to do? They okay. say he buys in really, really deep, so it's going to be interesting if he does that, because you know well, Garrett and Andy, they're going to go right to the pouches. Is that a raise? That's a call for the straddle. 600. Raise 600. And I proceeded to eat the boogie. It was disgusting. <laughs> you didn't think it was a boogie. <laughs> the so Chris going to raise it up here to yeah, 600 yeah, East King. Get him. I feel Chris's frustration. I mean, he hasn't had a lot of big hands, and anything he has had, he's missed, and he's having one of those nights. And Andy here, gonna raise. With a gutter? Yep, with the gutter. Maybe sensing that Krish you know, may have missed with high cards. And he's correct, although. The Krish last week would call here. The Krish this week seems like he's playing a little tighter post. Two hundred calories. Is it filling? I won't satisfy the hunger a little bit. Or not really. Uh, I think they're pretty good, oh, pretty yeah. filling, whatever. They're very depressing to eat. <laughs> Given they require zero work, it's you yeah. know, it's like whatever. Did you get, like the, did you the, get the, the big salad thing. today from the fiance? Um, it's always something different, but yeah, basically. The other one looked good. Cool. Yeah, she keeps it interesting, thankfully. Cool. Oh. Who's she? Fiance. Okay. Get some chance for cooking, you. cooking is a huge thing. So much work. And no straddle? And cleaning. Uh, no straddle. Are you, are, are you a helper with the dishes or no? For sure. Oh, wait, he called? For sure, yeah. yeah. I'm like, uh, I'm guilty of being well, not. I what is that? I don't know what's going on. It's straddle. Oh, it's uh, straddle. No, no. It's straddle. That's what I was asking. Else? I mean, we're doing around. He turned around. He turned around. I, I understand that, but it looked as hurt. It wasn't announced. Uh, so, it doesn't matter. Okay, fine. So, uh, yeah. so, okay, then. Okay, so, I, 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 so, C-H yeah. straddle. They're saying it's auto since it was around. Because I can't make it. It's okay, yeah, don't worry. 
we didn't get a ruling, the table's okay with it. So the debate is over the straddle for it's George, I believe, the and they've been on auto straddle, so the table's saying, look, whether he looked or not, put the straddle in because that's what we're doing. Right. Thank you. Right. And that makes sense. It does. Yeah. Yes. It does. And then Paul. No, four ways. Guy hasn't missed a straddle since he was in his teens. Like, you, you just got to let yeah. him straddle. Good. All the pre-flop razor hits his jack. And hits Check. his kicker. Check. 1,000. Yeah, two pair. Gonna bet and take it down. Jack three of clubs, premium hand. He makes it there. We got three. And he shows the three for the needle. Two of them. So I have some uh, interesting stats here that right are, are right around to accurate because um, I don't know if we're gonna get the BPIP graphic up tonight, but I was interested. George is playing 47 percent. Well, you said 50. I said 50. We're spot on. Yeah, Gall 44, Andy 33. Garrett 31, Jeremy 30, Krish 29. I don't have RBs. I'm sure RBs is the tightest, but that gives you a general idea. Yep. Uh, so Gall's up there too. Oh yeah. Obviously. Three, Obviously. Three, yeah. Five hundred. Oh. Garrett's usually right in that like low 30s. I mean, we're playing what eight-handed, seven-handed too, so it's yeah. not. It's pretty optimal between 26 and 31 in a game like this, I believe. I mean, you would know better because you're... you're it's an there's an ante, too. Yeah. So, yes, you are supposed to definitely play looser. Looks like RB has turned top pair. Looks like Armenian Mike does have the full camos in the background. 13. 13. RB going to bet out here. Now, Jeremy... Who is in the straddle turns a flush draw. Oh, he's just gonna get rid of it. Yeah, dry flush draw. Heads up. But Gal here, a non-believer. Just gonna go check, check. See if RB puts in a value bet though, I mean. Checked. I had my money with a check. Checked around on the flop. I mean, yes. The, the Prove me wrong, RB. It's almost, it like, it's almost like a free roll bet, though, Nick, because, like, the kicker, right, is going to play as a queen. I mean, you're, you're right. He did, yeah. he did check it back. but I, You know, the only reason I even can say that is I've played hours and hours with these guys, mm -hmm. RB as well, too, on and off stream and for the last few years, even during the, uh, uh, you know, Thank you. epidemic and all that. So there's some tendencies and patterns that you get used to. I, do you ever play poker tournaments? I never even. Have you ever played the main event or? Uh, I played once, and the reason is because over the years I've run businesses, and it's hard to get sure. away for weeks at sure. a time. You know. The, the reason why I bring that up is because you would be amazed if you looked at a computer when you play in a no, no limit tournament with an ante when people use this sizing of like 2.2 as the yeah. race size. You're supposed to be calling on the button with hands like king four suited, I know. I hands that, that you wouldn't even think, yeah. we would never even consider yeah, playing hard. in a cash game. It's hard. If you're a cash player, it is hard to make those adjustments because it just doesn't feel right. Because the ante and the small sizing and all that. And so. if you're a high stakes cash player, you really got to adjust your mindset to sit there and and to adjust to that, to oh, that you gotta, atmosphere. You got to play like a knit for the yeah. most part. Well, it's I'm crazy. Getting, you know, people are, that's probably perfect for me now. Yeah. <laughs> Um, bet Nicole here. Okay. Well, looks like RB made a flush, but the board gets double paired now. Yeah, it's going to slow it down. Yeah. Now, from an outside perspective, and again, uh, I've said publicly, I don't care. I'm vaccinated. I don't care if other people aren't vaccinated. Yeah. I, I don't care about the, the right. politics of the medical thing. Right. The weird thing about what the World Series was doing the this dealers. year was, was that they, all right, they instituted a vaccine ma mandate. Some people were against that. Some people said, well, maybe it would streamline it. You know, whatever. It's up to the debatable. But then the dealers aren't 
mandated to be vaccinated. Right. So the whole thing just There's seems right. crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I'm not, like you, I'm not going to touch it with a 10-foot yeah. pole. Just the, the debate about it, the right? The debate, right? right. right. Forget that. Changing? But that is in line with the craziness I've seen with this epidemic. There's just certain mandates and things that make no sense, and that's one. What's wrong? How do you even? That doesn't make any sense. The problem I have, because I've been going to the World Series for 15 years, I have seen years where things have been a shit show. 2007 comes to mind, and I just I want to play a big event in the beginning, which is a 10k. Yeah. But I don't want to sit there and wait in line for eight hours to be verified for something. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's for sure. I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Well, if you wind up doing it, let me know what happens. Well, at least at least if you come for the main, though, at least maybe some of that stuff will be hashed out because it'll be towards the end. You know. Unregistered as technically. They're not getting my business this year. Again. God might bless be, him. I hope someone else is going to have to do that. I hope you do good if you play. Three way action here, 2050. That's why they only use one deck. In the pot, Queen 8 Queen. Nothing here. Pretty expensive too, right? take yeah. It. Come around here, though. Yeah, maybe even more. I know. George never wants to quit, you know? Look at this. <laughs> yeah. I mean, is that that's seven three uh, diamonds, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, what else would he do? Of course. Well, he does have position, right? So if he gets checked yeah. to. Yeah. I mean, well, it's gonna make a player like Andy wonder. Yeah, it's gonna make Andy check. And he doesn't have anything, right? So nothing. George, this is where George likes to bet out. This is what I've seen playing with him. He likes to bet out, confuse the shit out of you, and get you to fold uh, the best hand. There it is. God uh, bless you. Good job, George. For, like, you did pretty good. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Came on for like literally like 30 minutes. Yeah. And, then, <laughs> and then, yeah. and then, that's my uncle actually. <laughs> <laughs> Ow. Yeah, right? It was yeah. That guy was fucking great. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I love his excuse though. He's like, tell Ryan, great choice there. At least he was honest. Yeah. I'll fucking kill him. He said, I'm, uh, my profit is whittling down. Oh, yeah, exactly. go. I can bring his ass in here right bring now. Bring it out. Yeah. Yeah. No, he really is. Oh, I believe you for sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm the. Straddle? He has to I'll bet at least seven. Straddle it up. Again, right now out. we're playing 51 2, but the game is going to get kicked up here pretty soon. 51-2 with a 100 ante. Yep. 51-2 yeah. with a 100 ante. Love that big blind ante, too. And I think all the, the games game. now on Hustler. It's, it's moving that way. Yeah. Annie, it creates right? a lot of action. Yeah. Chris here with ace, queen of clubs in the straddle. And he is going to three bet it up here to 2,500. Garrett's the original opener. He's going to call. Ace three is suited. Jeremy on the button with 10 8 of clubs. Wants to get in there. Yeah, uh, yeah he's going to get in there. And just a whole lot of nothing here. Let's see who wants this. Did Chris check? Yeah. Yep. Everybody. I actually might have taken a shot there if I was yeah. Jeremy yeah. on the button just a little yeah, I think bit. Jeremy with, should put in a bet there, with some back doors. Easy to say sitting here, but yes. Yeah. Haven't you done Jeremy's turned to gutter, but I think Garrett is reading the situation obviously correctly. He's making that, the right choice again. Yeah, no one has anything. He's got about four thousand. Come on, Jeremy, make it nine thousand. We win. Maybe tomorrow. And again, Chris has definitely played much tighter post. He sure has, but he, he, he smells something. Although he's going to call. Ooh, River's a king. Wow. It's actually, I think, a bad card for Garrett because he might think Chris has got a lot of ace king here mm -hmm. and might not want to bluff, although it looks wow, like. Wow, this, this, this is what you're talking about, Nick. Work. Chris is going to bluff with the best hand. 6,200. Yep, exactly what you were saying. <laughs> He's going to bet. Uh, 6,200. Could Rain Man. 
can Rain Man make the right decision? Well, here? I mean, <laughs> it's it's a raise, obviously, or a fold, and maybe he just thinks that. That's what I mean. Yeah, Chris He's thinking about doesn't it. have hearts He's here. He's not thinking about calling. He didn't bet the turn. And He's it looks like he is. I, yeah, I'm telling He's you. He's going to raise. He's going to raise. And I think he did. Is that 100,000? He put them all in. He put a stack of five in. He put them all in. in. So 62 or oh, so 55,000. Yeah. I thought it was a stack of five Ks. Not today. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. He's all not in. Today. Yeah. He put a stack of five Ks in. Chris only has 34,000. There is no way Chris can make this call if he does. Yep. And that is just that uh, is so sick. Garrett's on point. Absolutely on point. He is yep. playing out of his mind tonight. All, right, guys, maybe like we have All the stuff you say about running good in the eighth wonder doesn't take away from the fact that he doesn't have a lot, a lot of talent and, and the most there. I mean, that's... He just, he's just making all the right decisions. He deserves it. He's been study, write notes, yeah. and then yeah. next time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chris did absolutely the right thing there. Job, job, picture of me. Yeah, I've been playing poker for over half my adult life, which is quite a lot, given I'm 35. Uh, and I started the same way I think quite a lot of good players started, which was watching Chris Moneymaker just make it happen in 2003. And so back then, I think I was like a junior in high school, just played home games with my friends and couldn't lose because as bad as I was, they were worse. Uh, and from there, it just kind of grew into an obsession, you know? And so for the better part of like a decade thereafter, uh, just my, my whole life was just poker and in particular internet poker. There you go. I actually started uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. from Moneymaker too. That's how I got into it. But yeah, I was yeah. I was I was already 23. Thank yeah. God I didn't. I, I, I had not found poker yeah. while I was in college. I don't know if I would have made it out yeah. with, the, with, the, with, the, yeah. with the, what party poker was the first few years. Oh. What happened? Got it. Raise, re raise, huh? Oh, what would you be doing different even if you didn't? <laughs> I, just, I know, right? I did. Yeah. I think it would have been. Still made uh, your own way either way. I don't know if I would have got my degree. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe the next. Not that that. When you when you applied for the job at Crush Life Poker, did you need the degree? Right, right, right. <laughs> I did. I did get a commentary gig in 2009 um, on Fox Sportsnet. Oh, did you? Doing the first club WPT, and then that I did the Aussie Millions. Oh, that's cool. Was your degree a factor? Well. What I was going to say is I, I had a communications degree from Syracuse oh, Newhouse okay. Broadcasting. The director was from that Syracuse. Didn't, that didn't so, hurt you. Yeah, that didn't you. know, it's yeah, one of those I things. It. Yeah, you're, you're I had to audition for it. Taken. But, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but then there's other times where I lose. <laughs> when I lose 100K quickly and you see it, does it look like I'm cool? Does Raise it, it up like here. I'm cool with it? I'm not. Yeah, he's not. <laughs> but it's By good. RB to 600. Cool yeah. Well, he has to keep the poker face. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least it looks like I'm still chilling. Looks like he's going to take it down. Some Armenian love back to RB and game the pot. What happened? Oh, perfect. Thank you. Oh, they're doing the uh, yeah, and RB wins the collection. Yeah. collection. Yeah. One of the one of the most amazing hands I've ever commentated on came off of the uh, Aussie Millions that uh, that show. Um, it was a PLO hand where Robo and Patrick Antonius got it in. Robo's like a 27 percent to win, and Antonius is 70, 73. They ran it four times, and Robo won all four times as a 27. Oh wow! Wow! All four times as 27. Percent. Yeah, that's that was amazing. That was amazing. That's tough. So much action. Yeah, I mean, bump are for 5-5, 5-10 five, 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 games yeah, where... What happened? No one... There we go. Someone finally said it. <laughs> see? Right. I was the first one to say it. Bump pots are for, like, for the kitty games. I was the first one to say it. Oh, I gotta quote that for Andy. It's gonna make a lot of people in Texas mad. Bomb pots are for the kitty games. Andy. Amazing. <laughs> So What's that? Oh, crazy. yeah, you make the bomb pot big enough, you just, you just get it in like every third or fourth one. Like, it's, it's such fucking sick action. It's 
especially when you fuck trips to Tokyo. Yeah, yeah, I mean, obviously that one obviously. goes in. <laughs> But like we throw a thousand dollar bomb pot in here, like every yeah, every third or fourth one, it'll be an all-in pot. So once again here, four ways, and I think someone's got a three here, four, so three, three. Oh no, he's six of clubs here for RB. You have a three so RB's got the nut flush draw. Yep, I agree. Yeah. Jeremy here is going to bet with just ten high. Are we gonna make the call? Two players now. RB now open ended. You can see that uh ninety seven percent to win. But look at this Jeremy here just firing at it twice. Arby can't fold this. No. All he's got to do is fold to lose this game. But what if he calls here and misses, though? Will Jeremy have the heart to put in the, th the third barrel? That's yeah. the only way he's going to lose. I mean, he, he looks like he's thinking about even raising here. Yeah, he's going to raise yeah, it up. Yeah, going to save him. Yeah. Save him from maybe folding. Yeah, right? save him from missing and folding. Yeah. Yeah. One of the things that hasn't really made it over to California, and it's not, you can't really do it on a live stream anyways, but in Texas, where I'm from, they do, all the bomb pots are split pots. And usually what it is, is they run two boards. So if you can picture a hold'em bomb pot where you get two boards and you play it out and then the pot's split between the two best winners, that's a lot better than a wow. single board. That's so that's interesting. Yeah. And they also do double board PLO bomb pots. That's a wow. huge thing. That, so. that makes a little more sense. I gotta be honest with you, I, it doesn't matter, but I just, I don't like bomb pots. Yeah. I just don't like them. Single board, it's, Single board PLO bomb pots are the dumbest thing in, in the world. If yeah. you single board hold them, I could take it or leave it. You, you find players either totally underplaying bomb pots or totally overplaying them. Yeah, There's exactly. no middle ground for them. And then also yeah. the pot size, like you said, depending on how much is in the pot, yeah. it just gets great, a little bit wild. Jeremy here going to raise it up to 500. Krish going to call ace five of hearts. Oh, Armenian Mike, five six of spades, flops a flush draw. Mike gonna call. Jeremy's gonna check behind, and there's oh. the speed. Well, mm. Give him the right price. Can't beat a queen, can't beat spades. I guess you can beat King Jack or eight nine. He's gets gonna it. call. Yeah, he's gonna get the call. <laughs> Good. So if you have an ace ten there on the turn against Armenian Mike, because you played so much with Armenian Mike, right, on that turn, <laughs> do you bet yes. on the turn? You do. Yes. And then just take probably just check it back at the end. Check, at the end I check it back. Yeah. Unless I yeah, right, 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 right. A bit more. You, you don't give him the free card? No. 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 Because he's going to show himself. Even if you bet there, if he's got it, he's, he's going to raise might, you. He might flat you, but generally yeah. he's going to raise you Jeremy there. The right. And 85% uh, uh. and of the time, 90% of the time he has it. Or, you know, once in a while he has a queen and you just check back and you lose. Exactly. But you, don't give him the, yeah. you don't give him a free card. Yeah. That's what's so hard because when you're watching, there's so many things you should and shouldn't do, but what a lot of people watching don't understand is there's so much of that. There's so much history. By the way, I just so Garrett threw that king eight of hearts here, and he had ace queen. Oh wow! Just in the mock. Just in the mock. Straight yeah. in the mock. No cold four. That's what I'm saying. It's staying away from each other a little bit. Not yeah. that that's not the right or wrong move, but I just noticed it. An open, a three bet. Andy just quickly mucks the ace queen off. Too That's much it. good equity around the table. And how about trip jacks here for Gall? Garrett doesn't really have anything, but. 
we no, saw continue for sure. Yeah, we saw Gall fought bottom set against Aces about an hour ago against Garrett. Garrett make a sick check back with Aces at the end. Just a check call here. Okay. Not sure if Garrett's going to be putting in any more money here. He has no. the check. Oh, Rivers and Ace. Mm -hmm. Garrett now still has showdown value though with King High, so even if it got checked him, you might check back. But 5, and now Gall is going to bet 5,300 here. And I think what could be curious for Garrett is why is Gall betting this Ace? Does he have busted diamonds? Yeah. Because he wouldn't just bet a Queen. He does have that I'm going to let it go look on his face. I know it. Yeah. I mean, if the river was a deuce, I think this would be a pretty much easier fold, but he's still going to get rid of it here on the ace. You know, Gall's just finding himself very often a heads up with Garrett out of position, too, which is not a great place to be. Thank you guys again for joining us in the live chat. I see 41, 4,150 people in here, and we've got at least Ooh. another... Probably two and a half hours, maybe even more. We got a big, big stack coming in the game here soon. Another player playing 5,100, but mostly 5,102. And uh, this game's going to get kicked up yeah, here. They're trying to get his cash bricks through customs right now, but he'll be here shortly. Yeah. <laughs> I'm interested to see what, uh, what Andy and Garrett do, depending on what he buys in for. Of course, they're just going to cover. Oh, you mean if they're going to add on, for sure? For sure. Yeah. I mean, Garrett will always cover. Matter of fact, there's a couple times here where Garrett had less than Andy, which I've never seen ever. Garrett had less than somebody the first, the second the week, too, and I, I don't remember. Was it M&M? &M? I don't remember what it was. Well, but they can't anything? <laughs> yeah, I rarely see, very rarely see that. Yeah. Got protection against golf. But here's the thing for Garrett, like to look, look at strategy. Garrett doesn't need. To, it's actually at Garrett's disadvantage to cover Andy. Andy's to his immediate left. Yeah. Right. Right. Now you got the rest of the table. It's nice soft money. True. So why does he have to cover Andy if he can cover the rest of the table? Great point. You know. Now Andy can cover everyone because he's got position on Garrett. Three ways lumped around. Does George call here with the seven? Yes, he does. Yep. Have a seven. Hey, it's getting, getting this again, huh? Let me see. Yeah. That's the What's the most amount that you've ever had him play in a game, in a cash uh, game? A hundred and maybe 30 or 40 when I played the million dollar cash game. You had to buy in for a hundred oh, okay. and then I won, so yeah, yeah. somewhere in there, 150. Jared, was your raise and the bluff? Say again? That big raise, was it a bluff? Uh, I'll find out. Yeah. Uh, maybe like I tell you at the end each time. Yeah, or something. yeah, yeah. Uh, Chris yeah. is trying to poke. I, I'll, I'll I think the what bigger thing him? is like he I don't want to hey, just like, tell all these. Uh, he doesn't want to say it next players. to us. And yeah. Garrett will never yeah. tell him, correct? Yeah. Well, and again, they don't have but, uh, their phones. It's not like, like others. Oh, yeah, when you leave, you, you can just ask me, and I'll always tell you. Yeah. I can't tell him. He doesn't want to. I gotta figure out some way to meet him. Yeah. He he was listening. The first, uh, 10 minutes. So you know that at least that's in Chris's head a little bit, of course. right? You had no I mean, Chris didn't snap fold either, and I don't think he was totally Hollywood. Not that he's going to put it in, but he right. knows right. that Garrett's capable of that, pressing him hard. But he might have the worst hand with Ace Queen. Like you said, Garrett could have a small pair, you know, and turn it into the a same bluff. thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the problem. Yeah. You call, and he's got you, he pipped you by, you know, with a pair of deuces. That's the worst feeling in the world oh, when, you, when, you, the when you call a bluff and yeah, someone's you've got it out hand. Lose. Yeah. Don't see a bluff. Jeremy going to win it there. See you. Uh, no. no, no, because I had a three. I want to see him. 
three. You like the pain. You like the pain. I don't like the pain. You know, I just the three because you know, I just call the stupid hand. I had a stupid hand with the three. You know. Why are you calling with a three? Why are you calling this time with a three? No, no. Let him call with three. Three is showing up. Let him see flops, guys. It's the favorite card. It's been showing up. Just one three. I like it. I, I don't know if this I, I was like before your time. Is, yeah, I don't know how long you've been playing as a regular in LA, but yeah, you won with pocket three. It used to be very convenient back in the day. This must have been Lebanese maybe way. even 15 years ago. <laughs> you don't understand it. You could take it's a the chips level. from the high level casinos. Yeah, 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 I know. Yes, oh, yeah, no, you, do, you remember that? Like for sure. Yeah, yeah. Deep, oh yeah, level, you could. Man. They were in play. They changed them. And how about the day when back at the day I played in commerce, we would have 100,000, 200,000, and just bricks. Right. Cash, right, right, right. Which yeah. they stopped, but, <laughs> but that became a problem because the counting of that every hand was just ridiculous. Gypsy oh, rolls, angles. gypsy rolls, too. Oh, yeah, right. filled with one. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. had to stop it. But it was fun seeing it. I actually definitely do not like to play with cash because of you can't tell how much someone has. Yeah, because there's too many angling and yeah, yeah. things to do. But it was, it was kind of fun to have it all on the table, seeing hundreds of thousands on the table for right, right, cash. Right. We're all over 30. Raised up here from uh, Jeremy, yeah, Queen Nine yeah. of Hearts. Always a good and he swapped the flush draw. Now, Gal here, poker games top only. pair in a gutter to a four. What? We're all 35 at least. I'm 34. Oh, uh, whatever. Close enough. I'm 24, man. <laughs> I don't think Gal's going to go anywhere. He's going to call a 6 3 off. 800 here Take from Jeremy. Yeah. You couldn't blow him out of this hand with a cannon. Now he's raising you. He's going to raise it. This time he waited until the flop. Quick call here by Jeremy. What's that? Wow, look at this with one card. It's 50 50. Isn't that something? Jeremy picks up a gutter to a seven. He's got over cards, flush draw. Oh, he makes it. Yeah. Makes the flush draw. Yep. 50 50 with one card to come with a draw. <laughs> What do you think, Jeremy? 3,500? Yeah, I think something like that. What do you think? 4,000? Yeah. 4,000 here. Mm. I mean, if you're Gaul, I'd be thinking, what did Jeremy call my raise with here? What do I beat? Call with something. He's not calling me with the ace king of clubs, right? When I raise the flop and he calls, so. I think there's a 20% chance Gaul calls here. 20? Only 20? 30. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> it's called 35, but that's as far as I'm going. He's got a, he should fold this, but well, he's getting three to one, so yeah, he is. He only needs to be good 25 percent of the time. You're really skinny. Now you're good. Sometimes can tell by the look on their faces and their posture. Like I played with these guys so much, I'd be shocked if he called that. Yep. That's just, I'm telling you, it's crazy, but you just pick up on those things, you know. Yep. So, transplant, right? Yeah. They had a game at another casino in LA. That's how my grandpa passed away. It was really played really big when cash was allowed. Mexican yeah. poker. And what Mexican poker is, it's five-card stud. I mean, everyone knows how to play five-card yeah, stud, right. right? No limit five-card stud with a joker. Oh, wow. So there's one wild card, and you get to choose whether your next card was either down or up. And if you chose the next card down, you'd have to reveal one card. Right. And the game... You would see, it could be a million dollars on the table in cash. Oh, yeah. Back in the, yeah. The, well, no this limit is five no, card uh, stud. This is no needle to Francisco because you're Mexican, you? so someone might think that. But Francisco <laughs> uh, loves Mexican poker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah. plays anywhere he could go play. He yeah. games, yeah. casinos, anywhere he loves yeah. it. Yeah. Roll your own with a joker, no limit five card stud. Yeah. I don't look at That's what it was. How old is Andy? <laughs> Andy's in your age too, right? 30? I don't know. Flush draw a pair here for Gaul. I know. <laughs> Pretty good flop. I, don't tell me, Andy. We want to guess your age. I have no idea how yeah, old you yeah, are. Don't say I anything. honestly have you no clue. You want to bet 100? You want to bet 100? No, no, don't tell us. Don't tell us. I have no clue. Let's you bet 100. No, clue, right? no, I have no clue. Okay. Wow. Andy, I know, give or take a year. I'm not going to say know, it. Andy's age is hard, I think. I know. I know. You, can, you can get uh, figure out how but, old age is. We know how old do we think Andy is? I have no I idea. I have a range. I'm going to <laughs> I think he's, I think he's actually 44. 44? <laughs> no. He has to he's be in his over 30s. 35, right? I mean, wait, wait. I, you guys would do the best. Oh, shit. No, now I'm filming. Oh, no. What did he say? I was. All right. I'm going to. 
you guys. No, do. I think he had a like, long session. Maybe last Chris night. can say it, I guess. He's Asian also, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. Of course like, I can. Yeah, yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what happened? You is, can't say it. You, no, you, fuck you, can't no. <laughs> you can't tell from the skin. You can't we can tell, tell, the ju- we can no tell Jewish right? jokes. But you can tell <laughs> based Chris? on how old the eyes look. Chris, what do you want to do? Uh, oh, um, what is it? <laughs> Uh, You're bucks. free, and that fifty dollars is your money. <laughs> I'm saying over thirty-seven. Hundred bucks. Okay, but how much older? Uh, by the way, I want to preface this by saying he does not look sorry, forty-four. I'm just saying. No, no, I get it. Guys who are Asian yeah, usually are way younger. Himself, okay? Yeah, and they look younger. Yeah, way look way younger than totally. they actually are. Uh, Who's your age? We're the exact same age, Andy. What's that? You're thirty-eight. I'm forty-six. Oh. oh. Right. I was. Wait, what? He's what 46. I'm like. Oh, is he joking? I'm like, those eyes aren't old enough. <laughs> is he screwing around or what? I, mean, I don't. I don't know. Look how to say he's a poker player. I don't know. You're you're he's he's like candy holder. Yeah. Uh, you look younger. We're about it now, but one day I'm gonna be 46. <laughs> 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 And you'll be in that same yeah. shoot. Joking, Andy. Probably. Probably. Yeah. I don't know. I'm the same I have no idea. Same, same hat. Yeah. He bluffed same me. Jokes. <laughs> Our Armenian again. Mike's going to bet out here with pocket Jets fours. You <laughs> and uh, Krish has the best of it here with 10 9. Oh, See, that's the man. thing. Chuck, you 2,500 well, pocket fours. Right? About, huh? You just don't like, know. Like guessing what everyone here will be doing in like 10 years. <laughs> Are you, are you 38 too? 35. Oh, duh. Oh. I think no matter what, we'll still reconvene here. Right? Yeah. <laughs> I would say probably everyone in this group will still play some poker, I would think. Oh, yeah. yeah. Once you start, you can't stop, yeah. right? It's like yeah. one of those. I'm giving this, like, maximum five years. You think so, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah right. I'll take the over for what a you billion. Gonna do? I'll take the over. I'm, I'm, I don't think I'm going to be in the U.S. after five years. Never play again? You'll still I'm play online. Yeah. I'll, I'll, come, still play, I'll come visit you. All right, let's do it. Yeah. I'm just taking the over that you'll play a hand of poker after five years. Oh, I'll still be playing, but I won't be like... <laughs> and I'll bet you like... I'll give a hundred to one or something. <laughs> yeah. 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 Chris is going to check it back. I know. For some reason, I, the reason why I said that was because I thought that Andy was, I remember thinking that Andy was older than me. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm 41. Got it. So. Uh, yeah, I don't have a clue. I don't know. Most likely. And I don't think we ever found out, did we? I don't think so. Where's the 20 card right now? There's one big card in the mic. Yeah, yeah. A crazy line. Armenian mic, 2500, and then just put on the brakes. No, but this yeah. whole thing is random, can, huh? um, Pocket fours. Based on how experienced the eyes look or how much uh, <laughs> age the eyes have, you can actually tell, apparently. There's a whole whole science right, around Chris, how people's how old is he? Uh, experience shows off in their eyes. Oh, Although you're a poker player, who <laughs> might be just staring at cards for like 10, 20 years. <laughs> Raise 500. I think that could have something to do with it. All right, here he has queens. What is he going to do? He raised? He raised. All right. Oh, there you go. That's the barometer. Queens and up. Was that right? right. I was thinking he was going to limp with a raise with some of these big hands, but straight raise. Yeah. Good read. So I mean, you limp unless you get to Queens, and then from there you raise. Is he getting called in two spots here? Like well, well, guess my age. Your age? I would... Okay, don't say it. Hold on. I'm not saying it for you. I, I know. Man. I don't want them to ask you the question. <laughs> guess my age. It's, it's, Hold on. <laughs> I don't want to offend anyone. Like, no, if no, I go, me. okay. No, you could, you could, I, I don't want to be off by like 10 years. You're like, what the fuck? 73 or something? You can guess by from 35 to 80. Armenian Mike's scared of the jack. By the way, there, there's a little Armenian negotiation no going on no. here, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it, or, oh, I thought that it was with, oh, my bad. Then maybe it doesn't apply. What's happening is, is Armenian Mike is a little bit scared of that board, and he okay. wanted to talk his way into the pot. Got it. We have, I have eyes. There you go. Got it. He just wanted to take it right there. I was thinking 40s. But it's RB. Who's the other RB? Yeah, and RB is A-R-B-I, RB. And the reason he goes by RB is because we've been a lot of online and we have an ARB on. Do you have a big, big hand? Everyone keeps fucking with each other about that. Uh, I have to raise who you know. Seat 8 okay. James. Yeah. Everyone keeps have like fucking eight with eight him too. And you can tell he doesn't like talking about his age that much. And everyone's like, how old are you, James? How long has your hair been white, James? I'm just like, leave this fucking guy alone. 
<laughs> we know C. Day James, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I wonder if C. Day James is going to make it over the to the stream at some know. point. We got a lot. We got, so we got a lot of characters in LA. Characters and a long line of people that want to play. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like. I mean, yeah. shit. I couldn't even get in my own. You're bad at this game. Oh, Garrett opens here. Andy three bets. Now this is a late versus late Nick, so it would surprise me if Garrett defends, but you know, East Jack might be a little bit too good to, to pull. Yeah. Yeah, he's gonna call. Wait, they're saying I'm fifty nine. Did you hear that? I did. Those dicks, I'm not fifty nine. Well Garrett's got the best of it here. With Ace Jack. Jack nine used a couple of hearts. Andy here. 10 to the 10 of hearts. Going to bet 1,700. I'm watching the hand, but listening to Jeremy say I look good for my age. So. In the background. Now, this gets checked back. And I see, and we see a blank. I want to be interested to see what Garrett does yeah. if he goes for value at the end. There's a number of different things that can happen here. Oh wow, he's going to lead out, which is interesting on this nine turn card. He actually check call leads in a through that pot when the middle card pairs. You'll see this in single raise pots from players from the big blind. Not the most common in a three bet pot, but. He does lead for 2,500 here. I think Andy will look him up one time. I mean, it's such a small bet. Wow, what a great pull. That is a uh, out of table time. Folds. I mean, again with that, he's got he has a heart in his hand, so less of a chance Garrett has a heart draw. He's got two tens, so less of a chance that Garrett has like a queen ten. They're king time ten, release so. and they last for like three to Maybe six months. Maybe that's a hand so to fold. My, yeah. my testosterone reading: the normal male like is between 300 and 1,000 as you're reading. Mine was an 80. Wow. So like I was way. Do you know low. why? You know why it was low? Do they know? Uh, Wait, no. So you were not getting any pee pee touches. He's Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> no, I had pee pee touches. So so I'm very. No no so this. so no I'm gonna. This. Yeah no so. I mean if it's low. Basically, basically, shot, no so yeah. so, yeah. so what happens when it's low though is you're like not That's motivated. That's 100k. You're not excited to do anything or whatever. So. I got it. No no I got it. And yeah it's changed my life. It made me want to work out. It made me want to go do things. It's okay, you should definitely how, look into it. What is it Jeremy now? talking it's about medicinal like, testosterone? It got up to like over like the maximum. Like uh, I was okay, like a so twelve hundred. Oh, so yeah. I, I was chasing my fiance right around the house. Like humping, like <laughs> <laughs> like, like well, waking no. up with a boner every day. So you're doing I felt like I was young again. Which one are you doing? Shots or replacement? I did the. You can do shots. I have a doctor. How much was it? How much did you say you get the model? No, I guess around there. But that's the shot. The pellets are once yeah, every three to six months. That's, that's why I like it. Andy Rivers a five here. here. Here's How the it, here's though? the dip. Is it therapy? Overall, a thousand bucks a time, oh, eight hundred bucks a time. Oh. Yeah. Have you gone? Like, do you know your like? Have you got no, readings? No, you need to test. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm going actually. So I think you're you spot on, already. Nick, in terms of Jeez, like with this like lineup right. and the seat position right. of, right. of Garrett and Andy. They're just like fixes everything. Makes there's so much softer so body. Jeremy, it's not Jeremy, how it's not that they're intentionally no, staying or away. Or it's just like no, if it's close, we're not going to get involved. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Right. A lot of other equity around the table that's just way. Yeah. Because coming off of it, they say it's like once you stop, you can't quit like cold turkey. You have to stay away from each other. And you usually don't get that type of a dynamic. Unless it's a straight game. I'm not game. saying it's even I'm intentional. Not, right, right, right. Instinctual. Yeah. It's, it's, once you, yeah, once you usually get don't get that type of a dynamic, you know, you know high stakes, don't win the game unless it's on a straight One thing that does affect really is having players, children, right? right. All because, around. like, you need to, when you're on it, your testosterone goes, like, your 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 swimmers don't go as well. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So it takes, like, nine months. No, it takes, like, nine months to rejuvenate. Really? Yeah, you Jeremy, know. talking about rejuvenating his sperm. Well, in Wait, pregnant. So you can't get anyone pregnant if you're on it? You might go get it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only reason. We should, we should have given that to Patrick <laughs> before you had 10 kids. Before you had 11 kids? <laughs> yeah. 11 kids. You had 10 kids. 10 kids. He's an actual stallion. Bro, honestly, he has 10 Patrick. kids. Patrick? 
His house? No, 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 no Patrick. Did. No. I'm like, what? No. <laughs> what do you think? You're just humping around. Yeah. And he's also you're 72 years old. Yeah. Yeah. No, 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 not the guy that works here. This, no, no, no. Uh, the yeah. Patrick that at the home game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He has nine kids from his wife. Who is the girlfriend from the Netherlands? No, no, you got the wrong catcher, Chris. No, no, yeah. oh, no, he was just in the Netherlands. Did he just come back from Holland? No, no, it's not him. No, 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 no. He, he plays, he plays Wait, here, but doesn't like. He doesn't play. It's not a big like, guy. Oh, talk about the really big guy. No, 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 no. Muscle. No, he was like he was with us that night. He was called by a couple of pairs. And how about top full house here for RB? Wow. Nine four four. He's loving kids though. RB getting quiet now that he realizes he's got the previous marriage. Yeah, Jeremy. I know. Yeah. Gonna put a little bet in, thinking he's got the best hand here. And I assume RB will slow play. And again, it's one of these things where it's a disaster if somehow a five rolls off for Jeremy. Yep. Bet in call. Wow, and Andy here. Andy, thinking of whoa, making a move. He here. is gonna check raise this, and we've wow. seen this a few times. He's gonna get rid of Jeremy. I I saw this from Versace Mark last week. Check raising as the preflop raiser on a board like this, kind of like representing like I'm going to build with like aces. Obviously, it's not going to work against RB. I don't know what Jeremy. I mean, get a guy behind him too, right? Yeah, I think he's just posturing. But Andy's repping like, hey, I got no repair here. And for RB, you're sitting there. It's got a flat here. Just flat, RB. No. You don't want to bet three bet, right? I mean, we can see the cards, but yeah, he oh, falls. Good, good, good. Yeah. Heads up. It's gotta be a scary. Yeah. It's gotta be a scary call though for Andy. I mean, you you yeah. almost think that RB has a four here a lot. Yeah, just yeah, to he, check he's, behind. He's sniffing it out. He yeah. Knows RB way plays. River's a king. I mean, I I might even go so far as to say is. If the river was an ace and a ten, an RB this is bet. Go 4,500 4, fold. Four thousand. Backdoor diamonds came in, but yeah. I mean, I've seen Andy sniff out a play like that where if the river was an ace or the river was a ten, an RB bet, he might fold. Yeah. He might actually fold. Yeah. Can I have change, please? Yeah. Good. That's actually a play that, man, I, I don't know if I have that one in my repertoire. I gotta start thinking about it. Uh, check raise after being the preflop raiser. Not necessarily the bluff, but like say you had like, you know, aces and you're against right. a guy like George right. and the one comes right. out like oh, nine deuce deuce and you think you get more money or something against the nine. Adding that, yeah, you know. Do me in. Yeah. Oh, Gull went and put on a lo his lucky shirt. He changed his shirt. He's big line. And Annie. Or was he always wearing that shirt? So yeah, someone yeah. again li in the live chat asked for uh, stats. We've been getting the cumulative winnings and the chip counts. But I do have the approximate V-pips at um, George, 47, Gall, 45, Andy, 32, Garrett, 30, Jeremy, 30, Chris, 29. I don't have Armenian Mike stats, but probably low 30s. Armenian yeah. Mike is playing, I would say, the stats at 33 slash 1. We saw him raise preflop one time. Yeah. So, with that queen queen hand. George limps in here with ace king. Oh, <laughs> so, uh, I call. That's right. Hmm? Uh, no. I hope as long as possible. I, and I, I was supposed to do my straddle. Oh, no, no, no. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, it's kind of weird. So Gary gets a free look and he has an ace. Now Andy also with a free look in a straddle, he has an ace. Remember George limped in with ace king. So he limped in with ace king. He has no club in his hand. Though. Andy with the club has the best hand right now, percentage wise. Well, it won't be heads up, I don't think, once Gary gets out of there. Well, oh, it's close. 52, 52, 48. Yeah, 600 to call. Mm -hmm. 
I'd love to see a value bet here by George. Ward is paired up 7x. Jack plays. He's got ace king. Now he's just going to check it back. And I mean, it, it could be a little bit of, you know, these guys like Andy and capable check raise bluff at you. That's what we're going to do. Yeah, <laughs> you know? those things, yeah. 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 No, no, it's no, hard to get value off uh, guys like Garrett or even Gall when he's in his mode or even Andy, a good player. Like, it's hard because sometimes you're put to the test uh, with, uh, yeah, with a hand that couple of thousand. you don't yeah. want to be put to the test too, but if I like you very much for but the good players will know. do it. Take the no, no, no. Um, like I, sorry, yeah, let me clarify. Uh -oh. I, oh, is this the guy? I do Looks know like who's coming, but I haven't ever met him. That's all I mean. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm not familiar with that guy if that was him. So. You, yeah, I do know who's coming. Well, I know if Little Poopy Pants is talking to him, that might be the guy who's showing up. Who's Little Poopy Pants? Yeah. Ryan Feldman? Okay. Ryan's Poopy Pants. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So this guy, <laughs> this guy's going to come into seat five and sit with 100K, I think. Cause well, that was what we heard. That yeah, he was going to buy in a minimum that, of 100. That's and the scouting that he was report. very spry. We'll see. I don't know him either. Obviously, if they added him to as a nine player, it's got to be something, something, they're saying something, someone something famous or something. Something yeah. worth it. I don't know if he's famous or not. Raised up here by Jeremy with ace 10. You didn't raise any raise that, can you? Hmm? He's not you didn't raise. I hope it's uh, not another billionaire. Well, yeah, like, you know, you only made a flat call. You only had a billionaire. Exact. guy is actually very tight, right? I had this thing. Yeah, Pinoy Papa no, Pizza says, nice oh, yeah, 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 for like Tucci like to be commentary. Yeah, 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 I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed the player insight. Put it down and fucking... Nice for you to be commentating. Oh, is that what I said? Yeah, yeah. I said nice thing. That's nice. Yeah, it's not this guy. It's rare. No money's gonna... But it's it's been good to get the uh, yeah. player insight, you know. The yep. Nothing better than table. I mean, I know you've logged thousands of hours with these yeah, guys. Yeah, these guys. Man, I really wish you had a poor that hand. You don't have anything on there. Yeah. Nine four four club. Mike's hand's not registering, right, right but and Andy, it's like yeah. he. Yeah. I really wish he had. Something. Yeah, I, I don't think he would around and press it down a little harder. It's just not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you didn't have. Anything. I don't know what. The typical Mike call grabbed a larger chip. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. 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 Jack ten for a gut shot. No one has anything here. Gal's got the yeah, betting lead. <laughs> If he has that at that point, then. Yeah. Well, we know that Mike's no, going to no piss off yet. here, right, with Jack 10 and Diamonds. Uh, I think he's going to tank fold. <laughs> really? With yeah. a gut shot? I mean, and well, it is shot? only 600 yeah. or 500, so he may, you're right. But generally speaking here, a lot of times, he will fold things like this. Looks like he's going to call it. Yeah. I mean, straight draw and a back throw Diamond. Golf. I was gonna. I was gonna say, is that a spot that you double barrel with golf just because Mike's so wide? <laughs> yeah. Uh, this is actually a chop here. Yeah. But I think Mike's gonna win. Of course. Yeah. That somehow got to show down. Mike gets a bluff through. That's not bad. You have Jack High, man. Good result. realizing he just he chopped. I'm looking forward to going out and playing uh, after the show. I mean, it's obviously not going to be this size, but I got into a really good 5, 10, 20 game nice. after the You're show gonna last week. You're going to get out the floor there? Yeah, because my flight doesn't leave till 8 in the morning. I don't get oh, a chance nice. to play a ton. And my, again, I'm about to have a baby, so. But I've been busy with a lot of other stuff. Do you know what it stuff. is, a boy or a girl? I do. Well, you have a name, too. You, you want to say? Or? Sure, Henry. Well, it's a girl then, yeah? Henry? It's <laughs> <laughs> a joke. <laughs> Uh, you're I've not, never heard yeah, that joke before. You're easy to bluff. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you go, Henry? Uh, yeah, well, congratulations. Thank you.
Now, Henry, a grandfather, a father, an uncle, where does it come from? Yeah, I think it's somewhere in, in our family. Well, yeah. my wife liked the name, and I was like, cool. It's cool. It's not a common name. I don't really no. like common names that much, so. That's awesome. George going to gonna raise it up here with aces. He's going to get some action here. 7 6 of hearts and 8 8. Three players. So, over pair yep. for RB, mm -hmm. top pair for Gall, and of course, aces here for George. So, we'll see some action. 4,000 in the pot. 2000. Dahl might as well just have the nuts here with top hair, as far as he is concerned. Harvey hates it, but he thinks he probably has to call. He doesn't want to. Harvey might fold here. Nope. Cool. So 10,000 here, pretty brick turn. Yeah. Now, if George puts a pretty big bet in, will Gall fold with RB behind? Because I think that's what we're going to see here. Yeah. Even Gall might fold back. Yeah. Yeah. 7,000. Oh, yeah. There's 7,000. He's going to fold. Unless, well, I mean, unless he puts him on Ace King, right? Well, he still has RB behind him. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem. Didn't pick up any equity, any extra equity. And I guess he lets it go. Remember, George had raised out of a small blind, too. We've been seeing George like yeah, with Ace King and stuff from up front, so. Georgie. <laughs> Come on, RB. Fold it and go get an Armenian I got like sub sandwich or something. 16,000. Um, these are the hands George can get paid on because of his uh, perception, you show your bluff, right? I can have anything here. We you show your bluff? Zero, I'm in on the face and put me all in. Can't call it zero. Fuck. Nice one. Great choice. Good seven. That's uh, George is going to show him, I think, because he likes big bluff. hands and he likes I to show him. I was show uh, eight, 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 eight. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, you got a collapse. I should have raised the bluff. No, no, no. Oh, it's a really big bluff. Really good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, that's, that's another thing that I noticed, Nick, in big games. And it doesn't you got bother 10? me. You got a 10? But if you play no, no. in a 5-5 game or a 5-10 game, like Last George showed our media mic. Oh, everyone, all hell will break The table's like, shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. Come on, guys. Take a look here at the chip count. As Andy covering the table, 120,000. Gear it up. Almost 42. Oh, man. Chris down now, 41. Gal creeping back. Remember, he was down 61,000 at one time. So. He got it down to like 20, 22,000 yeah. at one point. Yep. <laughs> well, you had. I should have just folded the flop. <laughs> you had an over that, that would have been oh, you, had, you, had an over, you had an over pair? On the flop, I did. Yeah, people go nuts oh, at the flow to mid stage yeah. when show one, show one. Yeah. Oh, sorry, I thought that was Jeremy's. I, I, I also feel very strongly about if I call yeah, someone yeah, yeah. and they say good call, I'll just, just turn my hand over. I don't wait for that them to turn their That's just good etiquette, man. No, a lot of players, still some players that won't do that. and That's rampant at the low to mid stage. A lot of times you'll see players like myself and other players when they do that. Do you want to see my hand? Right, right. You yeah. want to see it? It's like yeah. sending the message like, the it's not good etiquette, but yes, you deserve the earliest, to see it. I think 8.30. He was saying maybe extra, but at the earliest. Garrett will do that often when he says you're good, and then someone waits. He goes, Ugh. you want to see my hand? It's ridiculous. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's ridiculous. ridiculous. Chris is going to raise it up here to 500. George calls. Gall's in there yeah, getting a price in the straddle. How long you have to hold on yeah. to it for? Chris has got top pair, and I mean, if we know George, I think the Ace of Hearts is going to be enough for him to call here. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. How long can you hold on, do you think? Yeah. Well, yeah, he's going to rush after the Ace of Hearts. Okay, collection is going to be from seat 9, call 7. He looks European. Yeah, well, here's this guy coming in. He doesn't count, he just joins. 
<laughs> that would be a warm welcome. <laughs> Hello. George turns a wheel draw now. Yeah. So he picks up some no, equity. Maybe he's going to represent front door hearts. He should snap lead. Chris going to bet 17. And if I had George's hand and I was thinking about calling it, I'm definitely going to bluff hearts. Once in a while, you hit an ace and it's good too. There was a guy on the TV named Ollie a minute ago. Was that you? It was like a poker tournament or something? That's not good. He's sticky. The top of the It was anywhere, but. This what you get, bro, for saying hi. I know. <laughs> Look at me, bro. Bro. Well, there's the heart, on, Nick. What's up? Yeah. Like there's bluff. the heart. I mean, if you get card, if you get here, oh, there's the bluff card. Yeah. <laughs> I got get steps. here. I got, of, I got a lot of small. You gotta go for it, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. I assume Chris is gonna check here. Well, wow. Let's see what kind of sizing he uses. Oh, it's a block uh, sizing. Blocker, yeah. Oh, that's gonna induce, right? I, I mean, think so. If George was paying attention. Today, I was just going to go do some big raids. Okay. I'm visiting from Boston. Nice. How much you got? I know you got. You covered me a lot. Yeah. What? How was the boat? That's, That's really the right good. question. Really nice. Water was a little cold, but yeah, everything else is good. From Boston, Boston to the Atlantic Ocean. Make huh? it seven thousand, yeah, maybe. Exactly. I know cold water. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Thank you. I spent a lot of time in the Boston George has got the right idea. He's got 10,000. Uh, I was thinking seven. Yeah, I no, he's got the right idea. He's going to go okay. but we to like 11. Yeah, we would do trips to Boston all the time. Yeah, it's a, it's a fun city. You're going to do it. Yeah. Make it hard. There's certain cool stuff about it, but... And this is I don't know. <laughs> much different than here. The problem so with I like the block bet is you get induced. You induce. Yeah. Whoa, and look at this. Yeah, well, Chris is going to put out a time chip yeah. here. You know what I think this is coming down to? I think Chris is frustrated, and he's tired of being pushed around. He could very well make this call. good food in Boston? There is. It's just like the... I used to live in Chicago, too, and like that's a big food city. I put it at a pick -em on this one, 50-50. Okay. Was it a time bank? He's really thinking what's about the, what's it. What's the normal 30 seconds? What I would be thinking about if I'd seen a lot of hands right. that George shown down is how wide he's been calling on the flop. Like, like he doesn't have to have, to have a flush here. He can have jack 10. He can like have queen jack. jack. He's just. Just hold on. Stay strong. And that's a really big raise. I mean, that's over the size of the pot, too. Why I was thinking he would be going to go seven thousand. Here, call. I knew it. Chris calls. I, nice call. Wow. There you got high. caught. Ace high, and that's not a slow roll. I told you he was not having it. He was tired of it. He's frustrated. Yep. Good call, Chris. I don't know if he. You know, sometimes you bet to induce the raise. I don't know if he was expecting to no. get raised. No. It felt like a blocker. I don't think it was induced for that. Probably but at the same time, two things. He makes a 10,000. Hold on. No, no, no. Obviously, it looks bluffy, but sometimes we make it look bluffy so we get paid, right? Ollie. 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 There it is, 100K. Ollie. This guy looks like. He looks like the guy that he's the, the basketball player that played on. He looks like another poker player, and maybe Ryan Feldman is going to know. Who doesn't do it? Me and George. Why not? You don't like action? Depends. George, if, if Garrett hadn't bluffed me off of the other hand, I would have probably not. For some reason, the name right you hear it? Did he bluff you? Huh? How do you know I bluffed I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm convinced you did. He convinced no, Garrett bluffed him in that because he's clean more I think hand, about it, why would you put so much money in? It makes no sense. Time, even though he's not he wants to make it look like a bluff. You're, you're spot on, Nick. Uh, uh, he doesn't think I'm that smart. There's no way he thinks I think that level. I mean, you're, yeah, you're, Chris you knows. He got, he got blessed. Right. 17 seconds, George. Yeah. This guy, Ollie, looks like a no, no, poker sorry. player. Uh, I, I, I think the guy's name is Reynolds. Yeah, yeah. And the king comes on the but I can, maybe some of the live chat can help things. me out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you yeah. made that great like three. If you player. called me correctly with ace queen there, I, Young guy I, might leave. <laughs> I wouldn't, but like that would be one of the <laughs> sickest fucking hands I've ever played. So if you called me with ace queen That was a hero call. That would have been sick. Yeah. I would have got locked the doors. Oh my god. These Dude, are the I things. I called my ace queen. Man. <laughs> I'm gonna let this ah, William Reynolds. There we go. Thank you. 
Thank you, Ricardo. William Reynolds, that's what I was thinking about. Gall's gonna raise it up here to a thousand. These are the things that players like George and every player today oh. have to think about when you make a move like that is what has Chris been going through the whole night? What happened to him earlier? Mm -hmm. And what is he thinking because of what happened to him earlier? So you might want to pull the bluff back, you right? You might have to pull the buff bluff back on him because he's a wounded animal right now. Squeezing you know, and he's just had enough. Squeezing the clock. Should I wait for the <laughs> countdown? Oh, I'll just call. <laughs> wow, it's suddenly warm in here. Four players. So Could four ways. 4,100. Check. Uh, the and two people here right? with top top yeah, pair here, Gal and Armenian Mike. RB here, RB here with a gutter too. Gal's gonna bet two thousand. Obviously, Armenian Mike is not gonna go anywhere. I don't think for one bet. No phones at the table, huh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. It's cheating. <laughs> it's the it's the fossil rule. Indeed. <laughs> By the way, if one of you sat there the entire time of playing with your head down in your clock, I <laughs> look at you like, what is going on? Oh, and you Man, played terribly, you. and you made the perfect decision <laughs> and everything. <laughs> 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 the that fact is, that, like, I it took that long. It. 18 like, months, it's insane. It's like not one person who played or watched the show. Like, <laughs> Very amazing. Oh. Yeah. That's actually a bad card for Gaul as right? he turns yeah. top two. Really yeah. yeah. Legally, I guess he, yeah, he got but out. But I doubt he's ever going to get in a poker game ever. Again. I think this yeah. is a show here for Mike. I think yeah. Yeah. he's going to check back, right? The tank check. Yeah. He had to pay all the lawyer fees. Who's Every the once in a while, though, he loses his mind and uh, and will do something crazy and shove. But generally speaking, this is a tank check. Yeah. 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 But it was a live stream that had like 20 viewers. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. Gaul's going to put in the 5K bet. This was, this were they in on it too? Uh, it was just so it happened a couple years ago. Probably no one except me. Oh, one, one other guy. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. One other guy. By the way, East 10 would have made a straight, right? RB yielded yeah. on the floor. Yeah. Yep. Call goes 4,000 and gets called. Yeah, wow. Yep, RB says I had ace 10. My favorite thing is when he, he basically black calls the yeah. tough flush because there's a straight flush. Oh, yeah, the kink? Uh, someone has a straight flush, he black calls. Oh, that, that's no a good way. Right there. So, it looked like Andy introduced himself to this guy, Ali, so Andy doesn't know Ali. Now, I heard Garrett in the background saying that he knew that Ali was coming. Registered you and I have never seen him. No, but yeah, but so because no info. into reading I have zero cards, info on him it only shows two cards, he and he just flips out. And he's out. generally yeah, he's fun for a game. That's all I know, but that's hearsay to me. Is that from Little Poopy? That's from Poopy Pants. Oh, Poopy Pants, sorry. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what he does. Garrett is welcoming him to the table, but Garrett is always interviewing, too. So as Garrett is asking him a million questions, he's trying to taking his temperature. Yeah. He's trying to gain some I think so. Yeah. Politely what time is this game? Is meeting him. Um, the stream usually goes to like 30 or so. Garrett to 12, the Andy three bets. And again, this is probably not a hand that Garrett's going to defend. It's probably not even close. King 10 off. And a quick fold. By the way, on last week's show, as much shit as I give to Art, because I've played with Art since he came out from 5-5. Well, he was playing 5-5 when I was playing 5-10. Yeah. He did not play like 15% deep. It. He played like no, 28, he, 29. He, was, he played was, way up there. He was great. He was yeah. great for the show. He was talking and, yeah, and, yeah. and engaging. I think uh, he realizes to get seats, uh -huh. he's got to he's got to loosen you know, it up a little. He's got to loosen up he, at least even in personality. Yeah, yeah. He's got a great personality, but he's just so focused. Generally, he doesn't say much. You know? But he he was yucking it up with George and everyone. So yeah, he he Sorry, was good happening. And uh, he ran amazing, but he did play a ton of hands. Four way action here. Oh, wait. 
mixtures with mine. He has Are three these yours? To start with. You have three to start with? Yeah, you have three. You have three. You have three. Okay, so those are yours. So George here, Queen 10 with the 10 of spades. Was that? So I figured there was. I couldn't And Ali is going to come out and bet this. with a nine, which is actually good right now. And he's next to act with sevens with the seven of spades, but some people behind him, I <laughs> don't think you're going to pry his hand out of George's spot, right? He makes no. the call. He's not going anywhere. Yeah. Well, and George runs into a pair at the end. Queen. Queen's good. So the first hand we see Ollie plays nine deuce, but he he did get a free look. Yeah. And again, I'm expecting this game to get kicked up very, very quickly here. From this game what is going to double shortly here, so yeah. stay tuned as we approach 4,300. I told you, Nick, I wanted to see 5,000. I, I want to we're see at, five. There's no at, reason we shouldn't have a lineup like this. Let's go, cool, guys. Brother. Smash that like button, subscribe, and let's get going here. We've just begun. Sorry, he already acted. You're folding anyway. Okay. Well, let's see how aggressive Ollie plays. He's got yep, yeah. suited Broadway, going to three bet it. Yeah. I mean, to 2000. George <laughs> definitely going to come in here. He's got Anybody the ace jack. This is the card we had on him, so let's see. Yep. What if it's 10-7 suited? And Ollie out flops George. Okay. He decides to check top pair. Interesting. What about 10-8 suited? Yeah, 10-8, I will call him. I think he will play. 1,000. Now he's going to bet very small on a king turn. George going to call here with the gutter. George does not have a spade in his hand. I'm so used to George hitting his hand on the river, I'm shocked it wasn't a queen. I'm still good. <laughs> Wait a minute, did, did Ollie just muck the best Wait, hand? Wait, what? Did Ollie just muck the best hand? Good call, Georgie. Oh, wow. Blind, wow. And Fel yeah. Felton's telling me that wow. Ollie confirmed that the cards are... Uh, Felton's just telling me in my ear that yeah, in a few yeah, I mean, hands, I got Ollie's going to confirm <laughs> that he just mucked the best hand. That's 100% correct. The beast. The beast is getting killed today. So right off the bat, Nick, we'll wow. add some spice. New guy. Yep. On the end. That's yep. Giving away 3,200 free money. <laughs> maybe the money maybe it's uh, for sure. Maybe it's an advertisement. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I don't think so, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> you're so good, man. Yeah, you're just, you're just down all of it. That's so that handy, that time. <laughs> And he was just getting wrong. So usually what will end up like happening is in a couple of hands we'll hear Ollie say, oh shit, to the table. And he's on fire. I think that I just was marked the best hand. <laughs> oh my god. Remember when that, on, he's on you at the table when that like guy, NBA when they jam. ran it twice with the combo drive? Oh yeah. Barry Woods, oh, yeah. right? GT or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't turn his hand yeah. up and he yeah. had the best hand. Yep. Yeah. What did you show? Ace high? Ace oh, let's listen. Ace Jack, was it you have a pair or not? No, I didn't have a pair. You didn't have a pair. Did you have a pair? I think I honestly fooled the winner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I actually did. Yeah. Really? Oh I thought God. you had. Yeah. You thought you saw. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I thought you had a pair. Yeah. Or something. Well, there it is. Yeah. Yep. No, what did you say? You had a, you had a king or something? Queen or something? He's Jack. He's Jack. That was the thing I'm looking for. Yeah, I think I fooled the winner. Yeah, pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, welcome to the game. One thousand. Whatever. Get it out of the way early. Yeah. It's your one mulligan. Paul. Your name is Ali? Yeah, Ali. What's your name? Yes, sir. George. George, nice to meet you, you man. Yeah. Well, he's handling it like a champ. It is what it is. Are you Lebanese or something? Huh? Are you from Lebanon? No, 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 no. I'm not from Lebanon. I'm Irish. You're Irish? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Close. So they give you that name, huh? What, Ali? Is that a Lebanese name? Well, it's a... Uh, 
as a Muslim name. Not A L I O L L I E. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, Ali. Yeah, yeah. Oh, go Ali. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people think though A L I. Yeah, damn, they don't know? see my face. Yeah. And they just hear it Ali. They think A L I. Yeah. By the way, well, we got some Jeremy, white people in the Middle East. You know? Yeah. <laughs> going for some thin value here on the river against Garrett with the ace jack. I already know that look on Garrett's face. He's folding. And he folds. By the way, if you're ever commentating, Nick, I'm showing you a little cheat because I wanted to see what happened on that turn. I couldn't tell if Jeremy oh, turned wow. back to turn. So you, Sorry, so you can just yeah. play, play what I'm doing right oh, now in the, in the booth. I'm just replaying because I want to yeah. see if Jeremy checked back to turn and he did. So, but Garrett folded anyways at the end. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. No, I don't want to play. Maybe I'll have days. Okay. Oh, I had asked yeah, Ryan yeah, yeah. Feldman about the creative decision well done, Mike. of not putting the well done. entire you action of the hand up in the graphics. Oh, yeah. you can you can like you'll see some other places, they have the entire action yes. of the hand. And I think that was just a creative decision. Yeah, we decision decided you guys not made. to take up all that doing right. that because it's right. so hard to follow, anyways. Right, right, it's right. It's confusing and uh, not used much. Yeah. Yeah. Except. For us. For the commentator yeah, that was looking down. For us, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but generally speaking, it just creates more uh, confusion. Oh, look at this. Andy's picked up kings wow. here. Wow. So a limp from Armenian Mike. Ollie going to ISO raise with king queen off to 800. And Andy going to three bet to 28. And these guys are deep. Right? 100,000 deep. I think the new guy in the button is going to look at it. Yeah, this is a defending hand, I think, from the button. I mean, yeah. it's one thing if you're opening under the gun. Although uh, Armenian Mike called in between. No, wait a minute. And he made it 9,500. Yeah, so Armenian Mike calls in between, which is going to induce a four bet. Wow. So where we would usually just see a call, because Armenian Mike calls the three bet cold, he limp called. Yeah. Now Ollie puts in the four bet because of that dead money. Yeah. So this changes things. Well, the card on the new guy has been right so far. And he's just going to call. And this is partly to do with Armenian Mike in the hand, is why we're getting this pot so big. Yeah. This might be a hand he might call. He's so short. What, what else is he going to do? He doesn't have any big chips, does he? Oh, he's got a chocolate. My bad. But I still think he's going to call. My bad. I should Call 9,500. Yes, he did. Sorry. So he put in half his stack. So I mean, Mike just put in half his stack, right? Yeah, he sure did. He just, yeah. He's got half his stack. Yeah. Uh, but the pot's 28,850. He either fold or shove. He has 62,50 left. Yeah, I don't. Whatever. Uh, maybe get lucky. If see Ace here, it would be so sick. Oh, Houston. Yeah. 10 deuce 3. All in. And Mike moves all I'm in. telling you, oh, this, this is the type of thing I'm telling shit. you, Bart. Crazy it's shit. It's just weird, like weird timing. And now Ollie okay. just gets out of there. I mean, Andy's going to win, right? Oh it's nice, God. but what, what could have been? <laughs> I think they're going to run it twice. They can run it a million times. Andy's got a club. Wow, Andy yeah, just capitalizing on the yeah. perfect spot. That's, That's what I'm trying to tell you. There's just this... There's this one button that sometimes doesn't, you know, make a lot of sense. There it was. Yeah. But you know what I mean? Because Armenian Mike moves all in, Ollie, he, he, can't, he can't play the hand out anymore. No. Andy already called uh, before. Of course bet, not. So but it's just... He, that money should go in free. <laughs> it's crazy. Or fold. And, it, and if well, Mike, Gary, Mike had yeah. put the money in free, at least they would have played on the side. That's what I'm post, saying. Yeah, they would have a bigger pot on the side. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. The new guy has no choice but to get out of the way. What, up? what yeah. else is he going to do? Wow. What a game this is turning into. This is only going to go crazier and crazier. 9,500 with King Queen. 1,500. 1,500? Well, everything we heard about the new guy, Ollie, is coming to pass. He's well, here to bang. I mean, he had legit hands, but now well, obviously 1500, we see. 1,500, 6'3 diamonds yeah, on the cutoff. Now we obviously see that yeah. he doesn't have to have a legit no. hand with three bet. Can you steam it already? <laughs> I am. I'm always steaming. Stuck, <laughs> stuck for life. <laughs> Good answer. 
He's Irish. Exactly. Yeah. It's in his blood. <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> Looks like a young kid. Was this a, a Bitcoin kid? <laughs> premium. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I didn't like when the Seven of Diamonds was exposed. Uh, uh, that's true. What a great shot that is right there. You got the handheld. Yeah, it's the handheld. Is there just one yeah. handheld usually per show? Like yeah, one handheld. One, one handheld. Yeah. So when if we see that zoom in of uh, Garrett's chips, that's from the handheld too. Generally yeah. speaking, although our cameras have the ability to do that, mm -hmm. yeah, from anywhere. Let me know he's in. Two hundred straddle seat too. Looks like Gal's got a second bottle back there too going. Second bottle, 200 straddle. 700. And Ollie's coming in for 700, Jack oh, wow. Nine off. So yeah, this, this, is, is, uh, this is real. This is real, well, guys. Ollie did not draw a great table seat, a great seat. That is correct. He is in the worst position he could be in at this table, but yeah. doesn't look like it's going to bother him. Because with Garrett and Andy. Yeah. Even without okay. showing down the hands, wait a minute, this guy just raised five times in a row. Yeah. What is he doing? Yeah, we're going to see Check. some fireworks, Check. folks. Check. George here flops a flush Check. draw. Jeremy with a gutter, Broadway. Looks like Ollie has the best hand now with Jack Nine. Thirteen. Call 1300. <laughs> oh, Jeremy here. No back door. Looks like he is, though, going to make the call. Three players. Queen of clubs. Come on. King of clubs here yeah, okay. for George. Georgie Porgy. I don't think anyone's going to fall for this. So check through on the turn. And let's see how much George is going to bet here. Four thousand. Four. Did I say four, right? Four thousand. Yeah. Correct. I just think that this is a fairly impossible call to make with Jack-9 when George... It I've, is. I've, obviously, we can see the cards, but he's firing into two people. Yes, it is, but I'm not so sure this guy isn't crazy enough, and that's the truth. Well, it looks because like he's going to call. I told you, I could feel it. You quickly. could feel that he is going to call this hand. Call quickly. Wow. Yeah. Okay, I mean, it, it could have been a genius if George had had, like, clean 10. Wow. Everything... Is lining up to exactly like it was presented. This is crazy. Here we go. Chip count. Andy 146, Garrett 108. Ollie started with 100, now at 83. Gal 98. Did Armenian Mike rebuy, or is that not? I have not a feeling a... Ali will uh, yeah. take him yeah. all yeah, in one hand. Stacked. Yeah. No, I, I oh. thought maybe he left. It's coming. Oh he no, he, he's, still he's, still there. he's still there. Okay. There's the camel. I had a weekend uh, last time. Yeah. Once again, there is a 200 straddle. No, not yet. <laughs> the thing about, you know, people could say, well, you know, guys like Armenian Mike, like, it's just going to limp in. It's not necessarily adding anything to the game. Where, where it actually will add to the game is exactly <clears throat> that situation. That's yeah, it. if we see it again, where George and Armenian Mike are cool calling, limp cool calling three bets, and these guys put in the four oh, bet. Yeah. George here with top pair. Might as well be quad. Six. Six hundred. RB has a gutter to a six. Backdoor spades. Makes the call. Check. Check, now, check. Now picks up okay. a double gutter. The eight five. Fifteen hundred. Oh. Come on, Marby, he's going to look this up. Yeah. From what we've seen from George, I think he'll call with a nine, right? Uh, unless he's playing off the fact that Arby wouldn't bet if he didn't have it. 
Yeah. Which is a perception, but I think he, he's going to make this call. No, it, look, it looks like he might get a real, I don't know. He might give this one up. He doesn't look too determined on this one, Bart. Well, there you go. Yeah. RBS, make uh, it? too much of a... I always make it. No, no, I mean, I know you won. <laughs> <laughs> I always make it. Did you make your flush? Uh, no, I didn't have a flush. Yeah. But I had you beat. No, no I have a liar, nine. Liar, liar, no. It wouldn't feel right. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I could do it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'd fuck it. Right here, right here, right here. Right here. Right back there. Anybody else is drinking? You want? Yeah. You want? Alright, nobody, nobody want to drink? Nobody wants to drink? Yeah. I'll drink. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'll ask for another glass. Whatever you got, yeah. As long as somebody's drinking with me. Yeah, yeah, for sure. <laughs> I'm not going to let you drink alone, trust me. Once again, guys, there's a 200 straddle. Um, oh, George with the Ace King. Done a lot of limping with Ace King tonight. The 800? 800. Oh, Gal loves hands Where like in this. Boston you from? Right? You're in Boston. I grew up uh, in the suburbs. Call 800. So like 10 minutes outside Boston. It's a town called Newton. But, um, yeah. I used to date a girl from uh, in Lexington. Okay, yeah, right down the street. Yeah. 15 minutes away. I've only been there like once, though. It's not much to see there. It's historic if you want to into that type of stuff. But, like, I just love watching. Celtics like, game is fun to go to. Red Sox are fun to go to. But, like... I just love watching the Boston, like, South East, yeah, about, like, oh, fucking the great. town. 8, 900 here, 1,200, and the calls from Gal. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. I love it. 1,200? The town is a really exactly. underrated movie. They're both so good. Fucking yeah. Jeremy Rainier in that is fucking bad. Cool. I gotta get a life. It's definitely one of my favorite heist movies. Yeah. Okay. And for as bad as people think Ben Affleck is, check, check, actor, it is. Oh, he's made as good yeah. sometimes. Doesn't, doesn't bet it, though. He yeah. plays that role perfectly, obviously. It's like his real life. Good will, good will hunting. Huh? Running good. No, I'm actually down. But but I'm not not sure. Ali talking some shit about my hometown. He was saying, oh, Boston, it's a little bit historic, but there's not that much. If you like going to South, it's the Red Sox games. Come on, Ali. By the way, I'm from suburban Boston, too. He said he was from Newton. Isn't that town? Can we, can, can you get the cocktail girl? Cocktail girl. So I don't know if anybody on the yeah. East Coast knows this guy or what? I have Fox never Woods. seen, heard, or knew oh, of him until o today. Encore, actually, I don't think they've opened the Encore. So you know that there's a win in Boston. Yeah. But they, I don't think they reopened so, yeah, it, though, the, the poker. There's a lot of poker in New Hampshire, too. Raise 2000 Oh, how about Pocket Kings here there for Jeremy? Go, Jeremy. Yep. See what Ollie has and what he wants to do. I don't know. I just thought oh, he's okay. Not enough. Uh, I don't know. I lied twice and both times Jeremy just has a hand. First one had seven two suited, now K six. Stop getting out of line against me, Andrew. <laughs> I'm always have hands, though. I just get bored. I just raise, and then you just have a hand every time. I'm in the one time that I actually have the group to do. Yeah, you're interested in it? Cool. It's easy. Yeah. 200 straddle. Oh, Alexa. Alexa, you want to get it? Take seven deuce, spices it up a little bit, you know? Well, RB with I Ace Jack here on the button. Is he going <laughs> to raise these guys? Yep. Throw like you. 800. Madness. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, Ollie's got tens. Yeah. Well, this is going to get interesting. I mean, if his rep reputation precedes him, yeah. I'd imagine he, he goes at least 4,000 here. Paul. Wow, he just flaps. Calls? Wow. <laughs> limp, 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 raise button. Uh, I would have, I would have bet serious money he was going to three bet there, Me but too. just a call. It's a good hand to call for Jeremy. So here we go, four ways. Sure. Jeremy flops top pair. Ollie's got the over pair with tens. Hmm. 
And RB is uh, firing out here oh. for a big bet with just this Ace is, Jack. This is where. Tens just calls. Jeremy's gonna overcall. Where I, I think I fold there seven six. I mean he doesn't have. Jack. Jack. I mean he's turned open ended now, but he didn't have a club when it this goes is back gonna call. Check through. Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Jack. Harvey saved by the bell. Yep. Jack on the river. One liner out here to a three. Wow. Five ten. One second. Actions right here. Oh, an all E. That's all right. Arby is not going to take advantage of that because he's such a good guy. Uh, I have what I have. But Ali uh, is adjusting to stream play. That's interesting. So his second mistake. We've seen Ali fold the best hand and then call it his hand premature. And now reveals what he has before the uh, betting was complete. You know, and Arby heard him, but Arby's a class act. I'm just telling you. Unless he thought it was an angle, but I don't think so. Well, the pro. I did a I did a video with this vlogger Lexo. I don't know if you're into these vloggers, but he had something similar happen too. Here's the thing: even if it's not an angle, and the guy's yeah, doing it by you. accident. If yeah, you have a hand you. that thank you, thank you were gonna value bet anyways, okay. yeah, I almost feel like I have to. But I mean, well, I'm gonna play it the way that I'm gonna play it, just because the guy made a mistake well, he was and told me checking. Barbie. Oh, okay, okay, that's right. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. I mean, and and right. It, even if he decided to bet, that's still Ali's responsibility. So right, it's right. not that it's wrong. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. There was a one liner out there to a three yeah. or two. Yeah. Which one is the good one? Two thousand. The one that you Jeremy like here gonna raise it up to six hundred. I don't know. And golf, three bets, five, six of diamonds. Uh, yeah, golf loves hands like these. This, uh, this is better? This is the one you've been drinking. If you wanna try this, this is this is uh, like, like that one. Yeah? Okay. Yeah. Call three betting and then going to the booze. Um, well, ask for let's the see if Jeremy, room. is it is he going to put in a four bet here? Looks like he is. He's, he's reaching. Let's see what kind of size he's going he's gonna to use. So 5,600. So Most just players would get frustrated here, but Gall likes the action and likes big pots, and he likes hands like this. So he may fold, but these are all these are also I, times where he likes putting in the money. I don't know if he's going to fold again in this Yeah, price. but I'm saying he loves putting say, in the money in hands like this. I was going to say, if Jeremy was going to four bet, I, I would have actually made it larger. Right. Uh, but against I, Jeremy's perception, Gall knows he's way behind. He's just looking to to crush this flop. Oh, he's flop bottom pair. Yeah. Great shot there. There's the can held. Jack, six, eight, one diamond. This is going to get really interesting with stacked pot ratio here. Yeah. Because now we're going to see it's going to be about 20,000. So Jeremy just has less than a pot size bet left. Break turn. Jeremy's going to have to push this in. Or he may give up, but Dahl's not going anywhere. I mean, you could play a two street game if you went 5,000 call. Yeah. It's, you, it's a little bit too large. If you bet 5,000 call. Too small call, for golf. Yeah. Well, he's all in now. Yeah, see, that's the Whoa. right play. Good job, Jeremy. It's the fold. Good too. job, Jeremy. Jeremy had no choice there. He, he played he had it like to do what he had to do. Played it like he had aces and kings. He played it perfectly. Used that image and. Yep, used his image. It's probably going to do that maybe one time a stream, right? I don't think For sure, it. that's not that's you're not going to see that often. Right? Yeah, but that was the right spot against the right guy at the right time. Mm -hmm. And see, Gall is convinced by his image that he had mm -hmm. kings. How'd you feel? A pair. Well, feeling good about yourself, Jeremy. You had a pair. Good hand. Good job, buddy. Props to Jay Books. Raise 200. Oh, it's not a anymore? It's not to his oh, okay. That's why I called him. Oh. Can we get one more glass? 800. Just a glass, empty glass. Well, Garrett's going into some three betting chips here. 4,200. 
It said there was no oh. straddle. It said, they said it wasn't a straddle. Okay, it said that right? George yeah. raised, min raised to 200, three bet to Krish with tens. So Garrett is four betting to 4,200, I believe. Bart, I'm going to be quiet on this one, but all I'm going to tell you is that last yeah. hand is going to be ahead of Krish when he got bluffed. Whatever happens here. That's in play. I already got it. I already paid for it. How much? us, man. Tough flop for Chris. So, Garrett. 5,000. The pre flop four better. That's 5,000 bases. I should bait him, man. 4,000 a pop. I'm a casa staff. I don't want a casa. I just tried to imagine that was. <laughs> Don't imagine that. Ten seconds. Call 5,000. Always gonna call. Yeah. Turn here oh, is a five. Uh, which is interesting because if Garrett ever made it sort of look like he was giving up. Uh, I got some buddies. Obviously, it's easy. You can so see the cards. There's about two pot size bets left. Yeah, I'm not sure. I need uh, I do crypt that stuff, mostly. Yeah. 10 seconds, check. And he does check here, Nick, so. Yeah. I was wondering if he yeah, might make it look like he's got his king, yeah, but check, check. Yeah, like Rivers is seven, and now this is where it gets yeah, fun. Because Garrett has so many different options for value bet size. Could he put Krish all in? Could he bet half the size of the pot? I think, I think he's going to go for a, uh, look, a well, pot. I thought he was going to go for about a pot or a little less than pot size, and I just have a feeling Chris might make the call on this one. I don't know. Nope. It looks larger. It's larger. 40000 He's yep. basically putting them all in. He's putting them all in. So he checks the turn, and he bets 40000 He's putting there. him in the same position last time when he was bluffing. Ugh. This is a six spot for Chris. Six spot. But I don't think that Chris knows that Garrett bluffed him, though, right? Uh, he's pretty convinced he did. Garrett never could. Uh, Garrett kind of confirmed it in a weird way. They were had some banter. Adding one minute. And uh, Garrett did say, "Wow, if you'd have made that call with a screen, that would have been sick." Call. And he calls. I told you, I knew it. Oh my God. He calls. Oh. Ninety-nine. Gosh, 000. he folds with the best, and he calls with. Oh my gosh, Garrett, 000. the meta game is so sick. And you called it, Nick, right in the beginning. That it that, was in play, man. That bluff, that, that ace queen. That was in his head. It was in play. Yep. And he checks Thank the you. turn. That's why George got called uh, on the bluff, and yep. that's why he called there, man. It's yep. he, call, he checks the turn. So sick, and Garrett knows it. Garrett knows it. And I, and I was wondering what kind of sizing he was oh going to use gosh. at the end, and he basically chose all in. He or did. He double, pushed them all in and put them in pot. the same position. Yep. Wow. Are we, okay? Are we okay to just uh, keep the straddle? What's that? Keeping the straddle? Yeah. Collecting hands. Wow! Take a look here. We're playing some poker count. here, boys and girls. Yep, take a look Good at the chip Mike. count here. Garrett wow. doesn't bluff. Never. Wow. Garrett up 88,000. Andy up 65. Chris down 77. Say, Gal 34,000 down, right, trying to make a comeback in the rest of the field. Yeah. Well, you see it there. You check the turn. Yeah. It's like, wow. You want to look your weak. Yeah. Uh, one more 100, George. Turn one. Yeah. Great. 500. Man, Chris is steaming. Me. Oh, thank you so much. Really cold one. Doll stuck thirty-five thousand and just wants to talk about wine and uh, champagne. You gotta love the guy. No, I just want to buy care with Thank you. 1200. Thank you so much. Awesome. 1200 here. Yeah. 
Now I will tell you this, Bart, not that it's going to happen because I don't know, but when Armenia might get stuck a, a buy-in or two, okay. you might see some different things out of him, different than what you did see. He, he, he does, he has, he can start to push hands differently than he, than he has been, so we'll, it's going to be remain to be seen. By the way, George just cavalierly floated the flop with Queen Ten on King Five Deuce. If you see this, and, and hit the ten, and he made it, yeah, yeah, and, I, and his value I, betting it, now. It's kind of not phasing oh, me anymore, so I didn't even <laughs> care to mention it. <laughs> value betting like a four, value betting a four or a five. No, well, it's, it, it's even worse than that. I mean, it's a better. I'll say you're valuing a four or five. It's even worse. No, he had nothing on the flop. Oh wow, Gal God. looked him up with a side. <laughs> Sorry, man. I had a few. <laughs> well, two, excuse me. <laughs> yep. I mean, I would be... I wish I had a lot of money like Gary, and I would play it bigger. I, I, I'd be even more frustrated <laughs> by him having a 10. He had nothing on the flop. He pulled with nothing. It works for him a, on a lot of occasions. Believe me, I've been so frustrated in the game with George lately. Because of this, it's hard to yeah, figure out. But he's such a sweetie level. pie, you just <laughs> gotta pat him on the back. Well, good read. You know, you, yeah. didn't, you didn't put me on king. That's a good read. I had a feeling you were calling me with. I'm trying to hit. Oh my god. Good. good read. The mini needle. Pocket yeah. juices here for yeah, Chris. So he's re bought. I just need a pair. Yeah, yeah. By the way, and the looks like we're gonna see Ollie here with a, with a call. We don't see what he has right. yet. Ooh, how about seven deuce? Yeah. We're not playing the seven he deuce. He might game. think we are, I don't know. Garrett gonna squeeze King Eight of Clubs here. Well, he's in with Christian and Ollie right now. Jay Boogs waking up Ugh. with the bullets. So this is a cold four bet. Now, you know, what kind of sizing does he want to use? Because it's going to look super strong. Different yeah. from before, where I would have used larger sizing against golf. I think he's going to make it like 6,500. He's only 36 k Only because I think he just wants yeah. to take down the pot. Maybe maybe 5 to 55. He also could be a little bit intimidated by Garrett in position, like probably we all are, it's right? Of course, it's yeah. a factor. Yeah, yeah. It's a factor, but he also knows if he doesn't make it enough, he's going to get looked up. Yep, here we go. What, way more than I thought. Is that eight, ten thousand? Twelve thousand. Oh, wow. Twelve. Man. Yeah, he That's doesn't want any crazy. part of a flop. That's just crazy. Why didn't he just shove all in then? I I don't know. Thinking again? More than I thought. I thought it was gonna be about six, Didn't seven thousand. You hear 000. George? I don't bluff, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? Pull, oh, man. That's the flop. Yeah. So it's, uh, oh, God. <laughs> I think I might win. <laughs> I don't think you haven't yeah. bluffed against Queen me. Queen 10 off or what? Thank you, man. <laughs> you haven't bluffed against me. Maybe one time. Ever? No, no, no. I mean today, oh. this session. Maybe once. I don't. I honestly don't. Yeah, remember. yeah. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll Are you see on? Later. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, good one. Yeah. Definitely a shot of Ryan a Feldman the in the background there. And I just I made you. top pair. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So how can I, you know? You haven't bluffed. I don't yeah. think you bluffed. Garrett, were you calling any I, raise or no? Any raise, yeah. 13,000 I called, but we yeah. made it 12. Six. Like if I make it smaller, you By the way, I think it, you hear that? Closer. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> he says if I make it six, Garrett's going to call. Yeah. I'm just telling you, he didn't want no part of the taking the heat on the, on the flop. But go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Cut you off. No, no. I mean, you're, you've been spot on the whole night. I was just going to say, it has to be mentioned too that you see Garrett check these turns where other people won't check when he knows he basically has the best hand but then he makes up for the value of no bet on the turn by over betting the room and he's paid I know it, it's, I know I mean he's asking you yeah I would never do that because you don't a lot of people don't have over betting Bart I've been facing this for the last four years they don't it's, yeah it's amazing a lot of people don't have over betting in their repertoire exactly you know? and with him it means both well, Gall here, top and bottom. Queen three. You haven't cut my mic. Jeremy with a nine. <laughs> and uh, Jeremy's going to call here. Wow. God, it makes Jeremy's hand look so much stronger right now. Gall now has a full house. Three, three 
stronger in the sense that there's less queens, right, that Gaul yeah. has, but if Gaul was raising with a queen, he's obviously going to continue. I actually see a lot of live players overfold in this spot when they don't consider the combinations. They're yeah. like, oh, I'll just give it to the guy. Yeah. Queen three. Wow, he called he his, calls hand, his hand, hand out. out. Yeah, Remember the called his hand out. Wow, and then Gull says you're folding a nine. No, yeah. no, no, like in the garden. Some table like time. Yeah. Yeah, it was Saya. And he won't show him to give him the satisfaction. You're right, Jeremy J. Boots. I don't remember the first time. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah. Well, it was only one time. Okay. okay. Was it was a good turn for you to continue. Yeah, yeah that was. No, no, that was when I was learning the game. No, no, really? That was turning. Really? Yeah. 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 It was like the first time. Crazy fools. Yeah, but my game got improved. This guy, Ali, has got no t shirt, just zipping down a little. Yeah, took his glasses off, zipping down the old shirt. You looks, the club, doesn't look a day old or 25, well, got the frost yeah, tips, yeah, yeah, yeah. and a whole bag of money. I don't know. Barely. Love this guy. Love this guy. We're going to make him part of the family. Are we still in? Uh, we're doing yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I, I knew you were going to bomb the river. Yeah, and he needs to take a nap. By the way, do we see what's going on there in the background there, Nick? Did you see that? No. Looks like Garrett is adding some chocolates <laughs> on yeah. um, to the table. Now, isn't he covering everyone as it is? I, it looked like he just put 50000 on from what I saw out of my kicks. eyes. Yeah. Raise it up here by I Andy. I wonder if uh, he recorded it. Two red tents. Going to get called here. Three spots. Okay, Chris added 50,000 on. Check, check. Now, Chris added 50 just now. Check. Not the best flop here for 10. Golf turns oh, sevens up. Look at that, 7 4 in the big blind. He's got 7 4 of hearts. Now, Andy checked back the oh, flop, and he's just uh, gonna, he's gonna call here the thousands. Oh, and Gall gets counterfeit. Wow. And Gall gets counterfeit here. And let's see if Andy's going to put a value bet in now that this king pairs he does. 3,300. So sick. Yep. We have like pains, jacks. We're blessed today. <laughs> These guys have a lot of table time. They can call each other's hands out. Yeah, and he's gonna take it down. Guys, if you're watching this, put this in the perspective. Chris added 50K. Garrett probably added 50 or 100. They're adding small single family homes in the Midwest, right here on the poker table. Sick, only in America. The blessed guy, Andy's blessed. Well, it looks like Ali needs has some jet lag. He's been yawning up a storm here. No, you know what? He's blessed. He's surrounded with by two angels, Garrett and George. That's why. Yeah, and believe it. We give him wings. RB's looking buff. So I am getting word here from the boss. I know you're one of the bosses, but the other boss. That's okay. He's telling me that we're going an extra hour, which means that we have two hours left. Nice. So we're seven How hours. How could we not? Seven hours. Look so at this game. Seven hours. We should go all night. Yeah. Cool. Are we going to raise it up here to 500? Sure. George going to make this call here with fives. And uh, so we're going to see it four ways once again. Ali here, top pair, King Tennis Bates. Fifteen hundred. And George here is going to bet fifteen hundred. Fifteen hundred after Ali was the race, so we saw Ali Call. check a weak top pair when he misread his hand, and here he's taken top pair and checked it. Oh, by the way, Gall also has top pair. Ali now turned to backdoor flush draw with his top pair. He is the preflop raiser.
And now we are going to see definitely a, I would say, a pretty unorthodox line here. So he's check called as the preflop raiser, check over called, and now he leads for almost pot on the turn. He's picked up the spades. Gall still has top pair with king eight in the small blind. So Ali check over calls as the preflop raiser now leads. George, of course, was bluffing. Seconds. Yeah. And Gall's going to make a good fold there. Gall is going to make a good fold there with top pair. What was it, George? Deuce. The only you thing that I, I will say here. What do we think about around a 400? Oh, here we go. <laughs> it's pretty fucking desperate. Right? Hard in. Oh, we uh, one, one round. We got one. And like Not I said, we are going for two extra hours here. Until the second, but one for now. <laughs> George, you don't need to put the 800 on. But... No, Andy is the 8. George is the 16. <laughs> you will? Yeah. Can you put the 16 Yeah, in? please. Yeah, I love that. I love that. <laughs> put it on, George. One time? No. One time? I did that last time. <laughs> next, maybe in the next one. All right, all right. <laughs> you know, it gets crazy. I remember yeah. the first one. And he's going to quit poker in five years. He's got to get all the action in now. He's done later this week. Yeah, you got five years to retire, man. Five years. Five years, you guys. For you guys retirement. To I have a million dollars at a million to one that he doesn't retire. Oh, well, and a billion. Why so much? Oh, there's a, there's a double straddle? Yeah, there's a double straddle. Oh, okay. yeah. no, no, it's a cold. No, um, it's a bit. I, I did, I did raise, raise it up here to yeah, a here thousand is. from Andy. Andy here with the flush draw. The nine five three board. Krish is a non-believer, check calls with deuces. You can see it's 50-50 here with one card to come. Krish can get counterfeit. Andy with two overs and a flush draw. And he's gonna take a card. That's the Caesar RB? The rivers and ace. And I assume Chris is gonna check here. Let's see if Andy bluffs at it. And there's the check. Told you it was good. No, it was very good. It's refreshing. And Andy does not bluff at it. And Chris somehow is gonna win that with Deuce Deuce. Again, we're going for about two more hours here tonight. 200 to me, yeah? Uh, one and one. Uh, one and one, yeah. Raise to a thousand. Uh, let's get two more bottles. Maybe. I'm in. What time is right now? 7.45. We got yeah, aces again like here. Armenian Mike this time with the aces. Well, <laughs> Obviously, Andy ball, is just man. going to I'll do just bottles. snap fold. By the way, Armenian Mike raised to 1,000 there pre-flop with aces. Nick and I are playing that game tonight. <laughs> I 
I saw, I saw, but how are you pulling it back? There he is. There's my man. No problem. Man. Thank you, George. For 100, we can. I can handle that. Can we, can we get a, the cocktail girl? Please, thank you. Uh, that's so cool. Your first mic. Four big chips, right, Jeremy? Yeah. Uh, rice. Rice, okay. Yeah. I was gonna play a thousand. All right. I'll get out of the way. Garrett here going to three bet to 5,000 here with the Jack Eated Diamond. It's just like Ali is yeah. going in for oh, some champagne shit. here. Oh, here we go. Good for you. Here we got some V pips. No, so 47, five. 46. Jack four five. Ali 36. Garrett 31. Andy 33. Jeremy 30. Right around what I was talking about before. Garrett covering the table here at 156. Yeah, yeah, Andy 144. Pretty good flop for Chris at 85,000 now, Nick, too. Yeah. Mike, you want to be in on the 400? You don't have to do 200. Maybe we get you on the 200 next time. Huh? Maybe we get you for the two at least. I don't think so. <laughs> At least you're helping manage my expectations. <laughs> One more. It's, it's starting. Yeah, Annie. No, I know, but I took a hundred for your Annie. That's all you put out. Cool. All right, check. check. Stop cheating all the time, Andy. Jeez. I kind of thought I put in two in there, but four players. All in cup. Yeah, Armenian Mike oh, wow. flops the goods. Okay. No one really has much, though. Check. 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 600. He's going to check the flop at 600, but you I don't think he's going to get any action here. No. Nobody got balls to call you. We are at almost 4,500. Yep. Just another 500 to go to hit 5,000. Let's go, guys. Smash that button. Subscribe. Let's get the word out. This game's getting kicked up, and we got uh, two hours to go. So we've been we're doing this for seven hours tonight, and it's gone by fast. I mean, we're five hours in. When you texted me when I was on the plane, and you told me you were going to do the commentary, and I was like, you know, don't feel obligated to. You can leave whenever you want, but oh, it looks absolutely. like you're having a good time. Though. No, I'm, I'm having a great time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> How am I doing for my first time, all right? Very, very good. Uh, been, uh, and I'm not just saying that. You've given some uh, really insightful, I think, player you know, knowledge, and you've been pretty spot on in these situations with you know some of these live intangibles, right, that we sometimes overlook. Uh, yeah. can, we get, can we get some more bottles on the head? Yeah, please. Nine four four here. Oh, fair enough. I mean, you know. Would you fuck her on the wall? She seems like a very, you know, eight hundred quiet girl that's not gonna give you a lot of Who are you problems. talking about? Yeah. You talking about a on the woman wall. in the pink? <laughs> I think that's a pretty good. You talking about a woman in the pink? <laughs> oh sure. Oh. <laughs> You probably won't end up on Maury with her, I bet. <laughs> what? Maury. Oh. You know what about Maury? Jerry? Jerry. Maury's like a talk show, and every episode oh, is like, are you the father? Oh, like seriously. I was on there once. They determined I wasn't the Were father. Were you really on Maury? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You had me, actually. I don't know why. Can you imagine? It's just such an absurd is thing. Is he the say. father? No. <laughs> yeah. I was like, yeah. I am not the father. <laughs> How many times you been on that <laughs> show, Golf? <laughs> 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 Golf's been on many times. Israeli man knocks up many women's. 
I love that they come on ready to fight. Yeah. Like yeah. they come on it's like. So rehearsed. Yeah, no, of course. So no rehearsed. Wasn't he? <laughs> Jerry Springer was like the a senator or like a governor or something. Yeah. He was a, uh, he was not a senator. He was a mayor. Mayor. Yeah. He was no, mayor no. of Cincinnati. Or something like that. Yeah. It's like him and Jesse the Body Ventura. Yeah. I think it was Arkansas, no? Well, Jesse the Body Ventura was governor. Of Raised Man. up here by Holly with the five, six off. Oh, sorry. Jesse Armenian was Mike. Mayor of some town. Gonna come in there. Ace <laughs> ten of diamonds. <laughs> And Jeremy here. There was Jerry, and there was the bodyguard Steve that they he, always he used to a single straddle, Steve, Gollum, and double straddle. Himself. As we're doing, Steve would always break up the fights. Four hundreds right now. Not like I've watched the show. And wow, someone just flopped nine eight yeah, here, bro. and it's, it's Gollum. A good show back yeah. in the day. Yeah. Gollum just Steve. smashes yeah. here. Get much, but well, if Ali somehow takes a card or yeah, there it is. Catches a seven. Looks like he's gonna bet. Just goes for it. Yeah. 2100. Yeah, those uh, DVDs that you could buy or video tapes you could buy. But back then, we didn't have free porn. That's the point. It was porn. Yeah, I know, that was it. Porn. porn came online, it really changed everything. Yeah. Free porn. I know that the founder of that company is literally like. The waiting tax tradition, he's, he lives in Mexico. And Gall's going to make a very small check raise here. Tiny check raise. And it doesn't look like Ollie's going anywhere, so if Ollie catches a seven, huge reverse applied odds. Well, how about four of a kind now? It's actually a really bad card for Gull. We're so lucky, man. We didn't grow up with that, you know? I mean, obviously it has its place, but it's not, man. It just imagine so myself hard being on like, camera like my whole life. No, it's just so hard to find a girl like this. You know, if you're up and he's checked it though, over to Ali, and Ali's gonna take the bait. So Gal check raises here like maybe he had some sort of draw, and now he checks the turn like he's giving up. But he is playing at KG and perfect in this spot here with quads. He makes the call, and boy, Ali's gotta think something's up now. Rivers is seven, it's inconsequential though. <laughs> Ali makes a straight, but there's three of a kind out there. One liner to a 10. I don't think it really matters that he made a straight here. Yep, and he's gonna go for the bluff here yeah. again. How much? Bluffing into quads, 11,000. 11, in the quads. Yep. Boy, Gal check raised flop and then check the turn, realized, hey, I'm gonna make it look like I was playing a draw and I was gonna give up and Ali took the bait like he's playing an overpair and wow. Gal sitting there with quads. That's it. Raise. There's the raise. So gross. 48,000. <laughs> Total? 48. 48 Bart. I mean, I assume he's just acting here. He's I mean, gotta be acting. He's not gonna pay this off, is he? Unless he doesn't see the three nines that are out on the board. Of course, seconds. gotta see him. He's right in front of him. Gonna throw in a time extension. Shit, I thought that was a chip. It scared me. Call. Oh! oh! What? Wow. What? Calls. He got Mark. goal even. 48. What is happening? Wow. That is one of the more unbelievable oh hands. Oh my god. Yep. <laughs> Need change, yeah. River to straight. That's gross. River to River straight. To straight. I will check back, too. Really? I was even thinking about. You know, Nick, when, you, when you're when you in that spot for Gall, you think the guy's got an overpair, so do you just rip it? Like, I thought maybe Gall actually went a little too small at the end. I, I just want to try to get max value from, like, aces. I don't care about his bluffs, you know what I mean, as we look yeah. at the cumulative winnings. And Gall now up positive. 19-6-5-0. I told you. I mean, not that we could have foresaw Unreal. this. Yeah. But okay. Gal is the type of player to go down 60, 70 and, and book a win. But that's. Uh, I'm just going to leave it there. Wow. Yeah, wow. I got nothing else.
sort of a really sixteen hundred Barbie, right? Yeah. Didn't want to be wrong. <laughs> okay, everyone. Yeah. Everyone says you're wrong anyway. Yeah. George here with Queens. Andy raises here to 1600, and George is flat called with Queens, and Armenian Mike has tens. Here we go again, Nick, with these big pair wow. flat calls. Yeah, and Armenian Mike's in no mood right now, meaning this is the type of area where he starts oh. to blast off. So, and then we got Ollie with Jack Nine calling. Yeah, we got a hand here. Oh, this is, uh, this is insanity. This is insanity. Yeah. How many points? One more. 116. Huh? Oh, yeah. There's the ace. Wow. So ace, jack, seven with a couple of diamonds here. So Andy. Andy gets the best of it. Has the best of it. But you can see a couple of jacks in there, queens, tens. What on earth is George and Armenian Mike doing? Flatting. <laughs> I mean, well, this is uh, the price you pay when when you play big hands like this. I don't know. Yeah, and it's just it, sometimes there's yeah, five players in this hand. Oh, okay. I thought he was thinking about it with with the jack. Yeah, Ali had limped in, by the way. Yeah, and Andy here is the preflop raiser. He's gonna bet. Yeah, Andy had raised up to 1,600. He's going to see that 2,500 here. <laughs> You're looking at George now, <laughs> and it's just like, oh. Well, I mean, George with a pair of queens, that's a big hand for him, even with an ace on the board. Oh, man, and he's going to call with a bunch of people left behind him here, too. I'm going to have to divorce Ryan. I, I can't believe I'm not in this game. Yeah. <laughs> And now Mike, I mean, Mike's got tens, but. Mike only has 8,000 here. It's 2,500 for him to call. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, hand like this, normally Mike tank folds pretty pretty regularly but he's stuck it's getting late and I've seen him do some really off-color stuff I still think it's a fold yeah it is there it is but I think he meant that a little more than usual wow. well Ollie's, Ollie's, not, Ollie's not gonna over call with just a jack and okay so here we go ace five against Queens and now Andy turns aces oh up my here gosh. check Andy He's got to protect the diamond draw, but man. Two pot size bets left. I think he's probably just trying to get as much money in here yeah. as possible. Yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> checking out his stack. Yeah. That's, yeah, P5. So he's going to go 9,600, yeah, which means. Great angle. Great camera work, guys. Yep. 96, which means that George calls. The pot will be like 33, and George will have like 14 left. So he's basically setting up a, a river shove on clean rivers here. Obviously, he doesn't know George has queens. It's borderline ridiculous. I got to think George is going to find the fold here. Yeah. This is just too much, even for George. Yeah, there you go. That's all I can say, Bart, it's just wow. And we're up to 4,600 now. With about an hour and a half or so left here in the show. I pulled it the queens. And again, we stream these live cash games every Monday through Friday. We usually go for five hours, six hours on Friday. Tonight we're going seven hours. And uh oh, look at this. I think this guy just put the 800 on here. So two, 51, two, four, eight. And I, he's not that deep though now. I think he only has like 20,000. I don't have the queen of diamonds. 
It's almost tur it, th this is like turning into a tournament with effective oh, stacks. If he has twenty thousand, just put the eight hundred on. Yeah, he's, he's like twenty five blocks effective. You know, like, <laughs> is there a king out there? There's no king. No. He must has. Probably and he's got king jack of clubs. He Two people have limped in. Wow. No, there was an ace. Ace. I, I, knew, I knew there was ace for king. Yeah, right? I didn't like the ace. Ace. Yeah. Can I come back? No, you have king. Right? And he's gonna raise. It's gonna make it 2,900. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Probably shouldn't get any action here at all. Yeah, he does not. I forgot. I forgot we have to use this. Yeah, that 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 five six call is one of the most amazing things I've seen on a on a live stream. There. You gotta wonder what's going through Garrett and Andy's head here. Well, I could probably tell you, but I'm not going to because, <laughs> because I'm just going to leave that up for everyone's imagination. I mean, they they can't believe they're in the positions they're in, in the positions they're in, in the game they're in right now because this game is playing insane, and uh, this is right where you want to be if you're a if you're a poker player. Great bunch of guys. Everyone's deep. Everyone has a lot of money. No one's getting hurt in life, and they're just having a ball. Garrett raises to 12 here. Call Armenian Mike. Why he's not shoving. I love him to shove that yeah, hand here. Yeah, this is a shove hand with yep. his stack, but... Uh, just going to call. It's just not, it's yeah. just not what he's going to do. 10-6 deuce Check. here. Check. Looks like Krish has the best of it in the first straddle with Jack-10. I don't think that we're going to really see a whole lot of CBAT bluffing from Andy and Garrett in the six people. They're just going to try to make hands, which is probably, 6, the, 6, probably the best approach. As George bets 6,000 here with a six of hearts. Now, Nick, does, is this what you're talking about? Like, could, could Mike just get it in here yeah. if he's in a mood? I, I'm not saying he's going to because there's yeah. a ton of tank folding. This is what he usually does. Probably will. But this is the type of hand where I've seen him take literally ace queen, so it's ironic, and just fire into three or four people um, with or, no equity. Well, he's gonna fold it. Yeah, he is. Yeah. But you know what I mean. That that's oh. the, that's the area I'm talking about. Chris here makes the call with top pair. I think Ali didn't know that it's his turn. Or I think yeah. Ali doesn't know it's his turn. I don't think so. There's been a couple of times he had no idea it was on him. Oh, there you go. Oh, he knows. Okay. Oh. Looks like he's got a little frustration brewing. Heads up. Thank you. Turn here is a seven and a check check. Some more bottles. Oh, thanks, man. Okay. Jeremy? There's no, there's no more. Chris is going to win it here. Yeah. It's just a little bit left. What do you got? 10. Number 10. What, Green came on the turn? <laughs> what did Ali buy, rebuy for? Did he get stacked? I all, all had him covered, yeah. Two thousand. Do we? I'm just to Ali. Yeah. Well, look at this. Garrett's got aces oh here again. Oh my gosh. 
Race to 600, George now. And how many times has George had queens here tonight? You know the crazy part is George only has 14K in front of yeah. him, which is rare. But I mean, he's, got, he's had queens like 10 times. That's unbelievable. Yeah, I got your annual. And Garrett has aces again. Oh my god. But this time George doesn't flat queens. Remember like last time. Three bets. <laughs> and I mean the pot here, it's not hard to get all the money in, this so money, see how Garrett's great. gonna do it. I can't see it not going all in. Yeah, fifty six hundred is snap one time. Yep. 5,600 all in. I'll do two boards. Whatever, if you yeah, want to. he's going to customer boards. service. Two boards. Yeah, because usually these guys don't, but I, I see that Andy and Garrett have started to actually smart run it. To do this. It, is, it is smart. We'll talk about that after this. So run it twice. Oh, oh, this is full. Oh, oh, God. Oh, he wasted the queen. Sorry. Save it to the next one. <laughs> That's crazy. That's so good. ridiculous. Yeah, waste this the queen. This is so sick. There it is. Wow. Gather around the stanchions and the red oh, rope, yeah. folks. You are witnessing the eighth wonder. Please do not touch and move along quietly. Chef runner. Wow. I don't know, man. I mean, I've been mean, everything you turn. But I was going to say, Nick. Yeah, I know I mean, that Garrett and Andy don't normally run it twice, especially Garrett. Yeah. But yeah. I think that that is a very, very wise choice in a game like this because you are giving the opportunity for some of these other players to at least win That's right. some of the pot. The EV does not change. As I told everyone in the beginning, I actually have a video coming out on my YouTube channel tomorrow on Crush Live Poker YouTube that explains it all. And I don't <laughs> normally run it more than once, unless for some reason I don't have extra money around, and if I go broke, I have to leave a good game. But in this case, I would as well. I think they're yeah. making very good yeah. choices. Yeah, and over time, I've come to want to run it once, too, as a poker player, but being the host of this and with the players, I go twice now as well. Yep. Because even though you have no obligation to go twice, you can upset a player by going once. And you just don't want to do that. And it's the right thing to do in this landscape. You were hoping you have at least maybe ace king. Yeah. But wow. That's still wow to me. That's all. Wow, wow, wow. my hope as well. Gal again with the queen three. Second time tonight. Queen deuce earlier. He won a huge pot and filled up. And, uh,. It's worked for him, so he's going with a race. Garrett gonna check call here. Yeah. Against Gall. Okay. Check, check. Rivers is nine. You win. Garrett's gonna go for a little bit of value there, but uh, obviously Gall's just gonna just gonna give it up. One of these things too. I mean, again, obviously running it more than once. As we take a look at the cumulative winnings here, so Garrett's up a hundred and nine thousand. You know what? You know what they, you know what they call this hen. I'll lead down a quick 72,000. A quick 72,000. And Gall, he's had a flip of, what, 80,000? He's stuck 60, right? I mentioned it early. Yep. We'll see him. He'd probably book a win here or get even. Or lose 200,000. It means like a lot of things. Like I've, I've heard people translate it as like cocksucker. No, no, Charmota is a whore. Yeah. Charmota. Alright guys, this is collection. And this is the collection pot. Mm -hmm. Three, 14. And Ali here is going to raise it up. 
to 14. You had asked me about Ali Yubai. I don't think so. He just he's in No, you're right. I, I thought yeah. he got stacked. Uh, he didn't win the cover, so he's yeah. probably still got it. Yeah. The 20 or 30 in front of me. Mike, you got to give Lloyd credit, huh? She takes that shit in stride. She doesn't get mad. She laughs about it. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Can I have 200? Yeah. Oh, it's me, of course. Wow, Andy has turned to set here. I win. It's a small blind raise into straddle, so Andy has position and they got folded to Ali. Ali just doesn't want to. Like, she doesn't get mad at you or, like, she just laughs about it. I think Andy flats here. What do you think? Well, I think he, yeah, went check, check on flop. So, I mean, there is another club. I mean, obviously, you don't want another club to roll off, but looks like Andy is going to call. Yeah, that's the right What about this? You can see Ali is uh, drawn dead here. Rivers of Jack. I have this weird hunch that Ali is going to put in uh, a decent sized bet. Well, if he's gonna get, oh, he's no, I'm just going to check. I was going to say, if that were to happen, it would be interesting to see what Andy would do yeah. if he would raise all in yeah. with the way the hand went down, but obviously we're not going to see that. <clears throat> Andy's going to win it. Yeah, Ali's getting a taste of L.A. poker. Just trying to figure if they were all close. Okay. Wow. I can't believe some things here. Wow. Unbelievable. I'm Bart Hansen here with Nick Fertucci, co-creator, co-owner of Hustler Casino Live. We're going to be going for another hour and a half or so here tonight. And right now we're playing 51 to 4, sometimes 8. Several players have over 100,000 on the table, so... We probably have, what, four or 500,000 total, I would say, in play. Yeah, oh, yeah. This is real money, folks. This is not a tournament. If you're new to poker, this is a cash game. You can come and go whenever you want. Not so much in a live stream. I mean, I mean, you could, but you might not be invited back. But in general, in a cash game, you know, you just there's no escalating blinds. 800. It's one long session, Nick. This is one long <laughs> session. Yep. Raise twenty three hundred. We see some crazy stuff here tonight. Look like George. What are those twenty fives or are those chocolates? Did he reload for forty thousand or are those twenty five? Those are chocolates on the side next to that graphic. I know that. Yeah, yeah that's what it looks uh, like. I don't know if that's his reload, but if it is, it's yeah. it's forty thousand. Okay, 9, Wow, look at this. Well, these two here are going to battle it out. We're finally going to see it because Garrett opened out of the small blind. Andy 3-bet, and Garrett is 4-bet bluffing. But I think Andy's going to take a flop here in position with 10 of hearts. Blind versus blind. And you can see the size that Garrett used, that larger sizing to incentivize. No, Andy doesn't get involved. Yeah, he doesn't get involved. I, I just... Again, if you've been with us the whole night, I point out you can see that Garrett used that larger sizing. Come on, buddy. <laughs> whereas Jeremy didn't too, use that larger yeah. sizing yeah, against the doll five six of diamonds hand. He had the ace king, even though he ended up blocking yeah. through. And I, was like, I think I'd use the larger sizing. But, oh, look at who that is. Josh Macchiello. That's Josh. Josh Macchiello. Holy smokes! I wasn't expecting him. He was uh, supposed to play tonight and thought he got wow. called out to go to Vegas for something. Maybe he just got back. I really don't know. No, he's still playing. He's still playing. Yeah. Four hundred straddle. Ali here. That's a pocket queens. Open limp from Krish. We, we have seen so much it's a big race. open limping here. Well, speaking of 5X, right over the top of an open limp. And oh, we got Garrett. Garrett's going to love to see what he has. Flat. That's interesting off these stack sizes. Call, if flat's from the button. That's don't really, know what he has yet. Really yeah, interesting off these stack sizes. Right. I wonder if he's got a suited Broadway. He does. He I was does. You're right. He's yeah. got a hand that maybe he wouldn't want to get in all in, but he wants to play yeah, it. It's going to yeah. play nice on it, the button. It makes it call. a lot of sense oh. off these stack sizes. I was thinking maybe like a queen jack, but yeah, he's got a king queen. Yeah, and obviously he doesn't know his, the queens yeah. are dead, but in this position it's, it's yeah. Let me see what you got there, buddy. My bad, my bad. And again, Chris has got 94,000 here. If we saw diamonds, we could see a huge uh, thing. Oh, I thought for a second yeah, there. Yeah, me too. Seven, deuce, three. 
Rainbow. So Chris Schlupp's bottom pair, Ollie here with the over pair. And Garrett can't call with Christian there behind him, and I, I don't, I don't think. And this is just, but seeing the stacks here, I mean, uh, seat eight stepping away from the table. With, with Chris behind him, it makes no sense, but he's going to get away from this. He is, just, he's smart enough. He's just making but, up every right. And, and again, though, I will point out that like he three bets king queen suited there, almost a hundred percent, but he recognizes the stack sizes and the, and the mega straddle. That's right. Because he would have got himself committed. I think so. I'm all in. All in. And Chris is going to check yeah. jam with ace, deuce, and diamonds. One time. And one time, one time. Queens versus ace, deuce. Wasn't expecting that. that Turns a seven one it's time. Over. Rivers and ace. Oh! Ace. Rivers and ace. Rivers and ace. Oh my. Unbelievable. And he's out of there. Is that it? I think that's it for me. Second Whoa, round TK. knockout, TKO. Wow. What was that? Less than an hour. That maybe was maybe less than an hour. Maybe third round knockout. A hundred K bullet. Oh. That was a bad beat. Jeez. But that was about it. Oh my gosh. Some kind of bad reads. Holy crap. Yeah, I I thought I thought it was. Welcome to the jungle. Sometimes bad reads pay off. After all that happened, they just have queens. No, the only sickest part was the Man, what a game to break my commentating hymen. Oh my god. He called you with a straight, that's sick. Wow. Like you said, you're doing really... It took me... I, I told you off mute, but people can hear it. It took me years when I was first doing the other show. When you get super excited, the natural yes. reaction yeah. is to... I know, they're probably it's a, dying because I'm screaming No, it's all ears, good. But I just, all, that's so real. Yeah, it's all good. It's all, Sorry, it's just, guys. It's just I'm, a technique I, that honestly, you know, I comes yeah, with I got to work on it because uh, I am like yeah, of course. Yeah, super yeah, so blown thought, away that I'm screaming and I got to stop. So it's all apologies good. to the chat, well, no, to the ears, and to your families. I used to scream into the mic for the first two years I was doing live programs. You know what I remember? And I remember the most is when I turned a full house with Jax and you go, it's a nine. It's a nine. It's my favorite hand of all time. <laughs> the passion. <laughs> more champagne, too, coming, by the way. What's that? I said more champagne coming, too. Yeah, yeah, of course. He's up 20,000 being stuck 60. No, no, no. I don't you better drink some champagne. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's a fair question to confirm. Thank you for confirming. They were just discussing how they were in awe of the three nights and the boy who called them straight. Which... That's how, like, sure I was he had nothing. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm, I'm like, the dude has Never. to be good here. Yeah. You only have one? Okay, no problem. No problem. Ooh, okay. Sorry. Do you want me to pay right now? So you Armenian Mike quietly has no top two character. Exactly. Yeah. Pretty. Oh, yeah, you too. Pleasure, Harvey, finally. Do, do honor of a lot of run good today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, how do I say that? Is that Beyond Wonderland last week? Oh, week. man. How do, is one of those hot things? Like, no, it pops yeah, up? Uh, Andy here. Oh, yeah, like yeah, yeah, outside. Oh, that's yeah. Cool. Has raised. Go on the open-ended draw. Okay, thank you. Uh, this is, um, yeah, it looks like Mike has just called. And very strange. Now Mike puts it on. Now Mike puts it all in at the end. <laughs> bet, bet turn, call raise, call, and uh, all in here. Um, yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> Yes, that's what they Man, Garrett, the last couple of Fridays have been carnage Fridays. Yes, so dude. much blood. Yeah. I mean, there's been some massive yeah. pots, dude. I believe this is, this I don't know, I just, Yeah, I think so. Sure. Not like your normal 5100. Yeah. Yeah. We got to get a uh, isolation of that sound bite there when we do the highlight reel, Ryan, of what Jeremy and Garrett just said. Um, carnage. Yeah. The last the Friday's have been carnage. So don't fold his hand. Uh, Chris, you're first out. Oh, I'm first out. Oh, wait, wait, he's here. Wow. Yeah. We're good. Yeah. Okay. He's folding. Yeah, yeah. we're good. Is Josh playing? 
Yeah, looks like Josh is in the well, game here. He's going to got some chips coming, huh? Seems like a good play. Not a, not a bad start. There you go. I mean, I think I think Ollie was down a hundred thousand. Actually, we said ninety-seven. Well, he bought in a hundred. He right. felt it. So uh, right. it's yeah. 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 That's very excited. When, like when somebody gets stacked or something, I come in after that. It's like because I. I'm you feel like all the bit all the like already. Oh, like, oh, oh, all the bad guys. Well, let's let's put that to the test today. Oh my God, it's gross. Are we racist? What happened to the guy? Pocket threes here. Oh my God. Raise it up, Josh. These chips are so slippery. Oh my God. Jared, I just think chips are going to be so lucky. So, first hand here, right off the bat. Please, I'm not hot for you. Okay. 1500? It's a good one. It's a good one. Three times I, I had what am I gonna queens do? and I lost okay. it. Yeah. 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 Josh is going to win the first hand here. I had the queens with you over there. Yeah, that's good. You know what, it's just perfect. Yeah. 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 So Ryan just told me in my ear is kind of something interesting. Right, chips, so we, we know that... Uh, <laughs> The new player, Ollie, you know, he's he's stuck 100,000, but because of that, because of the fact that he misread his hand that first time, we sort of had to manually adjust the way the computer system works. The pot would get shipped to him. Yeah, because he really won the hand, oh, right? But, but the pot got shipped the other way because he yeah, folded. He it. So that's that's why we had to sort of manually go in, and that's why it says minus ninety-seven instead of hundred. It's kind of interesting. Andy here with pocket threes. What's up, Andy? And RB picks up pocket kings. That a boy, RB. Let's go. RB picks up pocket kings. Twenty six. He's gonna make it twenty six here. How much are you uh, it's about 12, 12 more, I think. It was 17, I think. The taster on Madison with the stack there, huh? Sorry. You don't know what he got. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> Twenty six hundred. Waiting five years for me to do that, huh? <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know how much he has. All <laughs> full. <laughs> and Jeremy not going to get involved Jeremy's here with the four six of clubs. To, you're thinking of pushing, huh? I want to see clubs. No. I know. Oh, it always ace comes. Always ace. We've seen those cumulative yeah, win yeah. stats come up real quick. I, I don't really, exactly I know where man. Jeremy is. And well, well, why don't I go to the replay? I always keep saying that yeah. because, because you have the opportunity, uh, you can always go back. And I'm doing that manually right Jeremy now. Jeremy up eleven thousand. Eleven thousand. Yeah. RB. Uh, up twenty five fifty. Armenian Mike down twenty one thousand. Chris down forty. George down fifty five because he lost that. Yeah. His uh, run good came to an end. I mean, a lot of the stuff he was doing was working. Josh Macchiello, president of Global Ascension Studios. Okay, so two for now, and in 15 minutes, they're going to reset everyone. Oh, how lovely. Is this stream over? Forever. Forever. No, it's no. never finished. Forever. 400? <laughs> and so, uh, Gal gets one. Again, we'll if you like what you're seeing, ready. hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, yeah. turn notifications yeah. on so you can get the cash, yeah. get notifications yeah. every yeah. single yeah. time. Now you brought it back, on. you want to double it. And Ryan has actually told me that we're actually going to be doing some bigger games, I think, pretty much constantly, actually. As now Jeremy picks up aces. I know we've been doing some 5 5 10, but he said you know, the demand is there to actually do uh, larger games on a more constant basis. So Jeremy in the cutoff here with ace ace. And what ended up happening here? Oh, he's gonna three bet and he's gonna take it down. Played him bad, bro. You need to learn from me. Three bet and take it down. I know. You need the other guy to have queens. Oh, here. So that's why I keep going back and forth. Yeah, uh, Bart, to your point, we will be running uh, some bigger games during the week. There's just too much demand. Right? Too many people want to play, and so we're gonna be seeing Tuesday through Friday. We might see a couple anti games during the week. That fun Tuesday anti. Yeah, right? Wednesday yeah. is going to be a bigger game. Friday is going to remain a monster. 
And uh, nothing but high stakes poker over here at uh, Hustler Casino Live. You can count on it. Yeah, and he said he might be swapping out some, or sort of alternating PLO on Mondays versus regular That's right. element. You might see that on Monday, and then Tuesday through Friday we're going we're gonna to see some big games. Yeah. I mean, let's let's uh, this anti game. If we run that twice a week, this, this is a fifty one or a, a fifty one hundred game. Yeah. I mean, the game's playing so so ridiculously big. We're seeing yeah. from thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollar pops on the reg. For sure. Um, is it my turn? No, not yet. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, let's go. Right, hold on. Me and Gary will straighten that out. Okay, I'll check. So three way action. Twelve and whatever way you want. Checked around. Looks like this one's on it. Two hundred. Wow, what a flop I, here for Krish with the I ace five of clubs. Jeremy with fours over here. He's gonna bet. He's got a gutter. And Krish here is gonna raise to eight hundred. And Jeremy's going to take off this here to the small check race. Already, just meet the guy I'm trying to fuck him out of 100. Unbelievable. Andy, you don't want to drink more? <laughs> Bart, here's the reality of tonight. We're basically playing 51 2 with a 100 ante with 400 and 800 straddles. And, uh, trying to stay sober? And there's been times tonight where we've had seven, eight hundred thousand dollars on the table. This has just been insane. Chris, Guys, Sorry. And Chris gonna go for some oh, value yeah. here. Wow, Jeremy calls down. Wow, I guess he must have thought yeah. Nice he busted club draw. A little, a little surprising, but yeah, it's been it's been unbelievable. It's been unbelievable. It's been unbelievable. Guys, if you like what you're seeing, smash that like button, subscribe, tell a friend, send out a flare, whatever you gotta do. This is this is poker at its best. This is LA's premier poker show and uh, becoming the number one poker show in the industry, so I have people ask me if I'm ever going to be able to play in the game, and I spoke to Ryan, and I said, <laughs> I know the demand is so high. I love commentating. Obviously, I would love to be able to play right. in a game that he could get me into. <laughs> so, Bart, I'm not <laughs> even bullshitting you when I tell you I'm having a tough time getting a seat. I'm fighting for it. Every time I play, I'm like, no, I'm playing. It's like we got waiting lists so long, it's crazy. Everyone wants to be here, and I don't blame them. Raise 3,000. Jeremy here going to make it 800. Gal, three bets to 3,000. Sitting on 135, by the way. Yeah. 135,000 now. Look at you guys. Crazy. Last night they're trying to get me drunk. Look at you guys. No, no. Do you want this 7,000 straddle? Like, you're going to get through. Be pretty strong to buy in 12 straddle seven. You want that? You got it, Gary. Come on. No, no, no. <laughs> By the way, if you do want to check out <laughs> Come a Better No Limit the hand, I'll feel cash game player, you can that. check out my trading I'm site, crushlivepoker.com. Sometimes we run an ad for that. And you can use the code yeah, so Hustler Live if you want to check it out so the first month so free. I've been doing that. I've been doing podcasts every week for 13 years. Have you? Every week. I'll tell you, you're doing a great job. Your information you're putting out and your, your teaching is amazing. And I, I personally recommend, if you're learning poker or know poker and want to be better at poker, sign up, get over there, check it out. I Believe me, dude. And last night, it's funny you said that, last night they asked me to order it here too. And I was, we were Bloody Marys in. Bart, I can remember back 20 years ago, maybe more, I can't tell you exactly, but uh, when I was playing at the Commerce regular, I remember you walking around, playing the bigger games. I always saw you, I never knew who you were, but I've known, I've known of you for years, and our paths have crossed a lot. That, that's, that's interesting, because I didn't really know of you until no. the live stream. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. I, but I remember you. Yeah, that's why I played 1020 at Commerce, which was Yeah, the, you yeah. played the 2040, the 1020, yeah. and, uh, but I remember you. Okay. We never really talked across paths, and you know, I was a nothing burger, and you were hard <laughs> handsome. A couple straight draws here. Well, I appreciate it. Gut shot wheel for George. Gall's open ended. Chris has got Broadway gut shot here. So no one has a pair, but we've got three straight draws here. That's of all the conspiracy theories, Gall, you're in the head. I'll tell you right. But that's always my favorite. Like I'm gonna sit like it's not real money twice a week and waste all my time to chop some money yeah. off to make 
two percent of the profits of a street poker <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> show. Like, listen, you know what the problem is? The most epic you know what the problem is? You yeah, hit yeah. so many fucking hands, people don't believe it's real. They're yeah. like, no fucking way, somebody can hit six in one second. Two thousand. Well, Gal's gonna bluff at it. He's busted out, <laughs> and Chris paired right up at the end here. Right yeah. Looks like, yeah, looks like he's gonna. I think he's gonna make the call. He's gonna call. Somebody's gotta be lucky. Yeah, he's gonna make this call. Right. Oh. There it is. You know what I say when people ask me about you? Uh -huh. I say he's gotta call me. So I'm not thinking you hit that king. Huh? No, I hate, yeah, you're not thinking you hit that king. Yeah. That's what I. That's what I say. I think I people think create their own luck. Well, yeah. people create their own luck. <laughs> You know, I don't think the guy's Dahmer when we don't see him. I think Could you feel the energy people. shift from Gaul since uh, that hand? That so he doesn't raise you? Big time. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a strategy you're using? He's going to take a lot of money off me and my day, and I'm going to take a lot of money back. I'm sorry he's scripted that. He doesn't know that yet. <laughs> I gotta start using that. Oh, so Armenian Mike is actually playing the tightest at the table at 27%. Obviously Josh just came into the game, but George at 47%, Gal at 44%, Andy 33%, Garrett 31 and Jeremy 30 for the V-Pips if you're interested. As Jeremy is going to raise it up here with 10s. Yeah, a lot of times here in that position, you know, RB wouldn't be a bad idea if he uh, put in a raise there and isolated himself against Jeremy. But we got Armenia Mike with a nice hand. Come on, Mike, get in there. This might be All the one. Right. This is the All one. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yep. The last time he did this, it was with ace queen two, but it was after the flop with no equity. So this, yeah, that is, was, this is good. That's a little different. This is yeah, that's a little different. I gotta tell you, I might. I, I think I fold here from Jeremy. I don't know. Uh, I mean, unless I, I mean, unless it's one of those mood no, calls, no, no, right? No, no, no. I I think you're right. I think in a situation like this, this is not a bad idea to come back another day because you're guessing. You don't know if he's if he's you know if he's lost his mind or if he's sitting on aces. He just does it so infrequently. It's, yeah, it's a really tough decision to be made here. It's not wrong to fold this hand right now in this position. I mean, when a guy three bets literally one time the entire night, and now you're faced here. Yeah. <laughs> This is the type of thing, and I mean this respectfully, because we, we're nothing without him. I love the people watching. But this is the thing where, you know, if Jeremy makes this fold and, uh, you know, the chat is just going to think he's the knit of the century. But it's, with all the information tied to this, it's, it's just not easy. So 9,200, the pot's 12,9, so... I think Jeremy's going to get away from this. Oh, he, oh, he's oh gonna, he went all in. Okay, that's... He's going to ISO. Yeah, yeah, ISO. That's it. That's good. Yeah, Nothing wrong with that at all. He's, you know, an ace and a queen's dead. Jeremy's, uh, Jeremy's in a good spot here. This would be here. so exciting, happens. and I only go once so, so this is like so fucking amazing right here. This, this is Josh's favorite hand. Baller of ballers. It's the only reason he's considering it. He loves 5-3. Interesting. For some reason, this is his favorite hand. Interesting, interesting. But he's going to fold it. Mikey, Mikey, Mikey. It's the perfect position for you to do that. 10 seconds. Oh, fuck the seconds. you got to get away from it, Josh. Twice, oh. Mike? Yeah, yeah, twice is good. So they're gonna run it twice here. Twice. So again, I think uh, Jeremy's gonna scoop this. Each pot will be for half of this pot, so each pot's gonna be about just under eleven thousand. Again, the equity doesn't change right now before the runs. There's five three. There's his hand. Well, I get counterfeited. Yeah, there's ten. There's, there's Jeremy. He's gonna scoop this. It's just my gut. Another one. Nope. There's the ace. Not gonna happen. Yep. You never know. It might be good. Oh, no. no. So, chop it up. Chop it up. Oh, yeah. Chop it up. No. Okay. Ah. Yeah. Ice cream. Wow. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice good, huh? It's kind of interesting. <laughs> I, I had just sort of for the first time sort of described this when I was talking about that Robo Antonius hand. Can I have 25? If you run it twice and you're 50-50 before the runs, you know, your equity is 50%. But 
um, the chances that you win it, say, both times is not 25% like you would think of flipping a coin, because if you win the first one, your odds go down the second one. But where people, they don't, where they get confused is if they win the first one, they've already won half the pot. And that's why the equity doesn't change overall. So, so. that's what's going on. But don't chop that one That's why they got to go crush like poker and learn these things, the nuances, the ins and the outs. But there is, like you were saying, I think it's customer service, how you feel if you want to run it more than once. There's no advantage, but I do actually think Listen, Gary and Andy are doing a really good thing. Gary and Andy are in a game, yeah. that's an uh, all-pro game, and they're, they're banging. They're going once. Right. Okay? Right. But in this game, very smart. Yeah. Very smart. Golf's gonna bet 400. Of course, Mike has an ace. Golf picks up a pair now, though, on the turn. Check, check. <laughs> White flag. Did you win last night? There's another thing, though, too. I my first is that, here. Nick, if you think you I have a better mental call. game than somebody else, do you want to run it once just because it will tilt them? Like if you're not in this setup. If you're not in this setup, yeah, yeah. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. If you have a better mental so. game. I think it's a better game. mental game. I yeah. think it, if somebody knows you're going once, no matter what it is, it changes what they do. Uh, you have a lot more opportunity to bluff and to take hands because people depend on going twice. You know, it's a factor when some people are making calls. If they know you're going once, not always, not always making that call, and you don't always want him to, you know? Even before he came, he was turning it over, like, I got it. Thank you, George. Players much more intimidating if you know they're going to go once, no matter what you hands, do. I yeah, I, 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 can, I, can, I can. To a beginner player, I can see that. To a beginning that. player, right, right. I'm not saying to uh, need to a season that. player, a pro, a but a to a beginning you know, player, that's intimidating to them. Check. Armenian Mike here with top pair, but RB here has king queen, so Armenian Mike's in some kicker trouble here. Yeah. Now, this is going to be interesting because of the Armenian connection. Now, Mike is going to want to check this down. Yep, we talked about that earlier. And RB is going to want to play his hand. Right. So we're going to see what's going to happen. RB is such a nice guy. Yep. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Let's check, check, right. check, check, check. And again, we you know we we touched on it briefly. This is a little bit a part of LA poker. There's yeah. a lot of guys that it, it not even necessarily Armenian, but it just happens to be with a, a lot of Armenians that want to check it down against each other. And you were explaining before, RB actually wants to play. He does want to play. Yeah. It's just, just like Art, they have <laughs> fell into that trap, and now he squelched it. He's like, look. Play your hand. I'm right. playing my hand. Right. I'm not going to friendly check every hand I'm in. Yep, yep, yep. Are we, are you, do the you just got to put your foot down. and. I mean, I've had that to happen to me before with guys that are friendly with me. Like, yeah. At the table, I'm like, no, man, I just play it out. You know? Yeah. I just play it out. And this is interesting for people who don't know. Jeremy's brother is Benny Blanco. Benny Blanco is probably one of the most famous music producers, writer. I don't know. You can Google him. He's worth hundreds of million, millions. Uh, he's he's in the music industry. He's he's the goat. Yeah. Oh, you're up like hundreds. 
he was times we played together. And he got good. Hey, whatever whatever right? Jeremy's not allowed to cheat in the business. He <laughs> does very, very, very well. Don't even throw that. That is what we're talking about. He's blushing, though. Don't make fun of him. He is blushing. He doesn't want to compliment him. He did get gift wrapped the 100 bucks. They just said like this. Where is it? 100 bucks. Where is that today, Jeremy? This is good for Jeremy and RB because when they get back in the 10, 25, 25, and the 25, 50, and the anti game, um, so a lot of good experience for them, and the game will not seem like it's playing as big, and they will make better moves. And this is, you know, myself playing in that Friday game for years uh, gives you the ability to step down in class and dominate. We're here, we're here the set of threes. So you, 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 you buy into if you're playing up against better competition, that makes you better against weak, against the weaker players. Yeah. I just uh, bad about letting somebody come in late. They're like, how does he? Well, how does he know, man? You know, they, you know what they say about the owner of this place? You know, God rest his soul, Larry Flynn is there. For the longest time he played the, the biggest uh, poker game in the world was played here and it was straight stud high. 3,000, 6,000, whatever, 1,500, 1,500, 3,000, Phil Ivey. Barry Greenstein told me that then Larry Flint would play like the 81 60 game here and he'd be the best player in the game. And that's, that's it. I will tell you, that's, that very well is probably the truth because of what we just talked about. Hey, the, the other night on another <laughs> streaming <laughs> show, somebody had it six times. Oh, I heard that. James. James had it six yeah, times yeah, in yeah. one fucking yeah, session. Right. Aces. Aces. He has all what? six. And oh, he like, five. By the way, yeah, I was, gonna, I was going to say, if somebody wants to go back, I'd be interested yeah. and can tweet me. And then everybody else had, like, big pairs when he had it. Like, yeah. if if someone can go back and count. I want to know how many times George had pocket queens tonight. Yeah. I, I swear it's been at least eight times. Look, I'm, yeah, it has, like, sugar alcohol. George and C. Dave. Uh, I think I have all of them. Also, Chris, for some reason, has had, like, East Five of Clubs, like, a bunch, too. It's weird, the card distribution. And he doesn't use his time card anymore. Time cards are for pussies. <laughs> that should be so. Straddle one shirt and time cards are for pussies. Yeah, That's the next shirt. That's the next shirt. Heads up. <laughs> We had a good thing going a couple games and we just did. 400. I know, I'll think about that. I'm, I'm down. You want to do it? I'm in. I mean, <laughs> see how we do what we can do. Yeah, do we can get some other people to do it, you know, or. To do what? You in? Or like. Let's ditch our time tips. I'll ditch like. <laughs> I'll ditch like three for every one everyone else in the group will do. Like I'm, I'm out. I'll ditch him. I don't even need him, dude. No, I need him against you. You guys want to all just throw our time tips away? No. No one. Yes. I mean, this game would be so fast. Ryan, they said it was on auto. If every decision, every hand was 30 seconds, would be fucking incredible. All poker would be so fun. So now it's 51. When you have easy decisions, not yet, not yet. you don't need to yeah. use the time chips. So. Yeah, I make the nuts over here. What's yeah, you know, there's nothing to think about. <laughs> oh, we're on the river? I guess I'm all in again. <laughs> <laughs> Diamonds here for Jeremy. One thousand. Chris is gonna call with sevens. Heads up, that's eight. Two. two players. So Chris here is checked, and uh, Jeremy's gonna gonna fire it again. Twenty five hundred. Call. And a call.
River here is a six, so Jeremy has fired flop and turn. And now, 3,400. We saw this, well, I wouldn't call this a block, Nick. We saw this kind of bizarre thing where Krish bet and then called. Remember when yeah. George, I don't know why he's leading here, but he's betting 3,400 after sort of bluff catching. And is Jeremy here going to go for wow. a bluff raise? 10 seconds. He sure picked the right time for it. Wow. 14,000. So 3,400 wow. to 14,000 after he bet the flop, bet the turn, Chris called. And now... We're at the river. Jeremy, by the way, is the pre-flop raiser, so he bet. Ten seconds. If Chris calls here, Jeremy's going to go on life tilt. Well, he just put a time yeah, chip he's out. seriously thinking about it. Nick, you, you does he call or does he shove in a situation like, or, or raise? Uh, I, I, I mean, I... I don't know, but if he just flat calls, Jeremy's going to go on life tilt. I don't think you ever shove here because I think Jeremy's no, well, yeah. basically repping like he's got a nine or well, he missed. Jeremy doesn't have that much behind him. But yeah. So, you know, Jeremy has value. He's not going to fold. But if he's bluffing, there's no point shoving. So it's either a call or, yeah. or a fold. Chris but is seriously considering putting money in here. But you talked about this before, Nick, that Chris sort of was on this weird thing of that, that whole bluff with the well, Garrett. He's he's losing. Time is running out. He's tired of being pushed around. Oh, he finally lets oh. it go. Yeah. What a play there by Jeremy. So we see Jeremy uh, bluff with the ace king all in against Gall to get it through about an hour, an hour and a half ago. And now we see the bluff raise with the king deuce of diamonds. So probably pretty good time to hear more from him. I remember him. the first time I played in a big Friday game. I definitely had butterflies. I had seen Andy and Garrett and Gall and all them play before, but was definitely not, you know, feeling like I was on their level. And, you know, I got in there and mixed it up with them and realized that it's still poker. Everybody gets two cards and got more comfortable and gained confidence. And, yeah, I've, I've definitely learned a lot from playing those guys. They, you know, play at a very high level, but they've improved my game a lot. Yeah, sober ish. Yeah, 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 yeah. I even remember the season. Yeah, yeah. And we just played. The game was full. Yeah, exactly. It's a 25 in the knee, George. I remember one of the first times we played together, like, uh, I can't remember if I called you down once and was wrong, and then, like, several other huge hands happened, and I just, like, folded each time, and I was just flabbergasted at what was going on. Do you kind of know what I'm talking about? Was that With that thing? Or? I don't know. But I, that was one of the first times we ever played against each other. I don't remember that one. Anyway, I didn't know anything about you at all, so I was like, I maybe just got blocked Check. 30 times Check. in a row. Like, Check you. So Queen Jack 10, always good to hear from Jeremy, obviously. Like you said, Nick, he's kind of stepping it up, gaining his confidence, playing in some bigger games now. Yeah. I remember you. Heads up at the Venetian. Yeah. How long ago do you think that was? 900? That was like 2008, 2009, maybe. Yeah. That was when the Venetian games like still had a separation between the game. Yep. Chris going to bet here. Now, Armenian Mike has the best hand. With the ace jack. Battling heads up at the Venetian? That sounds fun. Yeah. <laughs> no, because they called the board and then like, nobody, came, nobody came. You guys we definitely couldn't that. wait. Yeah. You were impatient back then, too. Yeah, <laughs> like, fuck this. Like, 100, 200. 200. It, I think it's kind of cool to think about, like, all the people that have come and gone. Somehow we're still breathing. We're still, we're still have a few I bucks in our pocket. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, Mike's going to take a time chip here with the ace jack. Mike, you're fucking with me on this hand or what? <laughs> you're fucking with me. Yeah. Yeah. All right, no, that's fine. No, it's fine. I just want to make sure you're fucking with me. <laughs> Yeah, that's good. Yeah, let the shot clock run down. He's a clutch player. 
Oh, he's gonna fold oh, his wow. hands. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> oh, and uh, Chris takes a, 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 a exception from that because RB was still in the hand behind. I don't know if Mike realized it. Um, let's just say I don't know if Mike realized it or not, but Chris is having a bad session and yep, yep. he's got to maximize and it's just not the right thing to do. Yep. So we take a look here at the at the chip counts again. But I was saying before we went to the uh, the Jeremy interview. It's all Garrett's fault. You know, now we've seen two like nicely played bluffs for Jeremy, Jeremy, right? You have this level. You sound like a Jewish Bubby from Long Island. I'm doing it. Jared, I'm the New York. I'm the Italian, doing? but I'm doing the Jew. I'm the Italian doing the Jew. Garrett up. One hundred thousand. You sound perfect. Andy, like seventy-one thousand. Oh, okay. Garrett, you're gonna be late for Rosh Hashanah. The Long Island. Gal should call his rabbi and thank him that he's at thirteen thousand after all this. gonna be there. <laughs> he came a long way back, man. Yep, absolutely. You just graduated. Saw a good movie, uh, Shiva Baby. Have you seen that? Have you seen that I've heard of it. It's good. Hey, 700. Which one? Shiva Baby. You get, do you guys have that family pressure too? Like, when are you getting married? Is yeah. That, right? Yeah, why do you think I'm getting married, bro? <laughs> <laughs> I held him off for 35 years. That's all Come on, what are you doing? It's a long time. time. Yeah. In the end, I just do everything for what my mom. What are you mom. doing? Same with us. Same with us. Can you imagine the first time Garrett told That's his parents it. he was playing professional poker? They were probably yeah. like, what? You're not going to be a doctor or a lawyer? It's actually a really great story. I take him to brunch and. 500. I was oh. about to. Uh, like, well, Mike's gonna call the gut shot and here. I, told him, like, I just want to see this poker thing out, like play one more year. We're at brunch, right. they both just break down in tears. Yeah. Like, they don't say shit, they just start <laughs> falling. And then, like, I maybe 10 minutes see. straight, they're crying, you know? Before then, they go in the Check, sales check, over here whatever. is a seven. And then your dad's like, you know what? And I'll Mike just is come with you left with the almost the nut low. It's a pretty funny story in my family because they all look back now and they're like, oh! Like, poker was such a good game. Well, actually, that's the game. He has the lowest possible. I don't know why that's so funny. 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 I thought it was 10 seconds. That's the thing, honestly. He has like, four I, highs here. Younger, that's what he all, plays. Like, doctors and lawyers made so much money. That, that's not true. Yeah, really. <laughs> like, Especially a now lot of struggling lawyers, attorneys yeah. and doctors. Like, even doctors. Like, you have to be like a very oh, specialized, yeah, yeah, like a surgeon. Or, then, yeah, yeah, you have to be like a, a brain surgeon. It's a relatively conservative way to make like a good living. 2,500 here, Dick. I was going to say, that was a lot of shit. Yeah, yeah. Unless you're the best I mean, there's of the not best. a ton of draws. Yeah, like Gal's just going to have to give it up. I just wondered like if you'd look them up because yep. it's another like, pattern I pick up with Mike at the end. It's like what they always wanted. They wanted to put in the hard work. They wanted a couple, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I mean, a lot of them are like an octopus. I'm just saying, like, no, yeah, you're obviously not going to be like... You were going like this. No, it's fine. It's, 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 it's like a check. That's fine. That's why I checked. Oh, like that? That's yeah. the motion that you saw? Yeah. No, he went like this. He went like this. And then I went back. Oh, I didn't see that. And then, and then he bet. But you did. I don't it's see it. it was, you checked. Well, it seems like golf thought that Mike had already checked and... A little bit upset about that. It's another thing too that Mike and I—I I, I don't think it's intentional, Nick, but I'm sure you've noticed it. That he sometimes yeah. when he plays with his chips, he goes in front of the line, and it's like I, I'm going to stay away from it because there's a lot of that, man. And I don't know. I, I don't think it's. I just think it's. He should, yeah, just be a little more careful. We'll leave it at that. You know? <laughs> You're being kind. <laughs> The Armenian Mike flops the joint here. And uh, he's got a perfect customer in George with top pair. Yep. Great. 1,500. It's a little aggressive. But I think George will come along. Well, usually when Mike raises post, though, he has the goods, right? That's right. But George is going to call. Yeah, it's, it's the right customer, but uh, yeah. 
<laughs> There's all in. Isn't that high yeah. I mean, it's a hard call. How much you may make it. I check it all in dark. 8600. 8600. Trying to get it all back at once. <laughs> George may be stuck enough. Cool. Yeah. He's getting He's call. gonna call it. Yeah. He's stuck wow. enough. Wow. That's. Those are the things you gotta think about. Like you know, time's running out. These guys wanna get even. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. Go. Two times. I don't. All right. Two times. Well, George needs to boat up here with the ace or a ten. Yeah. That's not going to get Almost. it there. No. Well, Mike's going to scoop it. Yep. How much that? 86. Mm -hmm. Nice hand, Mike. Thank you, man. I don't go in, I want to go home. <laughs> With the amount of offsuit Broadway hands that Armenian Mike plays, he pops a lot of straight oh, sure. up yeah. top there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We saw it three or four times tonight. It's all the. Never mind, I'm not going to say it on the stream. Right. Yeah. I'll go Straddle. There we go. We got it. We're good. Let's go. Can we started around the four. Let's do it. Hey, yeah, yeah. All right. <laughs> Come on, I'm falling Thank asleep. You, All right. Uh, twelve. Great. Twelve hundred. Can fold this guy. He's never coming back. We're back on 400 shells. Well, we're doing 400. We're back at it for 400. And it looks like RB brought it in here for 12. Yeah, RB here strong with the ace king. Chris here with nines, and Josh just got jacks here. Four players. And just flat calls, though. Josh doesn't squeeze. And RB hits the ace. 2400. Josh is probably wishing now that he three bet with the Jack Jack. He's going to let it go. But Gall's going to take off here with 10 6. Harvey's got to put in at least three or 4,000 here, and it's going to get it done. Change, please. I knew I was beat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Something like that. Of course, I'm not going to bet four reaction without an ace. Oh. It's a good time you're in a pot because now you're the 400. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> So again, we got the uh, 400 on here, and Josh now picks up the ace king. Armenian Mike gonna call here with ace, deuce of clubs. Chris coming in with seven five of spades. Check. 
3,000. And Josh gonna fire out here. With Ace King. And he'll take it down. Jared! Thank you, Josh. I don't know how to tip Jared. I just throw 25s and hundreds. I'm sorry. So is it 2-4? Or, or, yeah, yeah, I've got Garrett Adelstein. Right. You know what I'm saying? Oh, good. The protege didn't do that good okay. in the box office the first mm -hmm. round. is over, right? We no, need to start it. All oh, my started. poker community yeah, we'll didn't go support like I needed to do. I'm not doing sports. It's okay. It opens in China. Okay, so I'm, not, I'm not gonna. I don't, I don't need but to. But if do you guys want right? to see a good action no, movie, this the Protege, the two with Sam Jackson, Michael Keaton. Oh, Beaton. the two we always yeah, do. Okay. Yeah, action movie. Huh? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. My partner is Arthur Sarkeesian. Oh, Whatever he does, he's like a we partner. And Chris with the aces now. Can I make it 700? Garrett gonna flat with ace deuce suited, brings in George. So can Krish get some back here? Well, the queen came out here, so queen jack nine with a couple clubs. So both Josh and George have top pair and Krish has aces. So he can get some back. Josh here with the gutter to attend. And he's going to raise. So 900 to 2,000. Over to George. And is George stuck enough where he's going to continue on? Now he's going he's gonna to lay it down here. Chris going to call. Sometimes, sometimes. Turns a nine. Not, not always, sometimes. I like him over here a lot more good than at the bike now. He's, he's, he's doing good over here, I like him over here. That gives Josh less outs now. Josh gonna take a card. And the river's a king wow. and Josh makes top two, one liner to a 10 though. Front door clubs come in too. Chris has aces with the ace of clubs and he bets here, 3,000. This gonna be, this, this gonna be tough. Interesting. Josh gonna let it go. Yeah. So Bart, I wanna give a shout out. I wanna give a shout out to someone who made this happen. Uh, he's watching the stream right now. This It's uh, the GM of the Hustler, Sean Yapel. Oh uh, yeah. And uh, he is, I think, watching the show, I think with his brother-in-law, or if not, so we're gonna go to Joe. Okay, okay. Continue I'm gonna do second. it after. So in the hand with Krish, um, I have the, the second up flush draw. Um, I, I obviously have, uh, start over, can you start over? Can you start over? Oh, okay. Uh, and I have Krish, I have the up flush draw, or second up flush draw, uh, start over, can you start it? Sorry. I'm trying to think what I wanna say. Huh? <laughs> well, we've all been there before. <laughs> well, listen, we like to bring bloopers. Bloopers are good. Bloopers are good. I'm going to do this really quick, real quick. The GM of this casino, Sean Yapel, I was in the middle of a shout-out. Uh, I want to shout-out to his brother-in-law, Nick Jackson, who's watching uh, the stream. And... Uh, couldn't have done it without him, man. What, just what a great guy. What vision. And uh, what GM is up at midnight watching watching their stream. Good job, guys. George here has a flush with the nine of diamonds. Yeah, Sean met him a while back. What a great guy. GM of the Hustler. Garrett here with King Nine, just gonna let it go. So we're gonna give that one another shot right now. Let's go back to Jeremy. So in the hand against Krish, uh, I'm the aggressor pre-flop, and I flop the second up flush draw. Um, obviously, I have to continue betting on that two diamond flop. Um, when the board paired on the turn, uh, I bet again. So, you know, 
I'm continuing to tell a story that I have an over pair, I believe. And I just think I used my snug image that I've been using all game on the river when Chris decides to lead um, on, I believe it was a six. I just put him on a lot of draws himself. So I just thought I could pull up. Yeah, we just had to. We just. Well, I mean, I mean, we we, we got what he. We got yeah. his. We got his line yeah. of thinking. Yeah. yeah we, well, you know, at thinking. some point, I think we just want to make Jeremy look uh, as bad Brandy's as we can bad. because he's winning so much tonight. So, Jeremy, you deserve that. Uh, but I will tell you this. Let's just say this. You know, I've been in front of the camera a lot my days back in my business when I did infomercials and different things. And it takes a while when that red dot goes on. It's not easy to talk in front of that camera. So, uh, it's a learning curve for those guys and we're having fun with it but we got a lot more of that to come well Thanks. we're also we're also doing this live so it's not yeah, like it's, yeah. it's live cut yeah. in and out so yeah. there's gonna be a little hiccups. and we're gonna have one day show probably like a whole stream of just really good bloopers because we got some <laughs> <laughs> Garrett here uh, three bets the ace king and it looks like Gall is gonna defend here so an open from Gall three bet from Garrett out of position and Gall calls now both players miss. I was going to say this could be very troublesome for Gall if he had hit a king, but both players miss. Now Garrett's got the ace of diamonds here, so it'll always be interesting to see how he's going to play this one. Seven thousand. It's going to shoot out seven thousand. Oh, and Gall is going to make a very ambitious call here, Nick, with no diamond, just king-queen. Turn here is a six, and if Garrett checks, can Gall actually take it away from him here? I think so. There's the check. I think so. Wow. Well, he's checked it back. Mm -hmm. Now the river's a ten. This might be actually one of these spots where Garrett possibly bluffs with the best hand. No, he's going to check. Now let's see if Gal's going to... I mean, Gal's got to try to bluff Garrett here off of ace high, right? Don't want to just let Garrett win. With I, I mean, I can't imagine Gal giving up here. He has yeah. no choice. And this is going to be the right amount because it's a lot. 17,000. It's going to bet 17,000. It's interesting, Garrett has the Ace of Diamonds, which is now bad for him because it means Gall can't have the nut flush draw yeah. that's missed. Some of the straight draws paired for up. For those of you watching, just the fact that Garrett really is truly thinking this out, it just shows the level of play here at this table. Well, we saw Garrett check back against Gall with Aces amazingly. He seemed to make the best decisions. All in. Oh, he's going to check raise bluff all oh, in. so sick. Wow, he so check sick. race bluffs all in. That Did, is so sick. Didn't need to do it. Could have just called, but... The, le the layers and the levels. What a yeah. great play. I think he thought that maybe, you know, Gall good, was good. value betting a jack there. So check race all in at the end. I thought he might actually come out and bluff himself from up front, like making it look like he had, you know, check yeah. aces again. But instead he yeah. goes for the check wow. on the river. Just crazy. All right, we got another shout out here. The, our GM is watching with his family. We already gave the shout out here to uh, to Nick Jackson, but now his wife wants to hear her name, and she's going to hear it. And it's Lee Anna. Lee Anna, shout out to you and to Sean and to Nick. Thanks for watching. We love it. Um, I'm gonna just assume Nick is really handsome and you're hot. I don't know. It's just good for me. Like I just, I just want to. I just want to put that in my head. So, Leanna. 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 Thank yeah, you. Thanks for staying out name. and watching the show. That's a great name. I love the other guy's name, Nick. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so, Nick and Leanna. They want a hard from you. Maybe, maybe well, I got a shot. You just like Nick's or that Nick? It's actually, it's a, it's a bluff. Oh. Fuck. Oh, bluff. Yeah. She's probably way out of my league. But that's cool. I'm, that, I'm used to that. I'm used to strike three. Anyway, speaking of strike three, there's uh, Tita, who's uh, giving the menu to Georgie, or to Andy. 
And we have about you a half an hour so left here it. tonight. We'd be going yeah. since so I really ask for 5 p.m. local the time, under so 5, six and a half hours. Wow. Been wow. Six That's and a half hours. Those are pretty fast, though. Yeah. This has been an action-packed game. I tell you, Mark, I love doing this, and and doesn't need to take four hours. I loved it. I loved it. And I appreciate you putting up with me. Oh no, it's been a it's been a pleasure to get some of these insights. And maybe we'll see more of you if you can't get in the game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm having trouble getting in these games. You might have, I might have to just be up here. I tried to behave, not talk a lot. But anyways, I just can't get my mind off Leanna all of a sudden. I don't know. Whatever. Hmm. I'm going to try to let it go. So four-way action here. Four players. Check. It's like Armenian Mike here with the best of it with eights. Check. And Gall is the pre-flop raiser, so he's flopped a, flopped a piece of it, so he's going to yeah. see that here. Gall's feeling loose. He's free rolling, man. <laughs> yeah, you can see that Garrett has that knowledge of positional awareness. He's not going to call a 7-0-2 guys to his left. George here with a wheel draw, though, with the ace three. He's going to let it go. Yeah. Wow, and Armenian Mike just folds. Yeah. Maybe Straight up folds. Maybe. What's the turn? I had to Straight up folds. Thousand, I heard, and then raise yeah. six thousand. We'll see it here in a second. Six grand, Mike. So I Andy know, here, three betting. Who made it three thousand? Wow. Thought I heard three thousand, but the graphics just say that's nine hundred, nine fifty. Yeah, raise. Maybe it's just a thousand. A bunch of calls and Andy three betting here to six thousand. Take it easy. Can I actually see Garrett? Changing his style up a little bit. Okay, Andy. Doing a little more flatting. Wow, but Josh oh, is going to go with it. Josh is going to go with it here. All yeah. in with the 9-8 no, on the shot. When else goes all in. Yeah. And they're going to do it one time. Well, he's got wow. live cards. You just got caught. I don't understand, Josh. Queen. Diamond. No one's got a diamond. No. Nope. Wow, and he faded fun, a lot Thank of diamonds. The ass <laughs> Josh, what would you do? You blew yeah, up. You guys. By the way, Garrett would have flopped the nut flush there. Yeah. But, yeah, that was not wow. the can that I expected him to go with Yeah, there. me neither. The show's not full. You taking it off? One more hundred, George. Yeah, that seat five has been rough tonight. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an eject like there's an ejection yeah. button in yeah. seat five. Come in, fire away, and get sent out into the parking lot. How much was the in for dinner? Hmm? How much was the in for dinner? Twelve thousand. Twelve thousand. Take a look there. Garrett up 142,000. Oh Andy up 81. Wow. Gal now back down to negative because, you know, we've been playing we these 400 12, straddles. So yeah, oh yeah, it doesn't take long super to, big. to go down 15K. Wow. Yeah. Another one, Insta call. And of course, Gal lost that hand to Garrett, you know, with the King Queen. 
I think Gal just bets the turn. He just wins that hand, though, Nick, you know? Yeah. And that, that. And Andy here has aces and has raised it to 500. A little bit of graphic lag. Jack. Five, seven. Oh, look at this. And Chris has got top pair and a flush draw. Wow. And Gal also has top pair. And so Chris here has led into Andy. Andy, the preflop raiser with aces. And he, Andy is not scared about raising over pairs on flop. We've no. seen him do it many times. So it looks like he's going to raise it up. He makes it 2,500 over to Gal, who has the jack nine. Oh, he's going to get rid of it. Yeah, smart fool. And Chris is going to three bet, it looks yeah. like. I think he just bet three bet to 9,000. I mean, he's got a flush draw and top pair. Yeah, he's flipping, he, he's flipping with red aces here. Yeah. So he has led into Andy and has re-raised Andy's raise, but Andy's not going anywhere. Nope. Andy calls. So 20,100. And the turn is an eight, and Krish makes jacks up, and it's wow. hidden. And it's hidden. The flush draw. So jacks up, and it's hidden. Now, you know, nine ten gets there. A hand like six nine gets there. I'm all in. All in. And an upfront wow. all in for a hundred and eleven thousand. Oh my gosh! In the twenty thousand. Uh, Andy's gonna That's get away from 000. this. Andy's gonna get away from this. One hundred, one ten, one twenty. I believe that. Nick, uh, this is almost eight. One, no, a 10. Oh, no, 95, wow. 98, 100, 102, 104, Look 106, at Andy smirk. He's like, 107. What happened? A little over 10, oh, a little over 107. This is a over six times bet, six times pot bet. Nick. What is it? Yeah, 107, 800. A 107, 800 is exactly what it is. He bet 107 into 20,000. So about five and a half I mean, from up front. Andy's looking for an ace, a seven, or a five, right? Without a club. Well, I think Andy's trying to put it together. He yeah, it I mean, if he calls this, uh, he's, he's going to fold this. There's no way Andy's calling this. We just put in a time chip here. So I've led the flop. Three bet turn. I mean, would he ever play a set this hard? I've seen some people play sets this hard, right? Bet three, bet flop, and just... I think that's maybe what's confusing Andy. Can somebody play it that hard? A set? Set of five, set of sevens? I mean, this looks really, really bluffy. But I just, I, Andy just gets so many other spots to put his money in better. But man, would it be exciting to see a call. Another time. Might as well use him. Yep. And usually Andy acts very fast. He doesn't. Yeah. Again, the action in the hand was Chris led into Andy. Andy was the preflop raiser. Andy raised. Krish three bet the flop and then just ripped after Andy called. Ripped the turn for about five and a half times the size of yeah. the pot. Just the sweat of this is exciting. But I, I, if the money goes in here, I'll be shocked. But wow, will it be exciting. If Andy does call, by the way, the pot will be at least 235,000. Yeah. What does the chat think? One call, two fold. What do you guys think? One call, two fold. I'm going with two. There well, he's going to let it go. There, he has to let <laughs> it go. I, I gonna, said, this, gonna, it feels gross, though, holding it. Yeah, it feels gross, but he's going to let it go. Let's see what that river <laughs> looks like. Oh. 
five. He would have got counterfeited. He would have got counterfeited. That's what I told you. Oh my God, Andy would have won. Oh. Jackie oh would have got counterfeit. God. I would have ripped you actually. Oh so wow, that is so been, sick. I would have made a wrong call, and I would have, I would have got to him then. Oh. He made the right call, <laughs> but he would have got him. Well, he made the right, he made the right fold. No, I can beat the jack. I mean, fold. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, it was a, oh yeah. Wow, counterfeiting. Uh, I would have sent you home, but you feel no. pretty bad. Uh, yeah. yeah. Draw. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, was that, that five already on the board? We didn't okay, have yeah. to call 911 oh, for Chris. Oh, you've been on suicide watch. I got counterfeited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was just... Oh, I was wow. I, was ahead, I was ahead on the floor. Well, I would have run it twice. <laughs> that's, that's, that's <laughs> insane. <laughs> wow. Wow, Andy. Wow, you're going to call with an overpair on that board? That's amazing. <laughs> I mean, that's no respect for me. <laughs> that's the best thing I had today. I also have to point out, Nick, if the hands played in a sort of a more standard way, You'd have a lot of hands there, right? even if Chris 3 bet the flop like he did, but say instead of him ripping on the turn, yeah. he bets like half pot or three quarters, and Andy calls again, Andy wins the hand because the river counterfeits Chris. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. He's looking for an ace, a five, or uh, what was the other card to counterfeits it, but yeah, it's, it's so sick. Crazy. It's a sick game with a bunch of sick people, with a bunch of <laughs> sick everyone. So cool. <laughs> Wow. I, I believe they would have went twice. That might have been a child, but still, wow. I wanted my wow, wow, wow. to get there at least once, and I figured I could, he'd run it twice. Put them on a straight. And if he had it, he had it, you know? He did have it. No, in overpair. Yeah, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Oh, still ahead. Yeah, that's the hand you want to call you. You're yeah. Way ahead of another. Yeah. Raise twenty four hundred. I mean, I flush draw ahead. Yeah. Another pair is like John Gettle. We got Gal in the button with six three of hearts. He loves exactly. hands like this. You have fifty. Thank you. Wow, back to the all-in with Air, uh, Garrett with ace-king. This is, this is uncanny. Things are just popping in my head like crazy. What a, what a You lost the minimum, Andy. Uh, I guess. You won the minimum. Well, I think he, he thought that Jack was, uh, excuse me, that Gal was value betting and Jack would yeah, get him off of it. Yeah, of course. It, you know? you look like you but we've really seen so many unbelievable hands here tonight. It's crazy. Yeah. What a great show. Well, he's not gonna. He's not gonna waste their time if he's not really thinking about I it. I know. Yeah. Maybe 20 seconds, but not three minutes. I didn't see what he had, but um, I'm assuming. I think I, I'm pretty sure he had no pair, and I thought this show is still going river. strong. Oh, turn. Four thousand yeah, viewers. I had the flush picking draw. up steam. The game is continuing I to play had big. A gut shot, straight draw too. Guys, it's not too late to crush that like button, and it's not too late to subscribe. This is the number one poker show in the industry. Be part of it, because we got a lot more to come. And I'll tell you this, if you are in the area, and you are a poker player, the Hustler Casino, and I'm not just saying this, come find out for yourself. This is like, you ever see the, the sitcom Cheers, everyone knows your name, you're treated well here. I've seen every episode of Cheers, I know, it's the, my, isn't it? my dad used to watch yeah, it on I mean, reruns. I've seen like, every You walk episode. in and you're Norm, man. <laughs> it's like, hey, Norm, like, they're going to treat you well, they're going to take care of you. If you come here and you give your action here and your loyalty here, they're going to take care of you. This, i got to tell you, just unbelievable management, unbelievable yeah, casino, yeah. and... Uh, so blessed to be here. All right, Chris is feeling his oats here on the button with ace, ace of diamonds, ace six of diamonds, top pair. We've seen stranger things from George. Uh, yeah, yeah, he's gonna find uh, his back this doors. This is it. He's yeah, it's back door George. All right, George, let's go. Check. Check. Chris says no more checking. Wait, what happened there? Oh, he folded fast. Yeah. Okay. George picked up a gut shot. It yeah, would have been did. a one line or two a game. <laughs> yeah, that's. Uh, I talked about it at the. I think it was the end of last week's show. I said the butterfly effect in in, in poker. And, and again, it's just as bizarre as it is. And it's a, you know, it's a, it's an interesting play to come out and bet and then three bet a set into the preflop raiser. I've seen yeah. it done before. Yeah. But if he, if he had just taken a regular bet size on the turn instead of ripping, 
Chris would have lost the hand. Yeah. Because he would have got sick. counterfeit. It's a sick game. It's crazy. With a bunch of sickos. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to tell you. <clears throat> You know, Bart, same as you. I mean, we're to, down in this felt. We're playing in games like this. And, like, I'm feeling internally a lot of the pain that I'm seeing, you know, <laughs> because I felt it so many times. <laughs> like, I'm going to be wiped out when I'm done here. $10,000. No, he almost called. Did you have any? I had two pairs. Uh, sure. But he had an overpair. But we ran the river, and he, uh, I got counterfeited. Oh, if you, if you mm -hmm. could have called. Five hundred. Dog got a bet. By the way, when Chris ripped it in, Andy's blessed. Andy's Andy is blessed. only like eighteen percent. Like Andy is yeah. a huge dog. Huge. <coughs> I mean, he had two, yeah, that's two pairs of four strokes. Andy did not want to fold that hand. He even said it. I feel true. gross mucking this. That's true. Did, uh, did Josh leave? But it's, it was the right move, and well, wow, it he got been so sick I assume if I wanted to run it twice, you would have run it twice, right? Yeah, yeah. Who, who busted him? I mean, it's possible that. They did have one ball. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's ex but Nick, that's blessed. exactly what you were. I mean, we were talking about I like that these guys are running it twice. Yeah. Andy and yeah. Garrett sort of for at, you know for the <laughs> goodness of the game, but. The guy in one season. Chris hard knows knock. that Andy's running that's it twice, right. so receiver, now it makes it I him it more if, aggressive. Right. What if Chris knows uh, for sure Andy's going once? Does he make that move? Uh, right. I don't know. And every time, right. like right. he'd make a play on someone, he would just look at his team and go, "Go ahead and bless him, then. Go ahead and bless him, then." You know what I'm talking about? He just kept repeating the same shit the whole season. Andy here going to raise it up on the button with Ace-3. I can definitely be wrong about who it was. I just know it was a star player, right? Yeah. I love that show. Great show, yeah. Yeah. Deepest voice ever. Wow, look at this hand for George. His voice is insane. Look at this hand for George. It really is, yeah. Open-ended straight draw, flush draw, but yeah. not a whole lot else out there. Although Andy has the ace of clubs, but I don't know if he's going to see bet into these guys now. I I used to love Ray Donovan. Eventually, I'm like, yeah, this is ridiculous. By the way, Gal has the best yeah. hand but for here many seasons still. I, loved it. I assume. Shot of There's our Mike. medium mic. Yeah. Waiting. Was he eating a, a, is he eating a power bar? He's eating a power bar, hanging out. Trying to look like a bush, and in case there are any werewolves coming, we're ready. Like I said, he's got us all covered for just about anything. George pets and takes it down. <laughs> How much you playing, Jimmy? How much you playing? Six tied chips. <laughs> I told you about this fan, right? Too. That's a, one of the other things too. So yeah. back here in the production, yeah. it's relatively new. I don't think there's is it, there's no AC back here or uh, limited. Some very high ceilings back yeah. here at, at the NASA uh, location yeah. back here. <laughs> so if yeah. you don't have that fan, this going, was the nuts. But yeah, like it's... when you text me uh, from the airport, hey, <laughs> I want to want Mike, the right mic, and uh, that fan needs to be plugged in. I'm like, okay, diva. <laughs> and then I got in here and I'm like, <laughs> I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Trip tens here for Andy. Look at my wife. She's like, "What the fuck? You guys talking about mollies and PRTs?" <laughs> it's like everyone can hear it. Yeah, she's like, oh, "I hear you guys talking about drugs, mollies, and PRTs and all that on the show." I'm like, "Man, you could hear all that." <laughs> yeah. Friend of mine texted me. Good job on that ace three against my ace queen. Thanks. <laughs> oh, so now Chris knows it. About that bluff from that was that like three or four hours ago, maybe when Garrett bluffed him. A long I time ago. Tilted all night. Yeah. To be called by Ace Queen, that would be really tilted. <laughs> that one would fucking hurt. See, Garrett basically letting him know, he, like he did earlier, that he did bluff him. And that yeah, really. affected Where Chris in a in couple different order. hands. George paid for it. This one didn't get it. And, uh, and then I, I just Garrett the got really paid off for it. Yeah. And the other hand, when he when he had the aces against his top pair queen. Crazy. Six, seven deuce. Got to pay attention to all that while you're playing, man, because it matters. Wow. I think it was close. Oh, there's a deuce. Well, specifically, you might have just said it. The 
the Garrett hand the double Four over bet with the aces on with the Chris, yeah. Chris with the tens, right? With the queen jack, I mean. Oh, I apologize. Yeah. It was tens. There, there's so there's just so many and when I go back and look at this stream like I, there's got to be like 25 like yeah, hands not, that are worth like the hand was not good. highlight. You know, oh, it, we it's crazy. literally have a problem on our hands with a lot of our shows because there's so many highlights we can't get them out fast enough. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Nor can we do all of them. Problem. So we're going to do a dealer change here, final dealer change here. Again, Garrett's up 142, yeah. Andy's up 71, Gal down 23, Armenian Mike down 14. Jeremy! Garrett up a nice four-bedroom house out in Orlando in the suburbs. Is that what they're going for these days? Yeah, just, just a 142? little bit more than that now, actually. <laughs> when I was in the business in the market, I was picking them up for half that, and now they're at about 200K, so... Even with the even with all the price surging and all that, too. Yes. Yeah. yeah. There's just some areas because you know, living here in California, it's hard to fathom. But believe it or not, you can get a really really nice house out in Orlando for a couple hundred k. You know, in I, I'm not talking like you know, mansion. Well, it used to be that way, up up until right after COVID in Austin too. But it, the market has gone yeah, up by going crazy sixty yeah. percent in one yeah. year. Yeah. When I was at my peak, you could go into Vegas or Orlando when we had the market crash and buy houses for twenty, thirty, forty thousand that are now worth, you know, two, three hundred thousand. Gal raises it up here with nines. George, Queen Ten of Spades, gonna call. Oh, appreciate it. Check, check. Hey Bart, I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. <laughs> well, Damn. Been yeah, up in this get booth there. all night. I'm hungry, man. I, I learned my lesson. I'm thirsty, too. I ate right... I bought one of those yeah. uh, things you can buy in the airport to bring on the plane, yeah. like one of those meals, and I ate right before we landed. Yeah. That was my plan. I, I need to bring, like, <laughs> do this again, a little cooler with like, yeah. something, or maybe have little poopy pants bring us something to drink once in a while. Well, we, we do have water. Oh, I'll take that yeah, water. Yeah, yeah thank yeah. you. Did I put a hundred there? Oh, no, no, this is going to be Andy. Oh, yeah, cut my mic. Jeremy, look over here. Look at this guy, this is To the left. What? Oh. Go. What the fuck? I was like, holy. <laughs> Guys, if you like what you see, pump that like button, pump it, pump it, press it, smash it. Subscribe, get the word out, tweet, send out Instagrams. Oh, Believe me. There's other people in this world that need Four to players. see the live, the livest, the greatest, and the best poker show out there right now in the industry. Yeah. We see Andy putting in some money, eating the Gulby beef. I have no idea what George is calling with, but I can see Armenian Mike has triple fives. You, you have no idea why he's calling with it or what he's calling with? Yeah, what or why. Queen six <laughs> on 535. And Armenian Mike is filled now here on the yeah. turn. Yeah. The King Five. Mm -hmm. And George gonna take a shot at it. Yeah, here. George says, uh, let me see what I can do here. Just a call. Yeah. Now see, if Armenia Mike was in a little jeopardy here, he'd be talking with George, making good, making nice. But because he's got him by the throat, <laughs> he's going into mute mode and seeing if George is going to step on it here. Okay. I checked, I checked. 4,300. The overbet and the fold. I don't think Mike's going to be checking that here. No, <laughs> and George doesn't even want to see it. <laughs> Oh. 
So I think we're going to be seeing a, a few more hands here tonight, but it's definitely been a pleasure. Yeah, yeah, no problem. Thank you all for joining yeah, us. You, you too, yeah. Nick, for coming in here. Well, thanks for having me, Bob. And added I believe some you. Yeah. really, really great insight, which I think sometimes gets lost on people if they, they haven't played with these guys, you know? That's right. So RB here to 1,200. Let's see if the poker gods can bring us one more $50,000 pop before we go dark. RB's gonna bet 2,000. He'll take it down. Good, good job, RB. Herbie's played pretty solid tonight. He has. Right? Yeah. He has. Yeah. He's being careful, but he's doing the right things. No, no. You, you won. That's why you left. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> he wants to keep the winning. I like you, I like it. No. Six. Six hundred. Oh, Six hundred oh. from the button from Andy with pocket fours. George going nowhere with ace four diamonds. George has a backdoor flush draw, so he's in for the 500. Yep, we've seen this all night. Yep. It should be a bet and a fold here. I was going to say, so Andy's not checking back the turn here. Yeah, which is smart. Yeah. Tell you, Bart, I think after this is over, I may go down on the floor and order some of that Colby beef, man. Like, I'm, I'm hungry. A little Korean barbecue? Yeah. Now, Hustlers always had the best uh, food of any of the they really card, have. card rooms. Yeah, and they're just, just now starting to put things back on the menu and getting back at it. And, uh, yeah, the food here is great. Automatic. Yeah, they added it to the game. Again, you guys built out that this whole stage, right? From the well, room. yeah, Sean Yapel, the GM, uh, and and Mrs. Mr. and Mrs. Flint uh, did this, and they built a beautiful stage and put tons of resources into it, and uh, we couldn't be happier about it. They're they're all in, and they're smart. They got thousands of eyes on their casino now, and uh, they get it. They well, here we go. Here we go. Oh, How yeah. About Andy here making it 600 with Queens. Call on the button. Our median mic calls, and Gall's going to three bet to 3,000 out of the big blind with 9 8 of clubs. So okay. we could 8, see something going on here. We're definitely going to see Andy continue, and he's going to go four bets. Yeah. He's going to go four bets with those yeah. with those stragglers in between. Yeah. He's not going to just call. Gall's got a lot of gamble in him. I, this is a hand Gall will play for another 5,300 all day long and all night long. Well, if he three bet it, yeah, you'd think. Now we saw Garrett fold 9-8 suited, I think in the first hour, yeah. right? Out of position to Andy. But it doesn't look like Gall's in the mood here. No, he's not in the mood. So he's gonna play it. So four bet pot here, 18,000. Queens against 9-8 of clubs. How about a queen and two clubs? Oh, how about oh. flopping chin for oh. Gall? Oh, oh my God. And this is a four bet pot. So you, and Andy checks it back for pot control Shit. instantly. Just check, 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 check. Didn't even think about it. I was going to say it's not, you know. this. Yeah, this pot may not brew as much as we thought because this is going to be a bet call. I think. You think Andy will raise here? I, I don't think now. I don't think he will. It's interesting. I don't think he needs to. You wouldn't think that, like, these low boards hit a four-bat pop, but you see Andy just 
sort of snap check yeah. back. Yeah, he, he just gonna to, to flat this and it's just gonna call a river. River pairs the jack. Oh my gosh. I mean, I, the way that Andy has played this, I mean, I assume this is going to go back call. It's just a question of how big does Gall I think Gall's go. going to put about 15, 18K in here. That's my hunch. Although we have seen some tricky play here. Would he ever try to go for a check raise? Doesn't look like no. it. No. Let's see what he does. 19,000. 19,000. Yeah, snap call. Yeah, snap call. Yeah, yeah, wow. So sick. 19. 19. Wow. How about that pot control check back uh, there by yeah. Andy? Yeah. Wow. So I think that kind of going to get Gala at least even, I would say. Yeah. If not positive. Well, we're going to have action all the way to the end of the night. It is nobody is giving up, no matter what time it is, how deep how deep they are, and uh, the show's almost over. And you know, these guys may play for hours after, you just don't know. Wow. And he just turns around and goes back to eating. Okay. Raise Andy here going to raise it up. 600, pocket five. Wow, we got Chris here with ace 10 suited. Yep. Yeah. Let's see a fun flop. Nine. Nine hundred. Call. nine hundred, and Gal's gonna call here. Yeah, Gal with top parry might as well just have quads. He's going nowhere. And I think Gall actually just let out. Yeah, he did. He yeah. let out. He donk led. Donk lead, check call, donk lead. Oh, your session's sick for today. Up, down, up, down. Well, we are still seven strong here at 12.07 a.m. Pacific. Andy's going to raise it up with 10 jack off for 600 under the gun. Wow. Garrett gets a small. No, yeah, excuse me. You got it. Two, four, seven, away from the Good. Andy, two pair here. Jack, ten. 1,200. Can I have uh, quarters? Thank you. 1,280. Can I have a yellow? Sorry, four, six, four, eight, eight, eight. As you can see, the hustler. I think that might. Was that the last hand? Yeah, that was the last hand. So uh, take a look here at the final chip counts. You can see, obviously, Garrett, you know, covering the table at 211. And uh, we'll get to the more important stat here, which is going to come with the cumulative wins here, Nick, in a second. And what a. Well, let's take a look at BPIPs first. George, 49. Right around. Yeah, you 50, said 50. 50 you under nailed over. It, buddy. Got it, 46. Yeah. And Andy, 33, Garrett, 31. 
Jeremy 26, so sort of was kind of like the tighter one, you know, of, of everyone that, that played. I mean, we saw that guy Ollie rip through pre-flop raise here. So Gall playing 46-28. Garrett was playing 31-22. Andy, 33-20. Armenian Mike. 1%. 1%. How do you get to 1%? Well, that ace's hand. Oh, yeah. Okay. He had aces. I got it. And there we go. Cumulative wins. Wow. Garrett, One. Andy wow. at the top. Yep. George, cool 71. Look at this. Gal, he booked a win. Almost 14K, down 60. Jeremy booked an $18,000 win. Good job. I'm glad to see Arby up 13,000. He's the salt of the earth. Armenia Mike down 13. Chris down 30. Could have been worse. What a great show. Yep. Unfortunately, not a great night for George, but that is going to wrap it up for us. Thank you again, Nick. It was a pleasure. All right, man. Thanks it was for a pleasure. having me, of course. Bart. Awesome. We'll be yeah, but we will be back here on Monday as we always stream cash games every single All weekday. Right. Have a great weekend, guys. Good night. See you live out. Speed safe.